what it takes to rock on the mic, rock on the shoes. Seeking a place where young freak and I got what it takes to rock on the mic, rock on the shoes. So watch what you say, I'm just mouth cut, 50 shots still, you turn the clock down. I'm Mr. Hood when I'm traveling. Hood when I'm traveling. God, but you feel like God is not telling y'all that. Do you still follow him? You said something interesting, East. You just said like men don't think the way that women do. So it almost sounds like you don't fully trust their expertise. So how could you successfully be led by So the majority of men don't have kids. Y'all are picking wrong. Y'all are literally picking the minority. Every man that's on this panel, y'all have more kids than all of us women? 51% of black men are single and childless. It's excuses for the, for the statistics. The, the statistics don't go well in your favor so you say things like okay are they are they uh are they shooting blanks or they is his because men i don't feel like men are overall passive the, the aggressive the majority of men do you think that silence is that passive aggressive because we will do that yeah if you because there's niggas that are used that as a form as a, a way to trigger a woman like because a lot of time a woman to tell you like when you're silent it makes me feel like I'm ignored. So a nigga will do that intentionally. Yeah, no, I'm just, cause I didn't agree with the passive aggressive part until Mary said that. I'm like, okay, I can see men and be like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. Well, unsubscribing from the democratic party help fix black America. Let's just unsubscribe. No, you gotta know why. I don't think so. That's the only thing that get black people together. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Wow. Like that. What I think we'll fix is if black people under truly understood politics. I because think for a guy, because listen, it's, it's so many different reasons for a man to want to hang out with his friends. AJ, I'm not gonna let that slide, I heard you. Why do you think that it's older single women who share that opinion? Sometimes that's the case. There has to be that. Explain what white history month is honoring the achievements of 
the greatest ethnic group in human history. Wow. I think all of that shit deserves a put him in the bathroom. <laughs> Would you rather have a whore of a daughter or a gay son? Um, uh, let's see here. Um Bruh. Cause if she's a hoe, that ain't my problem. Hell, she just be a hoe. Shit. <laughs> that's a that's a whore. Definitely. Like yeah, what I was going to college a waste of time. Absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't it, think about it. And can I just piggyback on that? That I read this for me, Q. Okay, five five dollar super chat from Omega Green depends. Go for STEM, medical or law. However, if you go for BS degrees like communications, is that supposed to be policies? Or Facts. criminal justice? Poli sci, political science. Poli sci, okay. yeah. Or criminal justice, it's wasted time. Final thought. When you take a man's time, it's like taking his money. When you take a man's money, it's like taking his time. Simply put, we want something for it. If you're not interested, don't go out. Sis, hit me up. Let's clear your coochie balance. <laughs> Do women, should they still be covered by men? Do women need to understand what it takes for men to feel like they should be covered by men? Yeah, absolutely. Like, women don't value men anymore, and, and, and it's evident. For women to admit that they're not equal to their men. Women have to come to that conclusion that you are not equal to your man. Are you for spanking? Let's go around the room, yes or no. Q, are you for spanking? Absolutely. Mage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so big kids don't get spankings? Mm, you gotta fight them, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference between divorced women and single mothers. The man will, in both circumstances, suffer comparably with no benefit to himself. The benefits don't outweigh the cost. But not it's still not as it's still better to go with someone who doesn't who hasn't gone through that. It's still better to not choose. Have men been getting over on household duties all this time? Please listen, but I don't I don't touch a trash bag to save my life. So, so let me ask you, could you and your wife switch roles and, and what you do versus what for that person hold y'all back or let y'all go? Physically can't nobody hold me back. Ain't no such thing as a fair fight. But each direction choose your own path don't just wear anything wear garments that mean something we got hats we got sweatshirts we got jackets we even got hoodies Let's not forget our classic tea. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Direction choose your own path. You know, this is the home of We Major, Me Frosty, Unfamous, and the restricted clothing brands. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, Choose your own path.
shit, 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 shit like that. Brother, like brother, that. brother. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. The deacon will be here soon. <laughs> well, we got brothers in the building ready to rock. You feel me? Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Brother, brother, brother. Perfect. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. <coughs> Let's get the business out the way, man. Direction CYOP.com. You heard? Let me type it in the chat right now. www.directionc. Oh, CC got it. I mean, let's see, got it. Y'all go cop some merch. Send me the receipt. I'm going to send you a free shirt. This might be risky. Who's the Uncle Rick who copped the hoodie? I think it was a hoodie last week. Shit, 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 shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like Support that. Support the shit movement. Like you heard? The link is dropped. I got a couple people who are curious. A couple Christians in the back right now. <laughs> they ready to rock, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let me check these likes. We got 140 people in the building. We got 63 likes. Put him, put him, put him, put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. I'll be where else. I, I don't, I don't, want, I don't, I don't like using I statements, but I'll be working too goddamn hard, man. Y'all hit the like button, man. God. Put him in damn. the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Yo, Charleston, hit the link, my G. Let's get it popping. <laughs> get right. <laughs> Ken folk, you know we got, you know, you know we got to touch on. <laughs> brother, brother, brother. <laughs> Hit the like button, man. Hit the like button, please. Let's do it, man. All praises to the most high. Everybody came here. Salute. Everybody, yeah, we going to learn. We're going to have a good time with it. Let me set the stage. Hold on. Let me kick. Hold on. Let me see. All right, Rick Judas is still messing up. Let me kick him from the studio. He'll be back. Ah, yeah, it's going to be fun, man. Um, you all ready? So let me um let me just set the stage. Um, yeah, they slipping on the likes. Um, homeboy, salute. Aaron, salute. Um, let me set the stage real quick, right? So this is going to be a dope conversation, regardless of which way it go. Let's get some understanding about how information will be um, presented. So if you got questions, um, hopefully this will set the stage in a baseline for generally speaking, how information is going to come out. All right. Let me just show you guys a couple scriptures so that you'll you'll understand kind of why things are presented as they are. All right. It's not just um, arbitrary or by accident. All right. So. Can y'all see my screen? Yeah. Okay. First things first, right? Let all things be done decently and in order, right? First Corinthians 14 and 40. That's the first thing, right? Decorum, conduct matters, okay? Let me show you guys this. This is very important. Salute to the OG Ruthless Truth. He come up here and just be talking shit. But that, that don't gain you much ground. Right? First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things. Hold fast to which is good. Which simply makes sense. Right? We understand what you think. Let's see what the word says about what you think and if it supports your argument. All right? Just being up here talking just to talk, that ain't going to cut it. Right now, if you were coming from an agnostic or atheist standpoint, you know, you have I can understand it, but you know, if you think if you're saying the Bible um contradicts itself, show us where things of that nature so we can go through it, right? But first Thessalonians 5 and 21 prove all things hold fast, which is good, which is just makes sense, okay? Nehemiah 8 and 8, right? You and I'm giving you the verses, you can obviously jump into it to get more context, right? So they read the book in the law of God distinctly, right? So they read the law, right? At this time, Nehemiah, let's say that it's the Torah, right? Well, it was the Torah, right? They they read the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused to understand the reading, 
right so they read the bible right word for word right the qualified priest they name a bunch of them actually um in a couple verses up from verse eight um verse eight and then they give they discern it it's not about interpretation it's saying this is what this says in this passage period so you'll see this method following the bible so if you ask the brothers a question they're gonna give a verse and then give you the sense right give it in layman's terms to understand what the verse means if people don't understand it right and we'll be using the king james just as a, a platform in the baseline right. all right so let me make sure y'all following me so far it's important to kind of have some guidelines when you're having a discussion of this magnitude okay now what you may see <clears throat> is you may see verses right there's a tactic when people look gaslight say oh you plucking you're not reading in context etc right but look what the bible says isaiah 28 and 10 for precept must be upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little right it's very puzzle-esque you need to go to different books different chapters to prove a point to make the point for the point to back it up right people make this argument you can't prove the bible with the bible well shit from the layman understand that it's 66 books so you use in 66 books right we understand the apocrypha but just for sake of us talking right now there's other books that back up points from the other books all right so i just want y'all to understand all right isaiah ain't jeremiah all right so before we get that lame ass argument now we do have some external books that definitely can help prove but i think the bible is good enough for sure all right what's popping my bad i'm not looking at the chat right now y'all if y'all talking to me directly all right but i just want to set this baseline I'll just put a one in the chat if y'all understand it okay now let me show y'all this jude 1 21 and 23 right keep yourselves in the love of god looking for the mercy of our lord jesus christ until eternal life and some have compassion making a difference and others save with fear pulling them out the fire hating even a garment spotted by flesh this is saying that there are a few different ways to skin a cat if the brother's getting a discourse that got energy to it right they got a little heat back and forth that's one way to do it another way is with compassion right but don't misconstrue the brothers have an energy and passion for what they believe as an argument right because remember there's a bunch of ways to skin a cat all right but it all falls back on the premise of this right here let all things be done decently and in order so generally speaking we should comport ourselves the best way possible but shit get heated right why wouldn't it all right that makes sense <laughs> like share subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most mm -hmm. all right let me do this real quick let me see if i can see deacon was popping you hear me? mic check mic check yes sir what's popping Shit like, yeah, shit like that shit like that shit like that shit like that all praises man i'm at this uh i'm at this football practice right now running a little late but nevertheless i said let me hop on here mm -hmm. and if i need let me hop on here with my little pea shooter i think my pea shooter can handle these christians but you know if i if i gotta get to the house and grab the bazooka then you know i <laughs> that's 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 coming up here soon but first and foremost i want to start this off by giving all praises honor and glory to you how and we do so by shima mashiach yahweh shai with that being said peace and blessings to the chat I greatly appreciate y'all for bringing me on peace to the 12 tribes which are the so-called negro latinos and native americans according to history archaeology and prophecy what's good let's get it popping <laughs> Shit like that, shit like that. Shit yeah, like man. That. Hey, man, we we humbled, man. You should have seen how many messages I got. 
how the fuck you get deacon xyz i said you know <laughs> I, bought, I bought a couple children's bible shit like that you know <laughs> shit like that shit like yeah, that yeah you know it gotta be reciprocal indeed indeed it gotta be reciprocal for sure but what's going man. on peace and blessings to y'all man what's going on we got rick judah we got e mm -hmm. what's happening yeah. with the chat yeah yeah small yeah. small Shalom, all praises all praises so i got a couple christians in the back i'm gonna bring them up uh it could be questions comments or smoke there we go <laughs> Re rather than the latter <laughs> shit like that, shit like that. Perfect. Shit like that. indeed like that. man i think i'll go two at a time i dropped the link you know everybody talking they shit in the chat let's see what's what you know? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Let want two at a time. One you Christian can't handle. Well, yeah, one Christian can't handle me. They, we need two or three. At a time. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Jenny was popping. <laughs> Shalom, peace and blessings. What's going on? <laughs> Hanging in there. Hanging in there. <laughs> Let me see who got that feedback. You know what they used to say, we're doing what we do best, and that's to keep our head above the rest. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Shit like that, shit hey, like that. Shit Mr. Like White, that. you have like some yeah. buzzing going on, like a waterfall. He got the fan, he got the fan. That's that fan going in the back, huh? <laughs> nah, for real? Hold on, let me. I don't hear it on my end. He's good on my end. He's good? All right, say yeah. no more, say no more. So, Jenny, I laid out the premise. You got a question, comment, or smoke? Anybody can hit the link. Um, I guess I'll start off with a question. Um, okay. You know, like you, like you said in the beginning, we want things to be done decently and in order. So I'm not. If there's gonna be confrontation, I don't want it to come from my end. Jenny, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let me show you this last one real quick before, because decently in order means this too. Isaiah 58 1 cry aloud spare not lift up their voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins so however it come it come it's still decent okay that's actually um the verse on my Instagram bio so that's very fitting okay, um, okay. shit like that shit like that shit so like am that. I asking a question to the panel or to Deacon specifically so the panel will be in order um so okay. you ask a question it'll be answered Deacon will be up okay um and so right out of the gate my question is um what do you believe salvation is how does someone gain salvation that's two questions what what it is and how do you get it um how do you get it how do you get salvation good question mm -hmm. in matthew chapter 19 your lord and savior jesus christ real name in the ancient paleo hebrew yahweh shia mashiach he said the way we get eternal life, would you say that salvation is eternal life? Yes. He said by keeping the commandments and the commandments that the young rich ruler asked, he said, which commandments? And then our Lord proceeded to name the Mosaic law. So that's how you get eternal life per your Lord and Savior in Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 and 19. We can read that, yeah, because... I'm on my way home. I should be home in about seven minutes. But until then, you can pull up the scriptures uh, okay. on the screen. Indeed. So this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. Oh, excuse me. Starting at verse 16. And behold, one came up and said unto him, good master, what thing shall I do that I may, may have eternal life? Verse 17. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is no good but one that is God. But thou will enter into life. Keep the commandment. Want me to keep going? That's enough. If she if she has an issue with if she has an issue with what the Messiah prescribed for salvation, then we can continue reading. But what say you about that, sister? About red letter? Um, I I want to I want to hear everybody's answer before I give my answer. Then we agree. Yep, I'm 100% with that. Keep the commandments. I agree with what Jesus said. Okay. Now, I will I will let you know this, sister. You might say, well, okay. what? because most Christians say, well, what about faith? So I want you to pull up uh, Matthew 23 and 23 for me, please, sir. 
because faith is a part of the law. So it's the not we're saying it. we're yeah, exactly. It's not like we're saying we get salvation without faith by just keeping the commandments because having faith is a commandment. That's also red letter in Matthew 23 and 23. And if you got if I'm laggy because I'm driving to the house, please let me know, y'all. It sounds good. Uh, Matthew 23 and 23 of the King James says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, exclamation point. For ye pay tithe of mint, anise, and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye have to have done and not to leave the other undone. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, that's correct. What you think, Jenny? And, and, and you can do it, sister. Don't let these Christians tell you you can't do it. They keep every law in America, but say they can't keep the laws of God. Okay, so you're teaching salvation is by faith plus works? I'm teaching what the Messiah just taught right there. So is that a yes or a no? I'm teaching what the Messiah taught right there. If you is that works, faith plus works, faith plus yeah, works, so which is all, in, which is all encompassed by the law. Me and me and your Lord and Savior is teaching that. Yes. So yeah, me and your Lord said that. Okay. So wouldn't that be a contradiction? Because um, all you have, because the Bible says all you have to do is believe, and it explicitly says that salvation is not by faith plus works. Well, that means Jesus Christ is contradicting either somebody else in the Bible or your understanding. You know, Hitler believed, right? He didn't believe that Jesus Christ was his only savior. Hitler was a Christian. He believed that Jesus Christ died, was resurrected and ascended to the father. Well, Hitler was a Catholic and Catholicism and Christianity are not the same thing. And he did not put his trust on him as his only way to heaven. Yeah. So if a homosexual says, I trust solely in Jesus that he's going to, that that's my way to heaven, but he keeps being homosexual. Does he get heaven still? No, because for one, homosexuals are reprobate, so they can't get saved. And two, it's not about what you say. It's about what you believe. And a person can say anything, but they have to actually believe it. How do you show your faith? You show your faith by your works, but that's to people. That's not to God. God sees your heart. So is faith a work? No, faith is not a work. Okay, give me John chapter 6, verse 29, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me make sure y'all can see the screen. John chapter 6, verse 29 out the King James. Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he hath sent. Okay. And so it's something that you So we love you, you that's all, to, sister. What you say? I said we love you. That's what the so that's what the so is. We love you. Well, you're teaching a works-based salvation. And so you're teaching the same thing that every other false religion teaches. Wait, is Jesus Christ? Wait, is Jesus Christ teaching a works-based salvation? Because he said to get eternal life, you have to keep the works of the law. He was talking to some, the context of that when he so, said that is the fact that he was talking to someone that already believed that you had to observe the works. They weren't going to listen to him regardless. Because in other places, he explicitly says oh. that anyone that believes on me has eternal life. Okay, because the law says if you don't believe on the Messiah, you will get destroyed. Give me Deuteronomy 18 and 18. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 18, verse 18 of the King James says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Yeah, but you know, that's not how you gain salvation because Romans 3.28 says that therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith 
without the deeds of the law. Deacon still there? He might have he might have dropped off. What verse? What verse did you quote, sis? Twenty eight. She's at Romans three twenty eight. I can what? Romans three twenty eight is what she read. It says Romans three twenty eight. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Right. But, okay. So hold come on. to uh. No, he... Okay, I'm back in. So I was asking. I was asking her. Did Paul die for her sins? Did Paul die for your sins? No. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're making the Bible contradict each other. I went to your Lord and Savior, and he said how you get eternal life. You then say, but Paul said this. So what we need you to do mm. as being fair is for you, for us to pull up Matthew 19, Hold on, he broke up. That means Deacon, you breaking up. Okay, what about now? Are uh, you good now? So you see we you broke off when you said pull up Matthew 19. Yeah, we want her to up. give her a uh, we want her to give a critical analysis of the scripture that I presented to her first question in verses 16 and 19. Just read it and explain it to us. You can see it well, Jenny. Yeah. Um, which verse am I reading? Uh, verse 16 through 19. Okay. And it says, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man, oh, that's the end of 19. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and so as mm -hmm. you see right here in these verses the guy says in verse 16 he asked what good thing must i do that i may have eternal life and so he's he's coming from a perspective of oh what do i have to do to earn eternal life what do i have to what what things do i have to do and so jesus is responding with the things that he has to do but in in acts 16 30 and 31 when the philippian jailer asked paul and silas you know what must i do to be saved they explicitly <laughs> say that all you have to do is believe all right okay so that's the problem because now what you're doing is you're saying jesus christ who died for my sins for he sure. said this but paul is saying this no this is what christians I'm saying do. This that is why you christians have to understand put paul context. over jesus christ this is okay well in the context act 16 is not the context of matthew 19. did he or did he not say to get eternal life, you have to keep the commandments. Did he say that? Yes or no? He said that that's the good thing that you have to do, which is if you were to try to earn your way into heaven, those are the things you would have to do. <laughs> but you can't earn your way into heaven. It's futile. Okay. So if you can't earn your way to heaven, what is the parable about the reward, the penny? You know the penny is a reward, right? What are they getting paid for? They're earning something. Yeah, that's a parable about sanctification, not salvation. They're two separate things. What does the penny represent in that parable? Um, can you pull it up, Hamp? I don't remember off the top of my head. My bad. I was looking in the chat. Where, where you at, Deacon? The parable of the penny. I think it's like Matthew... 25 i want to say parable of the the, uh, the tennis in the vineyard yeah i think it's uh, matthew 20 matthew yeah hey hold on matthew 20 yeah so matthew 20 from the top 
it says um for the kingdom of <clears throat> excuse me for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which went out early in the morning yeah that that's it that's it the context yeah. of that parable is the kingdom so the penny is your reward that's the kingdom that's something that each person in that parable had to earn so again going to back oh, to Matthew okay. 9, that's where... 19 we got to stay right there okay i thought you were talking you about the, the parable of the talent for a second but this yeah see this is a parable so you're you're basing your doctrine off of a story and not off of an explicit statement that was made mm -hmm. And Paul and Jesus don't contradict because I Paul my didn't doctrine teach off of himself. a story. Wait, I yeah, based my this is a parable. This is not a story, a or did I? But you said that's what I based my doctrine off of. I just based my doctrine off of an explicit statement that you said to hell with, and you ran to Paul. Because you're taking it out of context. <laughs> oh that's, my! That's a cool. God. That that's a Christian's favorite argument is you're taking it out of context. Okay, so are you telling me that the law of God is done away with? You know it's called the law of God, right? Yes. The laws of God are persona non grata, meaning non existent anymore. That's what you're saying? No, there are certain things out of the law that are done away with, but most of it is still in the application. The things that okay, were explicitly so, done away with are... And, are what? Go ahead. The things that got explicitly done away with, those are things that are said. But, of course, things like, you know, honor your father and your mother and don't commit adultery, those things are still an, um, are still an act. But the meats and drinks and the cardinal ordinances, those things are done away with. What does the Bible say some of the law is done away with? Give me Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. Because what you're, what you're teaching is contradicting everything. I'm going to stay right with Jesus Christ. That's what I'm going to do. The center of my salvation. I'm going to stay right with Jesus Christ. She said some of it, one, she's saying one jot or one tittle has passed from the law. Well, let's go to Matthew 5, 17 and 19. Matthew 5, <clears throat> chapter 5, excuse me. Matthew 5, verse 17 says, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So my question to you is, sister, has all been fulfilled yet? The, our salvation has been fulfilled, yes. <laughs> well, what do you mean your salvation has been fulfilled? And Hebrews 9, 10 says that which stood in meat and drinks and divers washings and cardinal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. And so right, the so laws that, some of the laws that you're talking about are not. When is the time of reformation? When Christ came. If that's the case, then why were they still doing all of that listed? Why were they still keeping the holy, holy days and doing animal sacrifice? Mm. Give me an example. Well, you know, all throughout the New Testament, they were still keeping the Sabbath. Let's go to Acts chapter 15, verse... 20 when the apostles told them they gave them some laws to keep then they said moses teaches the laws in the synagogue every sabbath so I meaning when they go there they're going to receive more of the law statutes and commandments matthew i'm sorry acts chapter 15 verse 20 or is it 21 yeah you good yeah 21 mm -hmm. so you want me to start at 20 or 21 You breaking up. I'm gonna start at 20. Uh, but we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. For Moses of old time have in every city them that preach him being read in, in the synagogues every Sabbath day. And the Sabbath. 
Mm. So you you understand this, Jenny? They literally they're they're telling them these laws, right? That they 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 have to they can't break these laws, these commandments here. And this is in Acts after Jesus. Okay. Okay, but this doesn't say anything about salvation. This doesn't say that this is what they're doing to earn their way into heaven. Well, what do you what do you mean, Jenny? Well, I kind of want to wait till Deacon come back. I don't want to pry, but you because you're saying the law is done, right? But then they're teaching the law in Acts, and and this is and look who's here: Paul, Barnabas. You know, and they're ha and they're and they're having this combo. James did right. I, I didn't say James that the whole did. law is done. I said that certain parts of the law are done. Would you would you think that? So what would be? So you think that these parts of the law wouldn't be done? Like fornicate? Like what? What part are you saying? As well, I'll, 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 I'm 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 trying to wait till Deacon kind of come back in. Uh, we I guess we can restate it though. What part was done away with in your in your estimation? <clears throat> In Hebrews 9 10, it says that the meats and the drinks, the divers' washings, the cardinal ordinances. I know, but look at this, right? And from things strangled. So you know you can't eat animals that have been choked out. So that immediately wouldn't make sense. And Paul here, your man Paul here. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> well, Go ahead. I mean, not, not eating blood is something that was, this is the same, um, because that was given not in the eating ordinances, but that was like in the, in the, um, like moral laws. So like the moral laws, those are the same. And so it's, it says, um, that we're not supposed to eat blood or eat things that are sacrificed to idols. And so um the parts that are done away with from pork or shellfish or different things like that so that is the kind of things that are done away with hold on hold on we cannot eat blood but we can't stop eating pork we got I mean, we okay to eat pork and shrimp and and people we can eat all those things not people what's the difference between people and pork people are human beings Whereas the scripture says human beings are different to be consumed. So, I mean, you got to tell me the difference. Are you are saying that cannibalism is okay? Tell me where, tell me the law that says cannibalism. Where's the scripture saying anything about cannibalism? I guess what I'm asking you is you, you're not going to any scriptures that's telling us. You say in the, in the old law, we can't eat blood. You know, you said that. Cool. So now in the old mm -hmm. law, it tells us we can't eat pork or unclean foods. We can't eat hawks, eagles, lions. So how come we can't eat blood, but we can, I mean, we can eat blood, but you know, why, why is it switching up? Um, well, Jesus tells Peter that, you know, don't call what I have called clean and uncommon, unclean or uncommon. And so um, he's expressing that, you know the the different animals that we can eat eat are you know everything's off the table now um but when it comes to eating blood i mean eating blood is always <laughs> wrong because life is in the blood and so you're not supposed to consume another creature's you know life you know that's it's it's different because it's symbolic so consume the creature but not the see creature's life okay cool oh never mind deke is back i'm, so I'm gonna go deke, ahead and let him keep going he was uh she, she was uh all right hold on let me <laughs> let me read the super chats real quick uh jenny you know i love you right let me just make sure i say that first all right um but jenny this is what you're doing right now i can't hold you thank you you just windmilling you just you just you just going off man Man, Brian, what's poppin'? Thank you for becoming a member, man. I appreciate you. What up, buzzin', buzzin', birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Huh? KG, Shalom Ak with the fight hours says, Shalom Ak, my brother and Deacon. You on you know I wasn't gonna miss this one. 
Salute. <laughs> Reggie been working 14 hour days, but he here though. You heard? Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like Missy that. Missy T, thank you for becoming a third cousin. Appreciate you. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds, flipping, dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't? Salute. WS Judah was popping with the 2000. Shalom, Ham, and Deacon! Exclamation point. This should be a goat. Indeed. Canary in the coal mine salute with the 10 Canadian says all praise going honor to the creator my heavenly father Yahweh and we do so by Shema Hamashiach Yahweh Shai in the name of his only forgotten son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ as A with the final says Deacon three foot damn man <laughs> <laughs> damn Canary come out with the five Canadian says Sakari Toronto camp member is in the building. Shalom, Deacon. <laughs> Son Kid, Shalom. <laughs> Freezy was popping. Perfect. He said, Shalom, this might be risky. Salute the panel and the chat. Appreciate the stream. I, all praises to the most high. Indeed. Rilla was popping with the 10 ounces. This is the build I've been waiting for, Hand. Uh -huh. Let's go. Reese was popping with the two dollars. Can you put the 12 tribe chart ham and explain it? You hit the link, bring your five dollar ass up here. As A with the five dollars says, Thank you, men, for taking the time to share with us. I've been listening to you for a long time. I grew up a past this kid. Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. <laughs> All right. So, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we was on pork. <laughs> I think uh, we were trying to. We were so deep. Pork? Oh, we was on no, 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 no. On pork. Dang. No, no. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we were talking about Deacon. Do you got a delay? Can you hear me? You got a little delay. Let me see. Can you hear me? Let me try to refresh. Let me try to refresh. Hold on. All right. I'm dropping the link. It's a lot. It's a lot of experts in the chat. <laughs> it's a, lot, a lot of experts in the chat. The link is up. 400 people here. We got 399 experts in the chat. Hit the link. Oh, <laughs> oh man so Deacon, can you hear me i hear you can you hear me yeah all right let me know if it's lagging again i don't know okay what... it's moving like you moving kind of like glitch. you know how you like your camera look like a little glitchy but you can hear me right i hear you yeah see you're, you're on time at least with it you don't have no delay so let's rock it out we'll see what it looks like so Deacon, you are here showing Jenny um in Acts um uh, where are we Acts 15 about how they were keeping the law here after Jesus and all that. Right, right. Well, specifically, she said certain parts of the law that was done away with. That's mm -hmm. what we wanted to show. She was saying, like the most Christians say the the Levitical priesthood, if you will, like the high holy days the the ceremonial laws most christians say all that is done away with or was done away with at at the messiah mm -hmm. right am i am i right that most christians uh believe that sister jenny yes i would say so okay so what i wanted to show her how they're telling these new believers to go to the synagogue on the sabbath and learn more of moses in acts chapter 15 that was one example but what's more clear is much more clear than that is paul himself paul the god of the christians that's their lord and savior i don't care which christians try to lie and say that paul's our brother we love him but to christians that's their lord so in acts chapter 24 look what paul says in acts chapter 24 in verse 17 look what he says he says 
Now, after many years, I came to bring alms to my nation and offerings, right? So what he's saying here is, especially when you look at other translations, or if you even look in the Greek, it says that he comes to Jerusalem to give alms and do animal sacrifices at the temple. Even in Acts chapter 21, we see James, the Lord's brother, uh, commanding Paul to show the people that he keeps the law and give animal sacrifice. Now, what does this mean? Oh my God, every animal sacrifice is not a sin offering. So we're just showing you that animal sacrifice in general continue while whilst the temple stood. What say you? Do you agree with the text? Um, Ham, can you pull up this passage that he's talking about in James where James tells uh, Paul to commit animal sacrifice? Okay. Yeah, oh. Acts chapter 21. 21. Hold on. Yeah. And then we're going to, we can start at, I think I can read it now since I can see. I think it's verse 20. Exercise myself. No, you're, you're on a 24. If you go, if you can go to Acts 21. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Okay. Because I can't see it on my screen. What? Right. Yeah, it's still on Acts 24. You see me scrolling? Nah, I don't. That might be my... Can you guys see Acts 21 oh, on the screen? Wait, wait, no, no, no. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, it's not scrolling on my... All right. I'm tripping. Yep. It's me. It's me. Go ahead. Yeah, so in Acts 21 verse 20. Yeah, 20. There you go. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe and they are zealots of the law. That means they are eager to keep the law. They love the law. They teach the law. They follow the law. This is the prime example for them to say, hey, brothers and sisters, like the, like some old ex-clan music, and say, y'all do not have to follow the law anymore. <laughs> Did they say that? No, this is what they said in verse 21. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying they not saying they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. So he's saying, what's this word about uh, you being amongst the Jews on the outskirts and telling them they don't have to keep the law? Is this true? Is it not? What's going on, Paul? So look at what he says in verse 22. This is James, the Lord's brother. In verse 22, he says, uh, what is it there for? Meaning, what are we going to do about this? The multitude must need to come together, for they will hear that thou art come. So verse 23 says, Do therefore this that we say unto thee. We have four men which have a vow on them, showing that they were still keeping the Nazarite vow. Numbers chapter 6. Them take and purify thyself with them. This word for purify in the Greek is the Levitical ritualistic way of purifying yourself according to the Levitical law. And be at charges with them that they might shave their heads. That's what you do at the end of a Nazarite vow. And you're supposed to offer a, sac a, a lamb or a goat, I believe, when you read number six. So it says, shave their heads and that all may know that these things were whereof they are were informed. Uh, if you could scroll up. And form yeah. concerning thee are nothing, but look what James says, are nothing, but thou also thyself walkest orderly and keepest the law. Verse 25, he says, but those Gentiles that believe we have written and concluded that they have to observe no such thing, saving to keep themselves from idols and from blood and from things strangled in fornication. Verse 26 is the focal point. Then Paul took the men and the next day, purifying himself with them, entered into the temple, into the temple to signify the accomplishment of the days of purification until that an offering what should be offered for every one of them. Do you agree with the text? Um, okay, so a lot is being said. Um, so for one, 
the, the context of what we're, we were talking about originally was in regards to salvation. And so I'm teaching that you don't have to obey the law in order for salvation. I didn't say that a person should not do the things in the law because remember we talked about salvation versus sanctification. And so a person should obey the law, you know, for sanctification purpose. A, a person should obey the things that God teaches because that's what they should do. But that does not save you. That does not get you to heaven. That just increases your faith walk. That makes you sanctified. Um, but that does not get you into heaven. Um, and then okay. um, also so in that, that passage. Yo, what? I'm going to give you one last verse before we bring somebody else on here. Because at this point, you're, 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 you're resisting the Holy Spirit. In Luke chapter 10, verse 25. Let's pull that at Luke chapter 10, verse 25. All right. And maybe some of these other Christians can come on here and, and explain this. This is a total separate occasion, total separate event. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him saying, Master, this is red letter. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, what is written in the law how readest thou so why is he why is he again saying you can find eternal life in the laws of god because we already addressed the fact that he said you have to believe in the law okay thank you we appreciate that sister uh pray about it meditate on it and also we re rewatch this but i want you to rewatch this but I want you to look at the comments too. The comments, when you see what other people were saying, you that kind of helps you understand a little bit more. We love you though. Hey, like put shit. it like this. Let me end it. Let me end it like this with just with her. But she don't have to get off. I don't know how you guys run your show, but I want to try to see if we could get everybody who may want to speak to me a yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to I want to ask her this or tell her this. What do you have to, to lose by saying? I'm not keeping God's laws anymore. And what do you have to gain by saying I'm going to keep God's laws? What if you're wrong and you say I'm not God's laws don't give me salvation, as opposed to you possibly being right and saying I'm going to keep God's salvation laws for salvation? What do you have to gain or lose in the two? Well, That's something you I would have. About. I would have to, because I already try to obey already. And so it's not that I'm saying that you don't have to. So I would be, I would still be fine because I already try to obey God's laws. But the difference would be that I would believe that obeying those laws have anything to do with me getting into heaven. And therefore I would be believing on myself in tandem with Christ, which is not how you get to heaven. It's by faith alone in Christ. Okay. So if you break the law, if you break the law, if you're a breaker of the law, you make your heart uncircumcised. Can you get to the kingdom of heaven with an uncircumcised heart? No, but breaking the laws don't unsave you. You have eternal life once you believe. Okay. So and there, there lies the problem because we have to build our foundation off of that foundational stone, which is who the world calls Jesus Christ. And that's what he taught. That's what he taught, so that's what I'm standing on. Now, I'm not trying to disrespect you, but if you had more understanding of prophecy, then I would show you actual prophecies that state how Israelites in particular get our salvation. But I don't know, are you familiar with the prophecies? Is that your strong point? Um, I don't know what prophecies you might be referring to, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of prophecies that say in order for the Israelites, which we are, to get out of our current condition, we have to collectively keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. So what this white supremacist cult has done, known as Christianity, because they know where the people, at least their higher ups do, they have pushed in our minds that no, you can be an antinomian. You don't have to keep the laws. Just believe and love us while we're whipping your bag because they know that that's going to prolong the deliverance of the true Israelites. 
That's Deuteronomy chapter 30. Okay. Jenny, one quick question. Let's say a man accepts uh Jesus, right, as his Lord and Savior. He's saved at that point, right? Yes, forever. What if he's gay? <laughs> well, gay people can't accept. What if he what? turns gay? Yeah, what if he turns gay? That wouldn't happen. Hmm. So, okay, so, but why in Revelation does it say it's possible for your name to be blotted out of the book of life? Yeah, you're, it's possible for your name to get blotted out of the book of life because a person can do something to um, to lose their ability to get saved. Everyone is born with the ability to get saved, but some people can lose it. No, sister, you said once you believe you're saved forever. You said that verbatim. Yeah. But you just said one could lose his salvation. God damn. No, I you you talked about the book of life. I'm not talking. That's not that's not the same thing. You're so you're falsely. Book of life. If my name is in the book of life, there's still a possibility that I might not get salvation. No, because everybody starts off in the book of life. <laughs> that's what Revelation teaches. Oh man, where's that book chapter verse, please? You got the floor. Okay. And and so the gay guy starts in the book of life. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all born and we all have the ability to get saved and then because romans chapter one talks about the process of someone becoming a reprobate and so but if you, someone hates god is it a process a it's a process so he can't become gay after he accepts jesus no because you because you can't hate god and be a christian <laughs> so have people believe have people believed within the bible and then fell off by the wayside they get backslidden, but they never lose their salvation. Okay. And this is, why, never that. this is why Christianity is so much of a detriment to our community because they just teach that, you know, to abuse grace. Like, whatever you do, don't matter. You just believe on this white, blue eyed, blonde haired man and you get eternal salvation. But that's a straw man because yeah. no one said anything about Jesus being white or blonde haired. Okay. The, the, <laughs> The populace for the depicted white Jesus is accepted by the majority of the Christian church. Not all, excuse me. Yeah, and, and we have no reason to believe that depiction of Jesus, but because at the end of the day, it's spiritual. And so in the New Testament, we believe by on our spirit. That's why our salvation is not gained by works. It's, it's all by faith because it's but what we believe in our heart. Is it your job to keep the law? Um, I should do that. That's not what I asked. <laughs> I didn't ask that. I mean, is it my job? I mean, if I don't, I'm not going to get fired. I'm not going to lose my salvation. So if you don't, if you don't do your job, you don't get fired. No, because I'm born into the family of Christ. That's why it's called being born again. You can't never, you can never lose your parental connection to your biological parents. Just like you can never lose your spiritual connection to God, the father. Jesus Christ. Yo, okay. I can't take this. this is <laughs> the, the deacon. Right, let's, um, hold on, hold on, Bean. Let's, let's, uh, hey, Jenny. Uh, all right. <laughs> Jenny, you, I'm so glad you came up first, man. Golly, you did a wonderful job of, ex yeah. of exposing what we needed to expose. <laughs> Appreciate you, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, look over here. You know I love you. Don't even worry about it. Don't oh even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, man. Damn, let me read these couple super chats and we'll get right back into it. And Deke, I'm a, um so Mr. White had more questions. Um I bet I, I got time. I got time. All right, all right, all right, cool. Oh, cool. All right. Lauren. <laughs> Lord Mac with the 50 ball says, I want to see the Israelites and Christians dance. Yeah, come on, man. That shit sounds good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all can boogie so I know it's real. Whoever can dance the best, I'm switching. God damn. damn. <laughs> Is that easy? Let's so, go. Deacon, so when I get 50 and up super chats, I play these little like songs and shit. All we do is just, damn, you can't even call it Diddy Bop no more. What the fuck you call it? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. 
I'm gonna play this one. The other outside is humid. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She wanna run the street, so let her ho, let her ho, let her ho. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be caught blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her ho, let her ho, let her ho. Nas with the fight dollars says Gentiles just mean law other laws Greek culture Jews that were estranged from the law. Jesus and Paul did not come 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 for everyone, only other Jews. Judah with the ten dollars says Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Last book of the Bible. Lord Jefferson with the 279 Canadian says, This is how. Eve confused Adam. <laughs> Lord Jefferson with the 279 Canadian. Don't bite the apple. Canary with the five Canadian says, from the wise words of the deacon, it's easier, quote unquote, to get someone all fit and all than Christianity. God damn. August with the five dollars says, according to the Bible, which day are we supposed to recognize the Sabbath? Um, can we quick answer this? Or you know what? We'll say, let me do this. I'm gonna have to yeah, let me we'll say that. That's that's a quick answer. Aaron with the two dollars says, People like this is why I left the church. Man, man, man. Mm, mm, mm. Mr. White was popping. Yo, what's good? Rick, can you do me a favor? The ones that are like five and lower, can you give him the verses in the in the chat? Yeah, and uh five and lower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um Mr. White, you had a question? Yeah, uh, I'm going to keep it short. I just got two. Um, well, my first one was the one about free will. Where is that at, like, that we don't have it? And if y'all can explain that to me, that we don't have free will. Hmm. Well, Sakari personally, Sakari leadership, I can only speak for us. Certain Israelites may believe that, but Sakari does not believe that we have free will due to the Bible teaching the predestination it literally says the word predestination in romans chapter 8 and uh there's two other reasons as well when you look at adam the bible says adam never had a chance when you read romans chapter 8 he never had a chance it wasn't his choice to go off like that um romans chapter 8 verse verse 20 Romans chapter 8 verse 20 says for the creature the context here is Adam and Eve or Adam or both just the beginning of humanity for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly wow but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope so he made him like that because there was this plan already to send the Messiah to fix fallen humanity starting with the Israelites that's why it says Jesus Christ was the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So if he already if he already knew he was going to kill his son, the father, before the world even was created, that means Adam never had a chance. So that's just that's just a couple things. Uh, just a couple points of why we at Sakari don't believe there is free will. Um, you might so, comment on that. Go ahead. Yeah, that was going to say. Um. Pretty much, I, I agree with predestination. Same thing. Uh, only difference we believe here at Church of Louisville, we believe that that God is just all knowing. He knows. Ex he knew what Adam was going to do. He knows what everybody's going to do. Um, Isaiah forty six and ten. He talks about uh, from the beginning. I've made beginning from the end. So he kind of understands with all his great knowledge and wisdom exactly which person was going to do what. So it's people have free will to have choice, but. Yeah, it ends up being the whoever's destined to make it, that spirit is going to make it because of how they are. That it makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. Expound. Does the character in the Arthur's book have choice? That's no. a good point. No. Absolutely not. Nah. Because uh, because what what Rick just alluded to is exactly this, um, Isaiah. Oh, excuse me, Psalms fifty eight um, and three. The wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So, yeah, that, it's predestination, hundred percent. 
<clears throat> yeah. And so, Ecclesiastes 7, it says, God made man upright. He gave us the way to go. And we sought out those wicked inventions. Uh, Ecclesiastes 729. So it kind of goes along with that Psalm 58 scripture. Yes, but again, if you're saying that God knew everything that would happen prior to conception, that's an author. That means it was written. God right? is even, not the book. Even if he jay z it in his head, right? But you understand what you're saying. God is not the book. Just because he has it written down does not mean he he's was. the book. I didn't say Christ he was. is the word, not God. I just said he was the author. If you're telling me he knew prior to mankind even being invented, when I would be born, everything I would do in between, and when I would die, that sounds like an author and a character to me. That doesn't sound like free will. Yeah, and that's why you're saying your understanding is that's that's again, you said an author and a character. That's where he forced everybody to do what it God didn't create robots. Because God would if he created robots, we'd all do what he wants us to do. He he would that all of us repent. Ezekiel 18. Do you have a choice to come to Christ? That's a good question. Damn. I can respect your response, Rick, but what I'm saying is you notice how you're changing the words in order to make your narrative stick. I keep saying mm -hmm. no, keep the same meaning. No, I said um, you and thanks for, thanks what he just asked. He he said, he said, Does Christ give us a choice to come to him? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Moada, I don't know if you're a real person or not. You off camera and all that. When I put the link out there, I told you be on camera. Don't go on and off camera. That's how niggas be porn bombing and shit. Motherfucker, why would I not bring you up? Click the link and be on camera. My bad, beans. It's all good, Rick. So, the example that I used was an author and characters, and then you said he didn't create robots. We because we aren't what I'm saying is we aren't we're not a book. That's what I'm saying. God, the book is Christ, Christ is the word of God. God is not the word of God, He's the ancient of days. He can't be confined to that. He creates the way that He wants us to go. There's a separation. So, did He create the wicked? You said you said if we were robots, he would make us all righteous. But the Bible says he created the wicked. though. Oh, yes, absolutely. He created the people that they're going to be wicked, but he did not make us robots. He gave he's like, I, this spirit is wicked. He created us all with the wicked spirit. Uh, second is three. We all had a if I just read it really fast. Second is three and 20. He says. He says, and yet took us thou not away from them a wicked heart that thy law might bring forth fruit in them so he never took the heart of the wicked in it. we all want to go astray we all got a, a mortal man this weak the flesh and we have to fight it and the law is supposed to cause us to do good we're supposed to choose god god won't make us go he's not going to force us into heaven against our will we're going to choose to be in hell like we're choosing to live continue to live in hell right now that we're in the slavery so, captivity the will of god if God wants to choose you to save you, you're strong enough to reject that. Oh, nobody can reject God's will. We just said that, though. He said he can't force you to save you. He sure did force Jonah's ass in that to go, go to Nineveh. Nineveh he, Jonah didn't want to go. Well, Jonah could have let himself die. He could have let himself he, he He made things happen where Jonah repented. He couldn't have let himself die. He <laughs> You just read a scripture. <laughs> you just read a scripture out of a book. Right? What I'm saying is, do you believe that those people existed? Absolutely. Everybody existed. That they right. got recorded. Are they still characters in that book? They're, they're not characters, though. They're people. They're actually, but are, are they, they're historical figures. There's a difference. Between, you say characters, you're making it sound like Batman, Spider-Man, um, Mr. Yeah. Freeman. Yeah, people who walk on water, raise the dead, talk the dead, live in whales' mouths, talk to burning bushes. Sound like some comic Marvel shit to me too as well. But okay, I'm just how do you, you, I'm just asking for a second to, instead of trying to land your point, just communicate with me, right? Okay, so, okay let me communicate with you. Because you said, okay, you named all this stuff that you're saying is miraculous. All right. About when, the characters that hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me, let me continue on. You to reference it instead of continually uh, saying. I don't answer this. So, do how did the, how did the world get created? How, how did the world get, what happened? don't know okay because something miraculous happened something that you would consider um something galactus would have done the all great powerful ruler so regardless of what you're talking about something had to happen that you would consider somebody somebody walking on water is nothing compared to creation of the world so right. it's, a, it's a foolish argument when people make that it's kind of argument i didn't make an argument i, I mean, presented an analogy 
Oh, right? Okay, well, I'm, I'm giving you an, an analogy because I'm trying to get you to well, stop trying to make your point. Well, let's not be disingenuous. The analogy you made was to say how silly the things that happened in the Bible were. Don't say you well, wasn't. That's what you're doing. That I made was in response to you acting like they can't be characters, right? I'm saying it's a book, bro. So if you just take your belief away from it one second and just have a secular conversation with me, what I'm saying is because we're arguing free will. And we've gone away from that because you want to address what I'm asking you just simply about uh, author and characters in a book, right? Because if I, I know what the character is going to do, the character does not get to change its course. I wrote the story, right? And if I knew that before the character was ever was ever born, how is that free will? That's what I'm asking you to respond to instead of just trying to regurgitate your point. Because when, again, when you say how is it free will, again, we have a God that loves us enough to allow us to make a choice. If God, if you have an all loving God, he's not going to force you to do anything that is going to hurt you or help you. It's going to be your choice to do it. It's always your choice. Gotcha. When does our, when does our free will start? When we was born. What? So you, let you, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me kind of slow it up because we could be subject to parents that could have set us up for that put us in a bad situation which god placed us in he, so he had us will, be born a certain free, okay so your free will starts when you're born so all right so at at birth you have free will to choose consciously choose because i chose to touch an iron and i got my ass burnt at two years old three years old four years old okay so it starts that it starts when we're born. Is it is it a conscious choice that we have now? Absolutely. Um, now you're talking about like, uh, is it intelligent? Wisdom comes later. So you you comparing wisdom to consciousness? We're conscious of what we're doing. We just may not understand what we're doing. Okay. My last question, because I want to get to Mr. White's other question. My last question to Rick would be: Did Jesus Christ have free will? Yes, he did how when it says he's the lamb slain before the foundation of the world because he knew how great his son was he knew exactly what he's going to do what he's going to perform the acts that he would just like god said with david god said david will perform all my will that's why when he removed saul from his spot he put david in who he knew was just like him and he's going to act he was going to act out what god needed him to do he understood his heart he understood his mind that's why he was chosen to be the next king did jesus want to get on that cross was his will nope. did he he, he, had, he did not want to at all no why he, he didn't, didn't want, he didn't have free will on that though. yeah he did he's a man men do things well, they don't want to do all the time he, he stood what up you're telling us, what you're telling us is that jesus christ had the ability to say no father i'm not getting on that cross yes absolutely <laughs> but, but the said, I, wait but you just said but you just said something you said that god chose some guy to replace another guy Here's my question. I'm just, this one going to let me know if I'm going to communicate with you further. Mm -hmm. When did he make that choice? When did he make the choice to say, I'm going to choose this guy to replace this guy? When the guy, you're talking about Saul, when King Saul didn't do what he was saying, he's like, all right, this, I can't trust him as king no more. He's got to go. And he, do, he, he rent the kingdom from him. So the decision to, to, to change that guy happened in that moment and not prior to existence. No, it happened. I mean, it happened in that moment, but he hoped that he wouldn't. But he mm. made the choice. See, that's crazy to me because how, why? How could he hope that he wouldn't if he already okay. knows everything? Okay, right? let me. If he is omniscient and he knows everything in the beginning and again at all times. Okay, well, can I read a scripture? I'm gonna read a scripture for you and see what you think about this. Uh, Ezekiel 18 31. All right, cast away all your transgression. In fact, I'm gonna start 30. Um, therefore. I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Verse 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith, your sword, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live. He says the same thing in Second Peter three. He's waiting for all the people to repent. When people don't repent, then he has to make a choice. God's forced to his hand is forced. He doesn't want his people to die. He loves us just like a parent doesn't want their child to suffer. They make that choice. Cool. I can concede that's a great argument for free will. 
but that also argues against omniscient. How does it right, argue so, against omniscient? Because omniscient, not, omniscient would be all powerful, correct? No, it means knowing all. Uh, that's no, that means, omni, omnipotent is uh, so um, omnipotent is all powerful. Right, omniscient yeah, 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 basically right. means before you were ever created, he knew exactly who you would be, when you would be, and when you wouldn't be anymore. Okay, let me give there you an example. No need. I'm, I'm gonna prove this really no quick need. for you, Rick. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Let me Go get ahead. out more than seven words before you cut me off. Because uh, my bad. Know, Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm allowing you to finish your sentences. I don't want to have to ask that again, please, brother. I just continue. So, what I'm saying is yeah. this: from what I have been told, and what I assume you also <laughs> believe is that God is omniscient. That means prior to ever creating men, prior to ever creating angels in heaven or any of that, he knew everything that was going to happen, every last thing. So that would mean there wouldn't even be a moment where he would be hoping that somebody wouldn't do anything because he would already knew they were. There would be no need for that hope. So again, the argument that you presented is a great one for free will, but it goes against God being omniscient. I just want to make sure you understand that. So well, I think right now you're going to judgment because then what you said, you said there would be no need for him to do that. So you're going off of what you believe is right and wrong. And that's the that's where you falling off the wagon. But let's right. put it like this. If I place you, if I said, all right, jump over the fence and go into the uh, tiger's den at the mm -hmm. zoo. Now, you wouldn't do that. Why? Because you know the nature of a tiger. You understand that the tiger's probably going to do something to you. It's a bad idea. So why would an all powerful God who understands all people? All things, all animals, all environments. Why would he not know what said creature would do in said situation? So from the beginning of time, yes, he will understand that perfectly. <clears throat> yeah, so Beans, you don't believe in free will? Uh, from a religious perspective, no. All right, so let me ask you a question. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Mr. White had one more question. Um, I kind of let the back and forth with Beans and Rick go um we'll see what the chat thinks about it um mr white had one more question jp then i'm gonna send it back to deacon and then we'll point the questions primarily to deacon while he got time all right yeah. um wait mr. so i had one more question beans was probably yeah but yeah but now i got more about the subject that they were talking about okay right because okay. my question then is and, and of course uh, deacon you can ask me this then does foreknowledge just because you have foreknowledge of something, does that mean people have no choice? Right? So, like, I think somebody could, just because God has foreknowledge of what's going to happen, does it necessarily mean people don't have the option to make the choice? And then the other thing I'm thinking about as y'all are talking is, so then what's the point of us trying to teach people the, the truth, right? What is the point of y'all doing everything that you're going to do if they can't decide whether they're going to believe what you're teaching them anyway? So that's that's a good question. I don't believe that for it's foreknowledge that provides choice. I believe everything is by ordination. And to your other question that why teach the same way that God told Ezekiel, because we're doing what God commanded. God told Ezekiel to go teach the Israelites. And you know what he told Ezekiel? They're not going to listen to you, but go do it anyway. God told Moses, go tell Pharaoh this. But Pharaoh's not going to listen. So he commands us to do things. And he knows that what what we're doing is is or who we're who we're reaching out to is not going to be responsive. But in all, we are keeping his commandment. All right. That's my question. I appreciate it. Though it's like because you said that when you're having a conversation with Miss Jenny about keeping the law. And it sounded like you were suggesting that keeping the law is the, well, well. Let me ask you this first, respectfully, Deacon. Do you have a problem with being asked yes or no questions? Um, some questions are yes or no's, but some warrant a a bit of a more response. So, so, but so, let me, let me, like that, so that's why I was just asking because I don't. A lot of people don't like that. So, well, let me set the table. Um, Beans, I think those are completely fine. But and this goes for everybody, but I'm glad Beans asked the question. I'm going to take the liberty to discern where that question is coming from. Is it a setup? Is it et cetera? Not saying Beans, just everybody, just generally speaking. Ahead, so Beans. the question would be, are you, do, are you of the mindset that 
keeping the laws is what gets you into heaven. Well, I have to ask this. Are you a believer of the Bible? Because you made some statements that that, that made me question that. No. Okay. So you, your question is about my theology of something that you don't agree with. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll entertain it. Yes, the Bible says you get salvation by keeping the laws of God. Does that mean you have to keep them all? Uh, yes, you have to keep all the laws of God that you can. If you can't keep something that you absolutely can't, then you're not judged by that. That's where grace comes in. For example, it's a law to sacrifice at the temple in Jerusalem. There is no temple in Jerusalem. So therefore, we can't possibly keep that. Right. What if is is there a law against homosexuality? Yes. What if you can't keep it? Will you still be extended the same grace? That's something that you can keep. That's something that you can refrain from. It's something that you are doing from your vantage point. It's something that you're choosing to do from your vantage point. Let's suggest let's 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 have the conversation as if it's not. What do you mean if it's not? Yeah, what if because I, I would also that would also include I've seen homosexual stop being homosexual. Right. So like, you know, that not just your activity, but also your thoughts, right? Your thoughts would also, if you have those thoughts, that would also go against the law, correct? Not necessarily. There's the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Now you want okay. to control your thoughts, of course, but there's no mm -hmm. verse that says thou shalt not thinketh like that or thinketh like that. There is a law that says if you look at your neighbor's wife sexually, then that is a violation. Right. I thought lust was one of them. I could be wrong, though. There's no law that says thou shalt not lust. It says okay. don't of it after your neighbor's wife. That's okay. one of the ten. But so because well, so let me just be honest. I'm of the mindset that a lot of what we see today with the homosexuality is created. Right. I've watched people who have spent a lot of their lives trying to be something other than what they were because of religion and family pressure and this and that. And when it comes down to it, that is just who they are. That is just mm -hmm. their biological makeup. They cannot change it, right? Mm -hmm. So this would, even though it may go against your belief, that's why I'm asking you to just have the conversation you know with me. I think I know what yeah. you're saying. You don't have to be, you don't have to be apprehensive. Just, just, I, I got thick skin. Just say what you mean and mean what you say. I, think I did, I asked you what if they couldn't. Okay, so I you whether they could and your response was that they could. Right, because there's there's individuals that have repented from sexual immorality. Now, mm -hmm. if they can't or haven't, that's because God did not predestine them to repent from that. He actually predestined them to do that. So the question is, is will God judge you for something he made you do or created you to do? And the answer is absolutely. I agree, although I think it's stupid as hell. But I agree with that. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I'm, absolutely. I, I, I don't, I don't question God, but there's certain things that I don't understand, and I have to chalk it up to is His sovereign will, and so that that that's my the way I succumb to it. Yeah, I respect that. Well, right, being right. why did God ask Sodom and Gomorrah to repent? Why would He suggest that? I have no clue, brother. <laughs> these y'all beliefs i'm i'm just trying to understand beans, what i try beans, to what you believe being what's your what's your religious beliefs i don't have one but I I, what one. i try to do in these conversations is reconcile how people come to the beliefs that they do right because okay. i struggle with mine i don't pretend like i'm not one of those people who pretend to go either way i'm not democrat i'm not liberal i'm not christian i'm not muslim I think it's something to be said in all of these different ideologies that can be applicable to life to make your life that much more comfortable and palatable. Are you pro homosexual? Say that again. You pro homosexual? Nah, it's icky to me. <laughs> okay. We shit like that. Shit we, like that. Shit like that. We gotta shit be like careful that. how we talk on on the YouTube streets because I know my channel been taken down so many damn times. Well, we're not so being disrespectful. 
Yeah, we Yeah, I never really, never really did. Yeah. No, nah, that was good though. Um uh yeah, and G- Beans, and that's one thing I'll say, even though he don't believe, he definitely genuine in his question asking, you know. That's why he get to that point. Like I absolutely agree, even though it's stupid. That's a point, man. Fuck it. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Uh, Mr. White, um, here's what I'm gonna do. And Jenny, I'm a, I'm gonna drop y'all down. There's people trying to hit the link, and then um uh Jenny, you sticking around? Uh yeah, if you want me to, I can. Yeah, stick around. All right, I'll I'll drop the link back. Um, it's only right that it, at least you can come back for like a suicide round. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just and, and I'm just like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Hey, Jenny, the best. Hey, Deacon, I love Jenny. She ain't scared though. She 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 come up here and fight. You know. <laughs> so, hi, hey, right, Jenny. She's stronger than uh, most Christians, I'll tell you that. Most Christian men, I'll no, tell you no, that. Don't say that. I came here to give you the smoke, Deacon. Well, I said well, most right now. <laughs> yeah, she. Nah, Jenny. I fuck with Jenny. All right, so A and Miss Jenny, I'm gonna drop y'all down. All right, and then I'll drop the link back in, or I'll send it. You know, Instagram. You know, whatever the case is. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Let me just organize this. All right, we got a couple spots free. Um, I got a couple brothers in the back. Hold on. Let me let me just clear this up. Vapors was popping. Simeon was popping. His ghetto point of view was popping. Let me catch up on these super chats and then we'll get right back into it. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, I read this one. How y'all gentlemen doing? What's probably people like this. Uh, oh, yo, peace right. be with your brother. Reese with the five dollars says, confuse how we're confused how we're all Jews by the seed of the father. When when black women were great during slavery, I got lots of Jamaican cousins with European Y chromosomes. Mars been a member for five months. What is the difference between the son of man, son of God, or God the Father? I think we could answer this, but this might be, we could probably get a good answer in the chat too for this. Uh, Jeremiah with the 10 says, why punishment, why punish the serpent for facilitating God's plan? Quote unquote. Why did God instruct David to count the Jews, which is proscribed? And why did Satan do the same in Chronicles? Okay. That's a first of all, one. first of all, it's not prescribed for a Judite to number Israel. Only a Levit- only the Levites can number Israel. That's Exodus 20, I believe. Or it, uh, Exodus, I know it's in Exodus, but only the Levites can number Israel. So that was David's sin for doing that. He's not Levi, he's Jew. Hmm. Right. Judah with the five dollars says, there is no free will. Either you will follow, follow the laws or be the least in the kingdom. Matthew 5 and 19, King James Version. You mean go ahead and read that on the five? What? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, you said some read the super chats with the scriptures, uh, five dollars, five dollars and under. Is that what you're talking about? No, I said you could respond in the chat. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, like you can give them an answer in the chat, kind of just because the people hitting the link, you know, I mean, unless it's like 50 bucks or something, we really need to answer. Um, you know, and Jeremiah will hit the link too, but I want to get like I want to make sure we get a decently substantive answer. Is the panel got a little bit more action to it? Hank Deasy, salute, I remember for five months, Joseph, appreciate you. Perfect. Let me play this for Joseph real quick. Oh, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. <laughs> salute, salute, salute. <laughs> Dusty Jack was popping on the tails. I literally just showed up. Beans is correct. <laughs> real shit. The real team breaks. Luke will be becoming a member, my brother. What up, buzzer, 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 oh, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Luke. Quick, quick, quick. Rick. Omar was popping with a 50 ball. Says, let the Muslim help my brother. Human beings have limited free will, which can be displayed in your choice to follow the laws or accept God. We can't transcend the natural law of death for an example. And when I'm feeling broke, E and J by my side, penny like forty dollars. Salute, just me with the five dollars. First Timothy two, three, and four. 
proves that God wants us to preach so that people can be saved. People can change. God did not set us up to fail. We have a choice. Oh, now, Paul says, another proof for free will, Will, is you returning to God for forgiveness, and he is attributed with being one who forgives. After forgiveness, one must keep from choosing to break the law. Allah Akbar. May my brothers accept this clear explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Omar, I'm going to play the jingle for you a little later, all right? Aaron with the $2 says, this proves the Bible is the only for the 12 tribes. Salute to see Rich and we're becoming a member. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy, you thought your cousin wasn't. Salute, salute, salute. Omar, I'm going to play this one real quick. Sends his regards. Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah! <laughs> you know how I love money. <laughs> Get the likes up, get the likes up, get the likes up, man. Appreciate y'all. Who's up next? What beans went? JP was popping. I'm a Christian. I believe in free will and I believe in the Trinity. I believe that the Trinity is uncuttable. You know, I know you guys use the word cut a lot. So it's uncuttable. I believe the Trinity is uncuttable. And I believe in perfect free will. And I believe that if you hold to the version of predestination that deacon holds to, you technically believe you cannot lose your salvation. Because if all actions were decreed, then before the foundations of the world, God decreed those who would be saved. Therefore, there's nothing they can do. They were decreed to be saved. We know James chapter 5 speaks against this doctrine because James, ch James chapter 5 says that a person can wander away and they need to be brought back. Then when we go to Genesis, there's a command given in Genesis. It says, sin crouch at the door. You must choose to do good or you must choose to do evil. But if all things are predestined, then that text makes absolutely no sense because all things are predestined. So then I'm not an Israelite. I'm a Trinitarian, and I believe in total free will. So those are my things. If anybody wants to have a quick back and forth, I would yeah. love to have so well so we kind of did free will jp mm -hmm. so what I'm would you like what, what what do you prefer we focus on um i mean if is there an objection to my argument about if god predestined no thing i don't believe god created evil people right so i heard somebody hey, say that okay well. so god 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 didn't create evil people god created two destinations there's a destination for did the he? wicked and a destination for the righteous since we see in the okay. Bible that wicked people can become righteous and righteous people can become wicked, we do not say that God actualized the world in which people are evil. By their okay, own so, by God. so did God create evil? Did God create evil? I would say that Isaiah says he created calamity, which, you know, natural disasters, things of that sense. But in James, it says God does not tempt men with evil. Therefore, that's, I do not that's believe. That's not what I said. That's not what I asked. Did God create evil? Yes or no? God created a world in which free creatures can do evil, but God did not create evil in and of itself. Come on, JP. I didn't ask God that. Did not, no, God did not create evil in and of, in and of itself. No. Okay. Okay. Can I, can so I, can I, you, can you, can you, go ahead. Go ahead. We want, we want uh, him to. We sure you got it. <laughs> Isaiah 45 and 7. I, who, who's the I there? God. I form the light. Yes, sir. I create darkness. I yes, make sir. peace yes. and I oh, create, yeah. I create yeah. evil. So according to the Bible, who I created evil? Do all these things. Yeah, so the KJV translates it as evil, but the other translation translated as calamity. So I don't believe it's fair that you can hold me to the KJV when you use the NLT when it's convenient for you. So, as I said okay, before, well, just, God, no. go ahead, Deacon. Go ahead. Okay. Well, it's, real, it's, it's, it's fine. Real. Is, calamity, is calamity evil? Is calamity, is calamity evil? So, in the context of what calamity is, natural disasters, things of that sort, in which God has the ability to punish people, such as the flood, which is the biggest calamity of them all. So, God can use things such as natural disasters and things of that sort. 
to ultimately accomplish his purposes. But God did not create sin. God did not actualize evil. Isaiah does not say that. What's the definition of calamity, brother? Uh, I told hold on, hold on. Let's, let's do that. Let me let me set the stage real quick. Yeah. Let's, let's keep let's keep a little bit of order to quorum. Let them have the back and forth. Um, now you good his ghetto point of view. Let them have the back and forth, and then we'll we'll chime in once they kind of get through it. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, so go ahead, JP. Uh, or right, go ahead. I, I'm not sure who. Yeah. Are. So, uh, uh, in regard to calamity, I would say it's it's you know many people say it's natural disasters, right? There's storms, things like that. God created a world in which in which these things can happen. So because okay. God created and actualized the world in which these things can happen. This is why the Bible says calamity. The KJV says evil, but most scholars don't translate it as evil. They translate it as calamity, which can be a natural disaster, which God can use to ultimately accomplish his goals, which he did with the flood. Which Okay, so uh, uh, the whole world dying and only eight people surviving. Is that evil? It's not evil because God is the perfect just judge. So those people that were uh, completely drowned, that was a just act by God. God has okay. the ability to take any of us out because we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Here's where you messed up at, JP. You should have never came on here. The word for evil in the Hebrew is used 444 right. times. It's used for, yeah. exactly. It's used 444 times as evil. It literally means uh, bad. Evil. evil. That's the two first. That's the two first first definitions of the word. JP, you should have never did that. You fell on your sword. Now, you Hebrew, well, slow down, Deacon. Are you a Hebrew scholar? Because although yes, you may try to go on the concordance and say that it's used that many times for whatever particular context, I go with the scholars who use the word in other translations, and when they use it in other translations, they translate it as calamity, and therefore you know I. Say, do you know why yes, translators do you know why translators don't want to put evil there because they're Christians and they teach Christianity so therefore they do not want to tell the whole world that God no, created absolutely. evil by definition no. any translation is, is is an interpretation so I, I got another yeah, verse I, let me cook. hold on let me cook let me cook, let me cook, cook, cook. Go ahead, cook okay. okay so as far as free will goes I'm not interested in that. We already talked about that for 40 minutes. I just cut the hell out of you with one verse. Now, dealing with the Trinity, what does the Trinity mean? It means co-equal, co-eternal, co-existing. All right, so so moderator, we're moving on, moderator. It's 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 your show. I, I don't mind going back to the to the thing because I got responses, but it's yes, your I show. I want to talk about I want to talk about the Trinity. I only have a it. short amount of time left. So the Trinity. To, to, okay. I only have a short amount of time left to try to talk to. The all right, all right, all right. So Trinity. I want to, I want to, I want to cook and cut and get out of there. That's what I want to do. So all right, as far all right. as the Trinity, is that co-equal, co-eternal, co-existing? Yes, I believe the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit always exist. Okay, so is the, the so who does the Father pray to? We say that in the book of Hebrews, the father called Jesus God. But the reason that Jesus prays to the father is because Jesus entered and, and, and had flesh. But because the Bible says God is the God of all flesh, he can, you can look around and everything like that. But the reason Jesus prayed is because he entered creation and he took upon flesh. This is very easy, Deacon. JP, very, does, very, he still, does he still have that same flesh? Yes. Therefore, he's still praying or under the Father. Because he willfully took upon flesh to die for our sins. Oh, Can you so show he me? Willfully, he willfully, hold on, hold on. So he willfully made himself under the Father. Not only did he willfully made himself under the Father, but he made himself a little lower than the angels for the time. So okay, we, so we he have was a little lower than the angels. All right, let me ask you this. When he was a little lower than the angels, he was still equal to the Father. Yes, in deity. In deity, so now yes. we have Deacon, two persons. Deacon, you've oh, asked me on. many, questions, but Deacon, let me oh, ask okay. you a question. Okay, Deacon, let, me, let me let me let me let me ask this last question because I was going so I, I was asking you, who did the father pray to? You said, the, does the father pray to anybody? 
The Father quotes with God in the book of Hebrews. I didn't say that. I said, who does the Father pray to? Since the Father has no flesh, he doesn't pray to anybody. Now, can I Thank ask you? you? Yeah. Thank you. I'm not I, done. I'm not done. Hold on. Let me back my card. Let me land my plane. Let me land my plane. So okay, the Father land. doesn't pray. The Father doesn't pray to anybody. Who does the Father worship? We can say that the Father worshiped Jesus in Hebrews 1 when he called them, O oh God. Oh, my so, God. So the Father worships Jesus. Yes, yes. We is, can it, say, is the Father speaking in Hebrews 1, yes or no? Is the Father speaking in Hebrews 1? Yes, I will yes. say the Father speaking in Hebrews 1. Prove to me in Hebrews that it's the Father speaking. So the son, the son calls the father my God, and then the father calls the son God. But Deacon, where, I mean, where is Hebrews quoting? Where is Hebrews one? What scripture from the Old Testament is Hebrews one quoting? Deacon, what are we doing here? Can I ask you a question now? No, we're, we're right. on the same line of logic. Here's what I'm Deacon, trying to establish. Here's what Deacon. I'm trying to establish. One worships one. One prays the one. One has to listen to the other, but one does not pray to that one, and one doesn't have to worship that one, and one doesn't listen to the other. That's the point I'm trying to establish. So I want you to answer me this, Mr. JP. What Old Testament prophecy is Hebrews 1 quoting from? Do you know? Okay, so before we go there, before we go there, Deacon, can you show me anywhere in the Bible anywhere in the bible when jesus before jesus took upon flesh where jesus was praying to the father after this you got to go is jesus the angel of the lord in the old testament is jesus the angel of the lord yes okay now watch this oh i've been waiting for a silly christian to ask this you yeah, gotta go see ahead. how he thought he had a prima facie he thought he had a mm -hmm. prima facie in zechariah chapter one but there's the oh, problem okay. Okay, oh, I've ahead. been waiting for. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't ask me a question in the middle of a question you already asked me. In me Zechariah me. chapter one, in Zechariah chapter one, right, verse twelve or verse eleven, and they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees. These are uh, these are other angels talking to the angel of the Lord. This is in mm -hmm. fact the Messiah. Even Sam mm -hmm. Shimon and every other high level Trinitarian would agree. Let's keep going. It says. We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. Verse 12. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, Watch the angel of the Lord start praying. Oh, yeah, how of hosts, how long will thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which thou hast had indignation these three score and ten years? And then Yahweh answered the angel, Sir, what is you're it? done. You're done. What is it? He's praying in the text. Where in the text is, does it say he's praying? Is he talking to his father? Is that the same as praying? Is communication yeah. over there? Yeah. Uh, so, so it's what? What's the difference between him make, talking to his? What's the difference between him talking to his God and him praying? Text, praying is so, talking. Talking is praying. The now text you're playing is, semantics, JP. The you're done. Is, so prayer is a submission to God. Can, can Equal work. communication is not a prayer. So you read that in the text. Communication. He's right. asking, he's praying he's to his to heavenly father, when can you help? Can you Let's help go. Jerusalem? I thought he's he was going. Yahweh. Why can't he help Jerusalem? He's asking he's his father, hey, he's can you help Jerusalem? Jerusalem is trodden down. The angel text. of the Lord prayed to Yahweh in Zechariah yeah. chapter 1. Therefore, he's JP, you he, are I've done. I've been doing this for a long time. You can't assert he was praying. He wasn't praying. So let's go to Genesis nineteen twenty four. Is Jesus Yahweh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we end, before we end, show me in the New Testament where when he was talking to his heavenly Father, it wasn't prayer. Brother, he literally was praying in the New Testament when he was teaching the disciples how to pray. So when he does pray, the Bible makes it very specific. So we see okay. in context when he took upon flesh. You, okay. When he hey, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you got twice fried. I'm going to let you answer this last question, and then I'm going to get to the next person on the panel. Ask, ask your last question, and then I'm getting to the next person on the panel. Go ahead. 
speaking, we established that God did not create evil. We established that Jesus prayed because he no, had flesh. No, we went no, we to didn't the establish, no, we didn't no. establish anything. We did not establish anything. We did not establish anything because I'm going to go back in the Bible. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since we're on that, since we're on that, since we're on that, no. You don't want to submit. You don't want to submit. Now I got to beat you into submission. So is God still... Does Jesus Christ oh, still have boy. a God while he is in heaven? Was, yes or no? You no, didn't I'm, let me ask I'm, a question. Okay, well, but think, before you go there, just like you said, before I go there, before you go there, does Jesus Christ have a God even when he's in heaven? The reason Jesus Christ calls the Father my God is because he still has his flesh and God is the God of all flesh. Jesus never called the Father God before he took upon flesh, which is why I wanted to take you to Genesis 1924. All right. Because in let me, Genesis, let, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, one more time. I'm gonna beat you down one more time, and then you got my word. I'm gonna let you go to Genesis 19, then the next person. Now you know, mind you, you saying that go. before flesh, hold on, before flesh, that Yahweh is not is not the God of Jesus Christ. All right, so no, I got he two, Okay, go ahead. Hold on. Mute him real quick, please. Thank you. Well, I want the verse Micah. to be shown in the screen. Okay, Micah, Micah chapter 5 and Psalms chapter 110 and 1. Okay. Micah chapter 5. Watch it. Watch it identifies Yahweh as the God of Jesus even before he took on flesh. Micah oh, chapter 5. Pull up the verse. Micah oh. chapter 5, verse 4. Hold on, my shit going slow. Hold on. It says, and he, that he here is the Messiah, shall stand and feed in the strength of Yahweh, in the majesty of the name of the Yahweh, his God. Who's the God of Jesus Christ before he even had flesh, JP? All right, so does it call a Messiah there? You would be the only Christian on the planet Earth and universe that say this ain't the Messiah here in Micah 5. Okay, wait, wait. Didn't you say Messiah? I'm just, 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 I'm asking you a question. This is who the world calls Jesus Christ. This is who this is talking about. Okay, so you're saying, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord, his God. And so it says he will. It says that he will, which suggests is future. He, okay, but is he being identified before he came in flesh? as having a god over him yahweh buddy buddy do you know what a prophecy is if it says that he will it suggests that he's not in that current state fellas can i go to genesis 1924 Deacon oh, is oh, wasting oh, oh 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 now he gotta run he gotta run you know what? i'm gonna let you run go ahead i'm gonna let you answer this last question and then we'll move on Deacon, to the next how many first. last questions we gonna have Deacon? you oh, know no, i love I said, you i'm gonna let you ask the last question then, I, okay. then we're going to the next person Deacon, you know it's all love, though, right, bro? You're still my homie. You know that, right? It's all, all love, right. but you know, you know, you know, when it comes to the Trinity, I got so much smoke. But go ahead, bro. I understand. I understand. Maybe we could continue this conversation one day. All right. Absolutely. Genesis 1924. And I am legitimately curious. I'm not trying to trap you. So if all the Hebrew Israelites can answer this question, <laughs> say all the Israelites. I don't want to be disrespectful. Here, there's two lords. The Lord to the Lord. If you read in the Hebrew, it says. Yahweh to Yahweh. I am legitimately curious. I'm friends with uh with Rick Judah, actually. We're in a group chat, believe it or not. Uh Rick, how do you, or or any of y'all, how do y'all um break down the two Yahweh's? I am legitimately curious and I'm out. I, I am legitimately curious. So how do y'all Rick or anybody? Yeah, how do y'all break, break it down? down? Yeah, I, there, there's two there's two since uh, I'll, I'll I'll answer and then Rick can answer. There's two ways that we understand this. Um, one that this is a uh, 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 not not a corruption, but possibly some type of scribal, not error, but um, a, a scribal issue because it doesn't even make sense. The other stance we take is the theophonic language, meaning it's a theophany. Why 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 can I say this is a theophany? Because it says that Yahweh himself killed all the firstborns of Egypt. But then it says the destroyer, the destroyer killed, killed the firstborn of Egypt. So we see the destroyer being accredited for something that Yahweh, Yahweh or he would say Yahweh, is, was accredited for doing. So that's how we explain that verse. Well, thank you. 
Rick, anything you want to say before I get kicked out of here? Th thank you for the opportunity, DJ. I, I really do appreciate it. This was fun. Oh, no, I ain't got nothing on it. Uh, yeah, I ain't got nothing on it. Rick, stay in touch, man. All right, fellas. But JP, JP, before you leave, ex explain it for the people. Oh, no, I believe in Genesis 1924 because Jesus was on land in Genesis 18. We would say that Jesus is the Yahweh on earth and then the Father was the Yahweh in heaven. You know that already, but that's our stance. But, yo, fellas, God, God bless y'all, man, and um, I, I'll holler at y'all, man. I'll be pulling up here more often. Thank yo, be safe, JP, JP, man. And Go ahead. Go JP, ahead. listen, me and JP, we've been going back with fire for so yeah. long. It's always love with that brother. I email him all the time. And I'm gonna keep emailing them all the time. So I'm gonna go on your show again. I'm gonna let you scream at me. You know, you guys jumped me that time with uh, what's his name? Right. Uh, you, what, what's the right. name? The famous Dore, yeah, the Dore. famous Dore Love, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The other famous. See, that was two times you jumped me. You jumped me with Dory Love. Then you jumped me with the famous YouTuber, the uh, the artist guy. Oh, bro, I don't know an artist, brother. Got logic. Yeah. I wasn't. No, not God Logic. The other dude who it was about the law. Remember, it was me, you, and Mahler. Oh, oh, young Don, young Don. Young Don, young Don. Yeah, well, you I guys. Was I, I was moderating. I didn't I didn't okay, do nothing. Okay, I was okay. Right, oh, snap. Wait, wait. Y'all know Mahler? Y'all rock with Mahler? All right, fellas. Take That's care, the homie, man. Hey, JP, be safe, bro. And um, yeah, you are you sticking around, you about to get out of here. I'm going to get out because it's late out in, in New York City. It's 11 o'clock. But, bro, maybe we could work on something. You know, I'm, I'm cool with Deacon and, and Rick, so we can we can work something out one day. Right? Indeed. Uh, yeah, I got. Uh, well, they got your contact, right? We'll, we'll connect yeah. for sure, my brother. Be safe out here. All right, man. Take care, I got, bro. I got his email. I got his email. So I got okay, time for, for, for maybe two Christians. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, salute. In the chat, I, I can tell. We we already kind of say okay I'm I'm riding with JP I'm riding with Deacon in that but you can obviously understand that they already have a rapport that's not the first time they talk to each other that won't be the last they have a actual relationship you know what I mean and when you see energy of two men talking and I don't think anybody said this but I'm gonna say it men can can talk with vigor right passion we ain't emotional it's two men talking to each other and you see as soon as it ended. I love you, my brother. I'm going to email you again like I did yesterday. So I want y'all to start understanding that shit as opposed to just making assertions that are unwarranted. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Let me read these supers, and then uh, we'll get right back into it. You know what I mean? What you say, Beans? My bad. I said clipped. Oh. <laughs> it's going to mean more coming for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop telling everybody they emotional. Clipped. <laughs> Indeed, bro. You always tell me that. What up, buzzing, buzzing, bird, <laughs> flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. C Red, salute for becoming a member, my brother. Aaron with the two dollars. This proved the Bible is only for the 12 tribes. Truth seeking, free thinker was popular. <laughs> Here's the main problem with the Hebrew Israelites. The Bible is a spiritual book, and the fight is a spiritual battle between good and evil. You will never be able to solve spiritual issues with physical solutions. Wow, wow, wow. Omar with the same <laughs> <ball. laughs> uh, Who is that? Yo, Truth Seeker, hit, hit the link. Omar Smith with the 20 ball says, I'm going to tap out and let you brothers have it. Religion 101, first day of class, God is the creator. So, the, of course, he created all things. Y'all don't want to hear from y'all Muslim brothers shaking my head. <laughs> Big old salute, man. You know you can hit the link anytime. Chocolate Bunny with the 10 ounces. Just a little offering, cuz. Appreciate you. Thanks for having a conversation. Aaron with the 2 ounces. Genesis 3.22. That's for JP. Uh, JP just rolled out. He about to hit the sack. Pause. Probably he, he'll, he'll, he'll watch it back. Just me with the 2 ounces. It's not right to argue the Bible using curse words. Who told you that? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> Just me. We probably we may have to. Hey, can, uh, somebody respond to her in the chat. Uh, maybe Nehemiah. <laughs> um, Aaron with the two dollars. Matthew ten thirty three answers another JP question. Mister Me Too. <laughs> Any doctrine that don't teach at its core, all this stuff is the same is wrong. Niggas was created. 
niggas are free do to free to to do oh free to do as they will will it nigga got to answer for why they will it niggas rinse repeat till his strag is cracked Damn, hard interpretation robert with the two dollars hint give me some money <laughs> salute rob mr me too with the two dollars says salute good brothers was popping lauren mack with the 20 balls <laughs> she says are all women meant to be wives if not what are those women's purpose? I like that question. Great question. Great question. Only, gonna, fans. only fans, right? <laughs> We're gonna definitely answer that one. Uh, he's silly. <laughs> um, Simeon, I think you was up here. Vapors was in the back. His ghetto point of view was popping. Now, what's you guys' lens though? Is it a build or y'all got smoke? <laughs> Foremost, shout along, shout along to DJ Half, shout along to the Deacon. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, I didn't want to touch back too much on the free will, but I just had two questions for Deacon. I know he's got, but uh, uh, I would, I would like to know what Deacon's uh, view is on free will, and uh, how you say. At what point are we just interchangeable widgets? Because I, I've got like a whole lesson on the uh, debunking free will, right? You've got Isaiah 17, 17, 2 Peter 2 and 12. We, we know that there are men that are natural beasts and they destroyed and this kind of stuff. So at what point are we, when I say interchangeable widgets, like can a, a world where predestination exists and free will in the sense of the, the shirt that we put on for the day, how many times we go left to right when we brush in our teeth, um, these kind of things and those two things exist at the same time you know you've got you know you, you you've got obviously the things that have been, that's already been written but then you got uh, the most high has given his creation the ability to be able to move around rather than just be some type of like uh, Tim's characters you know what I'm saying so I just wanted to hear what your thought was uh, on that one yeah there's a scripture for that um so you know how in the Hebrew the heart is dealing with your mind so when you read proverbs 19 and 21 it says many plans are in a man's heart but the lord determines his footsteps so free will is only within the realm of your mind right of your thoughts and some could argue not maybe not even there um so it says many plans are in a man's heart or mind but the Lord determines his footsteps, meaning your path of life, your purpose for life is planned by the Most High. Now, from your own, within your own imagination, you might say, I'm about to get up and have some Chipotle or dig in my nose. Is, is the God program me to dig in my nose at this moment? That's thinking myopically. I'm saying the big scheme of things, your purpose for life, he has predestined that. So. Yeah, you could you could have it in your mind, but he actually determines, you know, your, the plans and purpose of your life. And how would you reconcile whenever there's an argument made of you reap what you sow? Are we are we reaping if we were predestined to reap in the first place? Yeah, it will predestination when it's explained, it's Simeon's gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna create Simeon. I'm gonna do this, and then this is gonna happen to him for doing that, and then so it still works out into his plan. That's a part of the intricate plan that he purposed. Yeah, come on, come on. I get that. I, I know JP got off. I had, I had a question for him. I just I was just interested in what he actually thought evil was at the end of the day. That's you know, a hurricane. We're not gonna just look at a hurricane thing, thing but uh, what 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 is so I have questions about whether pedophilia was evil or what 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 was the what is what is this grounding for uh what is this groundwork for the morality and that where does evil come up and how is that out of that of the most I mean your 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 audio is chopping. Okay. It's chopping like you're going in and out a little bit. Yeah, I get what he's saying though. He's saying that if God didn't create evil, who did? And God is responsible for evil either way. Unless you're saying some some being out out of his control that he didn't create came in the world and introduced it, so it was a, even if he says God didn't create evil, it was a, a a byproduct. Well, he still created the product that that created evil as a byproduct. 
so he is still uh um um he's still responsible for it on purpose mm-hmm. or vapors you got something um not at the moment i just was uh, chiming in listening to the conversation um okay. yeah I'll, I'll hold off for right now okay i like He's that polo hat. i'm glad you ain't got the polo with the two men on it though that nah. polo hat with two, that polo hat with two guys on it that's really no diddy <laughs> <laughs> no diddy for sure so ain't no dangerous. way that's real ain't no way that's real Vent. Vanguard, you got to get on camera and I'll bring you up. His get up one of you was popping. Salute to everybody. What's going down? What's going down? Peace to the chat. Peace to the chat. Salute to everybody on the panel. What's going on? Um, yeah, yo, great, great build so far. I did have some questions for the for the brother in uh, relation to the Trinity Doctrine, but he had to breeze off, so I'll leave that alone. Um, I would love to touch on and I know a lot of brothers get mad at me when I do this, but I would love to touch on cannabis use. If you guys have a minute, when you guys want to, I would really like to go there. Uh, most notably, I know people are gonna say, oh, here he go. I would love to uh, expound on Genesis verse 129, if we could, and also some <laughs> earlier verses in Genesis uh, where the herbs were created and God so it was good. So if we could get into that at some point, I, that'd be great. And I'd like to cross-reference that with some uh, findings from the University of Telerad. I mean, I'm not sorry, the University out in Israel where they found the cannabis at the Telerad site. When you guys have a moment, that, that's what I would love to jump into. Being at 420 so is coming up this weekend. <laughs> so I think that one, I think that'll be more. Yeah, we could, we could touch on it. Even if Deacon got to go, this nigga E, that nigga. I will, I will but, say this. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, whatever's being cooked in my kitchen right now, I'm gonna have to go eat it in a second because it's smelling mighty fine. But I will say this to the brother about cannabis issues. I have a source going back to before we even were a nation, starting with the East Indians, the Elamites, how they created the smoking of marijuana to worship their god Shiva. So that that practice is actually idolatry. I have that source and I could uh anybody who wants it, I can get it to you and you can look you can look at it and um compare it with the information and studies you you've researched. I would definitely appreciate the source, absolutely. Mm, that doesn't uh, yeah. but that, that but, um, you're not, so you're intentionally okay. not addressing it in totality though, right? You're just speaking from that point of view. You're not saying that that you're against smoking cannabis. In totality, you're saying you're against smoking, to, uh, smoking cannabis if it's in the practice of idolatry? No, I'm saying the whole way of... Sm you are committing idolatry if you do something that another nation was doing that was created for idolatry. So as far as our culture and so-called religion goes, we would say that that is spiritual fornication, which is idolatry that you worshiping another god whether you're doing it inadvertently unknowingly or not be for example like you yeah for example right if you have a birthday cake god is, and, and and you uh are celebrating your birthday is that 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 cake goes back to the moon god artemis uh you blow out the candles the smoke ascended up to heaven and answers your prayers you are committing idolatry whether you say i believe in the moon god uh the, our, the god artemis or not Here's an example. The Bible says, don't have no other idols before you. Now you can say, well, I don't believe in that idol. So I'm about to it as just playing because my girlfriend's in the Buddhist temple. God gonna kill your ass for it. It's not about whether you believe in the idol or not, or the ritual or not. It's about what God said not to do. And that's according to our worldview of, of the Bible. It should absolutely be about whether or not you believe it. Can you get into heaven without believing? Well, it depends on if, you're, if you had a chance or not. So the Bible does say that in the end times, there will be some Israelites that haven't heard the fame in Isaiah 66, and then they will be gathered up in the wilderness and they will get a chance to 
uh, get on board with the Messiah and his 144,000 or not. So even that, then that could be an argument. Yeah. Somebody hey, asked. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, somebody got crazy. Oh, I'm, uh, respectfully, so what, so, right? I'm this, is, this is why I asked the question earlier because that, that's not an answer. And that's why I, sometimes I wish people would have such an issue with just saying yes or no because that's that's not an actual answer to the question. It's a yes okay. or no. Can well, you get into right. heaven without having belief, without believing? Can you get into heaven without believing? You can you cannot get into heaven without believing. But now what's your idea of heaven? Are you because it's the kingdom of God. Your idea of heaven may be some spiritual realm in the clouds that people mm -hmm. go to float around with a gold kingdom. No. So mm -hmm. you, the question that your answer require me to know your background, which you said you don't believe. Okay. So I guarantee you, oh. you don't know what the kingdom of heaven is. So it doesn't. according to the Bible, here's, what I'm, here's how I'm going to answer this. According to the Bible, it's not about if you believe or not in the idol. You're going mm -hmm. to be judged for it. That's, it. That's our answer. Right. So, right. So, but this one, the reason why I'm asking that, right, is because if you think about it, right, if you say you don't, you can't get into heaven without believing, then the belief would matter more than the practice. That would literally mean you could do all of the practices that a believer would do, but you still wouldn't get into heaven because you didn't believe. That's not true because the Bible says you, you show your works by your faith. So, next person. Yeah. Oh. Bean, well, well, uh, just in terms of answering the question, I think beans you now you've acknowledged when people are bringing trees in their house in Jeremiah ten. I think I heard you talk about that before, but they still do it anyway, and they try to separate the idolatry from they just think it's fun for the kids. Didn't we talk about that one day? Am I? Am I? No, nah, it wasn't me. Okay. <clears throat> um, if you read Jeremiah ten, it just talks about like the Christmas tree for all intents and purposes, and people mm -hmm. try to do that often. Oh, I'm doing it for the kids, but idolatry is idolatry. Um. Eight, his ghetto point of view um ezekiel 8 and 17 me and he actually talked about it before putting a branch to the nose um have you read that before ezekiel 8 and 17 putting a branch mm -hmm. to the nose you know? and deacon you correct me if i'm wrong in terms of that like that was you know in terms of that practice the branch to the nose yeah, has been said to be slaying go ahead french inhaling french inhaling you know how niggas be french inhaling smoking weed all of that yeah, that's the scripture that, that that brothers use as well when it comes to the smoking of marijuana. Yeah. But his get up when you had anything else, I think we could dive into that for sure. I know Ruthless Truth, um, he think he a no no all um Christian. So I would definitely want to get my, my OG in here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, because um I mean we didn't really get into the verses or anything in Genesis that I um Genesis uh, in 11. Genesis one. So let he's got a point. You got time, or you you about to get you about to go to bed and shit. You look tired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get that a lot of the Hebrew Israelites don't like the cannabis conversation because it'd be killing to be be sober minded and vigilance. They be trying to preach, but you know this is really something we should try to delve into because you know literally cannabis was proven to stop COVID, and our community had a huge issue with COVID. So. Mm -hmm. To tell people they shouldn't indulge in cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are actual UCLA studies. I can send them to you right now, Mr. Fantastic. Um, because it stops the receptors in your lungs from getting. All right, look, how about, like how about this? How about but, um, this? Because you just. No, 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 no. no, you just. But you just made it seem like niggas is running from the weed conversation. I got to go. I do God's work literally every single day and got three wives That's and them. I, I respect so, that. So if you want to come on Friday on my show, we could have the boxing match on cannabis niggas is with everything it's not about the boxing match brother i just wanted to have a okay but you made it seem like niggas is uncomfortable un uncomfortable conversations yeah no hey, we, when i when i do talk to friday, a lot of brothers not you personally sir it does come across friday, like friday deacon, friday deacon destruction mode 6 p.m eastern time not on you but anybody who felt like they couldn't get a match today we welcome all the smoke from PhD scholars to, to, to barber shop. From PhD <laughs> scholars to barber shop. I'll pull up. I already scratched your channel. I'll pull up. All praises. All praises. You got time for one more? You about to get out of here? You got time for one more? Let's do one more. Okay. Uh, roof. Oh shit. Roof is <laughs> truth. Was popping. Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. What's, 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 you know what's you know what's going on. Let's get to it. 
Hey, what's up with that LA hat though? What's up with that LA hat though? I'm in I'm in the I'm in the South, baby. I'm down here in the land of the lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on? What's your what's question up? for me? I, I have a question for you. Or or are I you a Christian? Have, I have I have yeah, a I'm question a for you. Boy. I, I, I ain't got no question for you. I, I ain't got hey, no question for you. Jenny should have came on here for polygyny. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, Jenny, Jenny will come back in a heartbeat. But ruthless. So, have you been watching the show and all that? Or yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was getting about. I deal with you guys and around here too. This through your your tentacles in yeah, LA. Show, right? no, yeah, show, show, show off your mic. What, what yeah, you want to well, discuss? I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, you know, I, I have no questions because I know that you know. You guys have a, a, a zealous, a very good zealous this for this this religion thing, but not according to the gospel. Not according right? to knowledge. So, what would you right, say so, are, are what would you say one of our main flaws are as Israelites? Is what? What's one of our main flaws as Israelites? Well, you guys said I think you guys said it's just only the Hispanics, the blacks, and the uh, Indians are gonna be saved. Or the Israelites. They are of the twelve tribes. Right, so that's flawed. Um, then keeping the laws, right? Keeping the laws, that's definitely flawed. Those are just two points right there of just way off. Okay, there. so 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 keeping the law. One one part of the law is is not stealing from my brother. So that's flawed that I keep that law. I mean, if you break one law, you guilty of the whole law. So so you know, man, then, and then you know and you know. And then you know that well, we all know that all that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So therefore, we fall short because we are sinners, right? So this is why the mercy. Wait, you're a sinner. Of you're a sinner. Of course. Are you so, a sinner? Yes, I said it a hundred times. Okay. So okay. mercy, so you're a sinner. mercy. The the mercy of God is given to those who need mercy, right? God's extended mercy because people need mercy. Right, because if you were righteous or self righteous or able to do all these things without him, then he wouldn't have had to extend his mercy. Right, his forgiveness, his forg his ability to forgive you, which comes with his love. Right, all this is a part of him showing that he is merciful to your unrighteousness. So this is why okay, ruthless truth. This is why um, keeping it landed. This is why the okay. keeping of the law is impossible because you were not built to keep the law. Okay, so. You said it's impossible. Uh, can you do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you? Yeah. <laughs> so how, how is it impossible then? Because on, uh, on individualism, right? Because that scripture said, who strengthens me, Christ is doing the work. But on my yeah. own and on my accord, and on my own accord, I am a sinner. I'm going to I'm going to fall short, right? Because I'm not yes. God. Yes. OK, so you're unrighteous. You're unrighteous. On my own accord, yes. Okay, so First Corinthians six and nine says, "Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God?" Right, right. Okay, okay. So, so you need, to, so you need to get righteous, brother, if you want the kingdom. Well, this is once again, this is where the mercy of God comes in, right? He has have mercy on my unrighteousness. So therefore, I'm getting in because God forgave me for all my sins. Oh, oh, hold on. He said past, present, and future. Okay, so what is a sin? What is a sin according to you? Anything against God, any rebellion against God. Okay, so so it's impossible to keep the law. Is it possible to keep Christ's laws? It's the same thing. Okay, so so, so it's impossible. God got rid of the Old Testament law because that was impossible to keep. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he okay, didn't. so he didn't. Okay, so, so it's it. Do, whatever is against God, do you still do that? Okay, so um, can I see? I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I don't know whether I, I need to see your face without talking. Okay, that's <laughs> you, can, you, you, you can take the screen off. I, so I, I can't really see you. My, okay, here we go. That's what I want to see. Is, so, my oh, question oh, is oh, this: ruthless. Oh, whatever oh, sin oh, is. Whatever sin is, do yeah. you still do that sin even you know if even if you know it's wrong? Yes. Okay. Oh, the whole, so you, oh, oh, so you the whole thing. Really 
Deacon Paul did the whole thing on that in, in Romans. Do you not read? I, I read, no, read but, Romans chapter, Romans cha if I'm not mistaken, Romans chapter two. No, not what he's talking not, about. Seven, sorry, chapter seven. Not, <laughs> sorry, chapter seven. But if you want to go there, no. we can we go over your show and do that. But I'm gonna let you know this, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, Deacon. Hold on, brother, 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 brother. Hold so on, I'm just gonna have my context. Brother, brother, brother. Can you hear me, brother? I, I, can you hear me? That's the question. I hear you. I'm <laughs> asking you, do you willfully sin? Yes or no? Yes. I said a hundred times. Yes. Y E S. Okay, now, 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 as we conclude my time, I need you to break down Hebrews chapter 10. Let's read this together with each other. Hebrews chapter 10, verse That's 26. We can, let's pull that up on the screen. Because he just said That's he willfully good. sins. Yes. Yes. We're going to see, is it ruthless truth or is it ruthless yes. lie? Okay, so so I, this one helped brought up last <laughs> week. I, 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 yeah, hell boy, you help, but you know, sick of troops on me, hell? Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, it says, for <laughs> if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins. Do you agree with the text? Yes. So you got to give me a chance. You got to give me a chance. All the clapping. You got to give me a chance to break it down. Okay. Now that scripture is applying to the scribe, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, the Jews, right? So if you have all the laws and ordinances, right, and you then try to perform this on your own accord without the righteousness of God, after you know the truth of what sin is, then there's no, the blood of bulls and goats no longer can cover your shit. No. What was I saying? <laughs> Absolutely not. Perfect. Listen, bro. That's, 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 that is, that scripture is applied to, listen, hold up. That scripture is applied to me because I'm going to give you another scripture, Mr. Deacon, because when Paul asked God, he prayed to God three times. He said, Lord, would you please move the measure of Satan, the thorn of my flesh, remove that from me. Lord said, no, for my grace is efficient for you. For in your weakness is my strength made perfect. So therefore, if the, the sin, which Paul talked about in Romans chapter 7, that he was fighting, law against the flesh against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh, he's to a contract our whole life. So therefore, as believers, although we have the knowledge and the truth, yet we sin, and that sin, which have sinned, right? God's grace is efficient for us, and we can still move forward. Now, the difference in the difference in a non-believer and a believer is God would chastise the ones he loved, right? And he just like he did Job and the other believers in the scriptures to show them their iniquities and then have them repent. But the unbelievers who are trying to do our huh. uh, together, which is God, God is a standard. And once they have the knowledge that, well, this is how you got to do this, and then they sin. Then there's no more sacrifice for their sin. More perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, uh, listen, you know, like like Ham said earlier, he appreciated uh Jenny for being here because she provided the necessary example for what they needed to highlight, right? And I appreciated this last five minutes because it highlights exactly why us agnostics and atheists don't fuck with you niggas. <laughs> Well, well, I, 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 I appreciate you That's for being crazy. Fool, right? So, okay. in understanding, <laughs> hold on, man, hold on. I'm still talking. The fact that you can acknowledge something, I, I, right? Or none of that, right? That is, at the end of the day, give me a second, bro. I'm almost done. You're not above, you're not above the creator. You I'm not exactly. Very tell him, tell him, Rufus. Tell him, Rufus. So, Rufus, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Here's the problem. Right. This the is why people don't. This no is why answers. people don't follow y'all like that. Right. This is why. No, no, no. We got to. No, no, no. What are you talking about? We have. They said yeah. we are the fastest growing religion in America. Your favorite right. celebrities, celebrities follow us, nigga. What well, are you talking about? Right. Exactly. But religion as a whole. We got a million as a whole. Who's following down. you? Right. Who's following you? Right. Well, Who's well, following well, you? Beans, when you said they're checking it personally. Well, right. Beans, when you said yeah, checking it personally, we you a said million Hebrew Israelites today. That's just in a minute. That's just who took it. Well, Beans, when you said, well, hold on, yeah, real quick. Eight billion people in the world. You're on a stream with DJ Hemp, a Hebrew Israelite. 
<laughs> exactly. And he's on the stream with me. But, a person who doesn't need to justify uh, can this, his religion. Can I, can I say this to Beans? No, because no, I'm going to finish my sentence. No, no, let Beans finish his sentence, y'all. Let Beans finish his sentence. Like, Damn, man. Like, no, sentence is finished. This is what I'm no. saying. That's going to go from passion to emotion, right? Go ahead. Go ahead, Beans. You good. You still passionate. Listen, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, bro. The fact that a nigga can't say, "Yeah, that don't make sense," or "Yeah, I see what you're saying," right? Like even when he, even look, he used that scripture, "You can do all things through Christ," right? Make your argument look dumb. But the fact of the matter is, you can't do all things through Christ, right? But because you want to stand on your goofy ass religion, you can't even just say that. Like, well, but that's not true. You can't do all things through Christ. You will go step off your porch right now, believing in Christ that nothing's going to go wrong with that. You won't go step off the top of a, a, the Sears Towers right now because you know everything's going to go wrong. You won't do it. You can't do all things at all. And you just wouldn't even acknowledge it. Who show is this? Is this hell show? I'm talking to you, though, Rufus. You know who did yeah, that? Did Satan talking. did so, that. So, so, Satan got to so, tell so, Jesus so, so. to jump off the mountain. This is a black so Satan. This is a black devil. We got white devils. We got yellow devils. And damn it, we got black devils. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna gonna be you probably get it on the light. I want to I wanna respond to these, right? <laughs> it's me. Hey, listen, us Christians don't need you to come and understand anything we're doing over here. Right? We, we are rolling over here. We, and we wipe it realize he just whooped your ass. Oh, you just asked me not to cut you off. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Hey, hey, Deacon, that's the crazy part. When Beans was saying, y'all, he was talking about Rufus and them. And when he actually started, because he like, Rufus getting his ass kicked. It's crazy. <laughs> that's what he was really <laughs> saying. Hey, hey, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He don't know if I'm willing to lose him because he doesn't have the knowledge of the scriptures to know the difference between what is righteous and what is true. So he doesn't count, but it's okay. I can read. We, really don't need, we really don't need you to champion <laughs> us. We don't need your support, right? Go over and worship the rocks and the, the moon, support. wherever you are, right? Yeah, we don't need your support at all. We don't need you to- Bro, did you read the chat? Somebody asked me listen, to help you. Listen, listen. Somebody asked me and non believer to help you. Please, are, are you tricking? Yeah, he did help you. No, he okay. did help you though, once once He did help you. Once again, once again we are wiping this shit out. So get out the way. <laughs> If you get in the way, you get crushed. Yeah. 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 That's it. Ain't nothing That's to get in the way of. This yeah, man, we get we, 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 we moving over here. We crushing everything moving, beans. Get out the way. He beat you up. I don't give a damn how much you beat you up. He beat you up. He took your chain, and you about to go crown the car. <laughs> oh, that sounds like, that was beat up, beans. Shit is ridiculous. But yeah, listen, listen. Let me gracefully bow out, man. Listen, it's all love. It's all love. I see a lot of haters in the chat. Haters, take a number, get in line. Come to my channel, support all you, all you Israelites on here too. Support uh, the brothers channel. What is this? It's called um, the, this the might, might be, be with me because mm -hmm. I share this live show everywhere. So Lord willing, this could get like that, like that, like that, and, and like propagated, that. man. You know we got to support our brothers and sisters now, Israelites. Don't come in here with no religious spirit because he's not going to be talking about Israelite stuff all the time, right? So you know what I mean, brothers. Brothers talk about other stuff, but still, we got to support our brother to the core, and that's what we going to do. It was a pleasure being on here. I actually enjoyed this, and uh, yeah. I won't do this for everybody else, but I definitely appreciate the work my brother's putting in and him being willing to. Um, you know, come on here and have this, this these discussions and conversations on this platform. Everybody, check me out. All you haters, you can come get this work too. Deacon Sakari Instagram and also Deacon Destruction Mode on YouTube. You heard? Yeah, come get this. Come to the top. Come chat. chat. I'm already. I'm already subscribed to your channel. Hey, be, hey, hey, Deacon. What's that on I that put mean? the blue oh. ribbon out the seats. The homicide, Lama got in the Prince of Peace. We a nation comprised of kings and priests. We're keeping up a side and feast. And we ever since the sense of how we've been falling. We used to get in that dirty money that's all clean. Better answer the phone when he's calling. Spiritual treasure falling like it's falling. All kind of yeah, yeah. on my body got me drip, drip. My niggas got it out the mud. We used to flip, flip. If I got a pint of any of my sip, sip. I ain't talking prescription pills in my stack. I was lost in the sauce, I didn't forget that I still go back to the block
<laughs> Salute. You know, that's how we coming. Hey, uh, but yeah, y'all have a good uh, rest of y'all night, man. Peace, love, and blessings to everybody. Uh, no evil eye, wish no hatred on y'all. Y'all keep hating though, but I love y'all and I'm praying for y'all. Till next time, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and Shalom. 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 Yo, Shalom. Peace. Like, hit, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Salute to the deacon, man. His link is pinned to the top of the chat. Y'all definitely go over there and subscribe. Even if you disagree, that's even more of a reason. I'm already, you know? I'm already I subscribe like um, 20 minutes. And salute to the brother, man. He putting in a lot of work. And, you know, people say a lot, I disagree, cult, whatever the case is. It's a brother putting in work and putting people on the right path. People that's in the street don't have a way to go. They find a unity in it. You know what I'm saying? We don't never, a lot of people very rarely say shit about fraternities and sororities, but then you see the brothers using this book that we all seemingly grow up under and then we say everything negative about it. But there's so many, so much good coming from the camaraderie and the, and the structure, you know, that we say our people don't have. You know, so I just want us to just note that. You know what I mean? Well, you don't gotta agree with everything, but at least look at the good. You know, because you you'll be surprised, man. Um, go straight to hell. <laughs> man, I mean, if there was one. Uh, fantastic. Huh. <laughs> that is crazy. That it's crazy that you can say somebody living by the book that you subscribe to is going to hell. You niggas is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, and being being the crazy part, he said that That's there's there's no there's no blasphemy. It's literally saying this beans like it's just it's just in a, a baseline level. Let me get Mr. Fantastic again. It's like hey, there's all these laws, right? Right. I'm gonna follow all these laws. Oh shit! God sent his son. I fuck with boy. I'm gonna show him wild love too and have faith in him. That's all that, that niggas is saying. So it's saying I'm gonna do all this shit and somehow niggas is going to hell. That that Man. don't like that don't even make no sense to say. At all. I'm That's I'm gonna I'm gonna go the extra mile. I ain't even depending on grace. I'm saying, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it, it. That's no sense. <laughs> you know. Damn, man, that's crazy. Hey, Simi, I'm going to circle back to you and his ghetto point of view. I definitely want to mine that out for sure. Uh, I want to get my brother, Mr. Fantastic, in. What's poppin'? Brother, brother, brother. Yo, what up, man? What's goody? I'm good, man. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? That's right. That's right. Did I miss Did I miss those? <laughs> Read. Did I, did I miss those? Did, did yeah, I, we ain't even go. We go there. Y'all go. Y'all didn't really get no one that's right. But nah, man, listen. Actually, man, listen. Um, I don't know if you, are you guys familiar with um, COJ, uh, Chronicles of Judah, at all? Mm -mm. Used to be a so anyway, um, uh, uh, it's a guy, I, I actually got introduced to like the um, Hebrew Israelite, just, I guess, uh, ideology within the last four or five years or so. And I really, I'm really curious as to what are the differences. So I know you guys say the tribes thing, which a lot of that stuff don't make no damn sense. I'm, I'm, I, I can't, I can't rock with y'all on that, man. So y'all, cause y'all beefing with, Af well, not y'all. I just say, so from my understanding is Africans aren't of the tribe but we are and then like i said was like some hispanics some native americans or something right mm -hmm. is that is that correct right it depends on depends on what you subscribe to some people subscribe to the chart some don't okay cool. right, let's 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 be more concise right so what are you asking exactly mr fantastic who are the israelites and maybe that's a yeah, better so, question. So basically ge uh, i guess genealogically what how how what, what, the most important question is Genealogically, knowing that we have a bloodline clearly that comes from Africa, how could we be a part of the tribes, but Africans not be a part of the tribe? Okay, that's a good question. E, Rick G. Um, I, can, I mean, now, E, I know you've been chilling for a minute. If you want to go, you can go ahead. I, I'm going to yeah. ask if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Africans in itself are not all the same people. You know, they deal with tribalism in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. so the bible itself is a so-called african book itself so for you to say how can africans uh 
be from Israel, uh, be Israelites. That that's an erroneous question because we know that the book comes from Africa. You understand? So, no, no, no. He no, no. He asking how are the Africans? There's a differentiation where the brothers are saying Africans aren't Israelites. He's trying to understand yeah, oh, why that is. Okay, so all Africans aren't Israelites. Some Africans would be Hamites. You understand? So you have no. the Ashanti tribe in the, in, the, in Ghana, where they have uh they have a culture that's identical to the Israelite culture. You know what I mean? So that's how you would uh, distinguish between an African and a Ham and, and an Israelite, or a Hamite and an Israelite. You understand? All right. No. Okay. Hey, um, <laughs> hey Mr. Fantastic, you get oh, your Bible. No, I'm listening, Rick. Go ahead, brother. All right. I'm saying you, you subscribe to the scriptures at all? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. All right, okay, okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna read uh I'm gonna read two. I'm gonna first go to Romans 8 16. All right, Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Uh, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. So the spirit, aka the scriptures, the word of God. So it bears witness with it. It we we actually show that we're God's children by actually obeying the word by actually following it by actually accepting it and having faith in it believing in it once you believe in it then only god's children will believe in it now god's children will i find themselves in the scriptures because they identify themselves all right watch this deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 46 now uh matt 45 yeah 46 and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever the they is the curses verse 45 talks about the curses so it'll be a sign like on your hat you got a lakers hat uh, Beans got a New York hat. So you're going to see these different things, these logos, where there's going to be different indicators is going to show who the children of Israel are by their actions and by the conditions they are in. Now I'm going to read the last one as far as the Africans being Israelites. Deuteronomy 32, 26. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You know, you'll read throughout the scriptures. You'll see that God said he's going to scatter us. We were in the land of Israel. We got conquered, got defeated in war. They took us off in any anybody knows historically when a country or a nation loses in war, usually they get taken off in slaves. They kill the men. They take the women for spoil. They take the children and reprogram them. That's exactly what happened to what we would call the Negro, the black man, who is actually the true Hebrew. So um, just because people are in Africa does not mean that they cannot be Hebrews. We are scattered all over the planet. The point is we're scattered. Okay, so great. we'll determine who we are by once we get woken up in the last days. So, okay, great. Okay, so, all right, go ahead. Well, yeah. So, so Mr. You saying like how all those? How do we like the the differentiation between Africans and us for all intents and purposes? You know, um, the Hamitic. So Ham, you know, Noah had three sons. Yeah, Ham, Ham Shem, Ham, Shem, and I forget the other one. Jeff, 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 right? Yeah. So God is the Lord God of Shem, right? Yeah. So instantly, everybody who come from Shem are the, that's the lineage. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Abraham, his name was Abram. He comes from Shem, that lineage. Um, his name was changed from Abram to Abraham. He's actually from the era of Chaldees, which is modern day Iraq now. Um, just that 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 area. Or Ireland. All right. Well, y'all, it's my turn. Y'all could yell out some other crazy shit, right? Um Ireland, Ur of the Chaldees, read the book. Yeah, good, perfect. So <laughs> right. Um, so so there this so it follows lineages and bloodlines. I think the mistake that's made is that we all come from the same blood bloodline and, and a patrilineage. Um, but the truth is that we do not. There's actually a book, the Bob the um Zondervan Bible Compact Dictionary, right? It's a secular book, right? It has a bunch of um just definitions, right? Here it is here. But there's an excerpt that really stuck out to me. Let me show you. Let me show you this real quick, right? I got it up in hand if you if you can't find it. I think I got it. Hold on one second. Um, because that's a good question. Here. So this is an excerpt from the book specifically. Um, it's actually not online. But Ham, right? It's talking about Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons lived through the flood he became the progenitor of the dark races comma or uh, semicolon not the negroes 
but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So we are all not the same people. We don't come from the same progenitor. So the reason why all Africans aren't Israelites because they don't even come from the same bloodline. And this is a secular book by white people that said the Negro doesn't come from him. We come from Shem. Okay, I got you. Okay. So they're just different people totally. We're actually, one last thing, Deuteronomy 7 and 3, Mr. Fantastic, it is a sin to marry a Canaanite woman. It's not a sin to marry a white woman. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. there, there's, cer there's certain um, uh, nations of people, Canaanites yeah, being one, yeah, yeah, that we cannot true. marry. It's a sin to do so. Just okay. putting that out there. And I guess my, my second question would be, so could I get a better understanding? So when you say the 144 people, it's not saying only 144 people are going to get into heaven, correct? Because that's got me. 144,000? Man, 44,000. Yeah, I'm sorry. 144,000. It's not saying that 144,000 will, you know, uh, see God or, you know, be with God or so on and so forth. What is the, why do they put a number on it when it, it doesn't mean that literally? It does mean that literally. That's impossible. Mm -hmm. You just said you had a million Hebrew, hey, Hebrew Israelites uh, right here. I'll go to it. Revelation 7 and 9. Give me read. I can read it for you. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 7. In fact, I started uh, verse 4. Revelation chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. There were in I got to mute up. Oh, everybody sorry. Mute, you everybody mute if you're not talking. All right. Oh, you want me to keep going or you want everybody? No, you're good. You're good. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You're good. Oh, yeah. You oh. were that background. Oh, okay. All right. Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now, it names all the tribes. It's going to say 12,000 each tribe. I'm going to skip down to the verse 9. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations uh, and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands so the point i'm making is yes there are 144,000. they are going to be the leaders they're the government they're the ones going to be in charge and then after that you're going to see a great number a great multitude as the sand of the sea like has been prophesied to abraham to isaac and to jacob hopefully that clears that up yeah great great and that's what i'm saying so that's, that's the two like i guess just biggest misconceptions or like differences that get said in like according to like christianity um your brothers have put out the one thing i would say and give you guys don't get enough credit for is the history behind it and you guys is understanding of the bible uh i don't know nobody that has a better understanding of the bible than you guys and i think this is why a lot of brothers stop dealing with the church so to speak because you know what i'm saying the people in that pulpit don't know shit about the bible you know what i'm saying <laughs> they don't yeah man and, and that, it's a dangerous thing that they don't you know what i mean mr fantastic like you know, I laugh because it's a damn shame. You know what I mean? Like, that's one of those laughs. Like, it's a damn shame. As many people has been following, not learning anything. And, but it's and, more, and it's more one last that. one last thing, Beans, and you can jump in. The, and here's what I, one thing I want to correct Mr. Fantastic on. It's not you guys. It would be us because you don't have a choice. So you come from this bloodline. So it is what it is regardless if you accept it or acknowledge it you know and that's been happening since greece uh go ahead means you want to say something and then we'll let the brothers yeah, jump I was going to to um extend on what what fantastic was saying is uh, one of the other reasons um is that they don't make sense right so the one thing i would give the brother credit earlier he, when he knew he didn't know something he was willing to say it and we don't get enough of that from from the Christians. They don't they don't be willing to just say I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They will try to make up something right in front of you. That long ass soliloquy that ruthless went on. <laughs> it was a bunch of word salad. None of it meant anything. I'm not even <laughs> none of it meant anything. It was it just really, sound funny how you say it. Yeah, it was irrelevant. The whole seven minutes was fucking irrelevant. Just because he couldn't just say yeah that makes sense you know what i might be wrong i might be misunderstanding whatever whatever you know what i'm saying and i think that's also a, a, a part of the problem is that you, you got to understand for, for people like myself it's already problematic that you're going to justify everything you say out of this book 
If I wrote yeah. a book right now about Rick Judah, and then I went around telling the whole world that Rick Judah was five foot two, right? <laughs> then he'd be like, hold on, man. How you just going to say, how you know I'm five foot two? Well, it says right here on page 162. Rick Judah's six foot. Judah is five foot two. <laughs> so Rick Judah got to be five foot two because it said right here. And that's the only justification I need. No, sir. I have a brain, right? And my brain uses logic. And I need you to, to, to apply some of that when you're addressing me with your with your religious text hey beans let me and you know why in be and so another thing just in terms of the diligence for deacon remember when he said like there's things that i don't understand in terms of what the most high does yeah, that's what i was talking about yeah no 100 percent. and he also that's how you know he's studying what he knows to be the truth right because mm -hmm. here i think i show you beans i just feel like maybe we talked about this so much who knows so i apologize i keep saying that but mm -hmm. here um this is romans 9 and uh, it says here let me this is all dope here but um nay but oh man who art thou that replies against god shall the thing form say to him that formed it while hast thou made me thus have not the powder power over the clay or the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor right so it's literally saying god doing what he want to do right the potter has power over the clay so we got the understanding like we won't understand the full power and prominence of the most high and we accept it to an extent you know what i mean so he also just understands that you know to your point you know um that's that was a good i'm glad you pulled that out though pause um let me see smoke who was up <laughs> aaron was popping <laughs> oh wait 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 my bad mr fantastic you had something else no, nah, that was it for me, man. Um, uh, just like, oh, one more thing. Why y'all be wearing them Mortal Kombat outfits? <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> that just traditional garbs. That's all. That oh, so y'all say y'all saying more to come back. Oh, y'all a check then. Y'all need to see that. <laughs> if, if if the people who made Mortal Kombat seeing them niggas on a um on the corner, they're gonna get a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> Aaron, what's popping? <laughs> This nigga Yo. ain't shit. <laughs> What's good, panel? What's good? Yo, um, the first thing I just wanted to bring up, if JP is listening, um, Genesis 3 and 22 say, the Lord God say, behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. So that whole evil is a storm or whatever he was trying to say, that's BS right there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another dope. thing i wanted to talk about um hebrew israelite brothers um i am a little conflicted when it comes to the charts because like rick judah said it does say we are, we're scattered in every nation that's all four corners of the earth so if we just labeling the latinos the african americans and the native americans that's two continents we forgetting about the other places we forgetting about our african brothers and we also like respect to certain african tribes like i don't know if y'all know about the bantu people and all of those people but these people have a lot of books and stuff that goes back further than the king james bible not saying there's nothing wrong with the king james bible because that's what i read out of but we do have other groups across the nation. Um, I don't know if you've seen that movie. Um, I think it's called From Hebrew to Negro. Yeah. He went to different places around the world. Like, so it's more than just three sets of people. We're scattered across the world. Um, I do believe the 144,000. Yes, that is the people who's going to rule. We see, and I believe it's in Revelations, they talk about becoming kings and priests. And we know that the nation, you couldn't be, a, if you were a priest, you couldn't be a king. And we know that the Levites were the priests. So we see that, like, towards the end of the Bible, we see, like, everybody's going to come together. It, you're going to be one. So you're, you're going to be a king and a priest. Um, Revelation 14 talks about how they stand on the hill 
with Christ, with Christ. These are special people. They have a special um, role to play in this ending. And that chapter really made me realize that Christians was wrong. There was something wrong with Christians. Um, I grew up Christian. Grandfather, pastor, grandma, swear she know this book from, like Beans was saying, they say they know, and then they start making up stuff. She knew this book, read it every day, but then when I started backing out certain scriptures, she had no answers. She had nothing to fight against. Um, I think Christians are very lost um, as far as like the homosexuality inside of the church. Um, yeah, yeah, Mr. Fantastic, you know it's true because I grew up watching that transition. Like, I like past his grandson. So I had to stand up there when I got in trouble in church. They would bring me to the front, me and my cousins. We had to stand up front if we got in trouble. So I watched the transition go from trick rules to now these people running around the church um, with the little flags and stuff and they twirling and dancing and stuff. So I see how Christians have fallen off. Um, I do believe that the Hebrew Israelites are going to come back together. Not everybody wear the Mortal Kombat outfit. Fantastic. <laughs> um, there's different type of Christ um, not Christian, Hebrew Israelite groups. I think they all need to stop arguing, especially here in New York. Like I see brothers on one corner and brother on another corner and they arguing, yelling across the street at each other. That's petty to me. Like that, that that's no world building. Like, well, I'm gonna tell you uh, real quick, just to just to interject. That's biblical, obviously, right? So true. yeah, uh, uh verse 53, Deuteronomy 28, right? Um, kind of yeah, kind of mirrors that. And then also the chart doesn't nullify us being spread across the world, you know? So just, just to be clear on that, nobody's saying the chart is only the people in the North, North America. Um, but that is a, a very large part of the remnant. Um, but yeah, the West coast of Africa primarily, and obviously there was a trans Saharan slave trade, right? Mm -hmm. To where people got mixed in when we got cast out. And then obviously where, where Paul, Paul went to Greece, he went to Asia minor, right to to recoup so yeah 100 percent. that's acknowledged the world been rocking for a minute now Aaron, there's a the question yeah Aaron, Aaron, yeah that's Aaron the question he's been, he been bothering me all week that's a nigga question me so <laughs> my question is do you know today's math oh my bad that's the wrong religion that's five percent of us god damn it <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up that. Get him out of here. Come on, Caleb. <laughs> my bad, man. I be getting y'all confused. Dog. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I not I not asked asked the I asked me not. Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, let Vegas ask so a question. Got got you know, no, no, I do no, got. No. I do got a serious question though, DJ. But, but, but you know, it, you know what? Beans is not totally your fault though. Like when you, it, it's the New York thing too. Absolutely. Like when you heard it, but you know that's your subconscious. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why you you know, right to my head, yeah. like I'm about to say this. Yeah. Like, so I had to get it off. But this is what I want to ask you, though, Aaron, because one of the things that I found problematic with um with with Christianity um is that people believe that all of this shit is going to occur in their lifetime. Right? My mama think Jesus coming back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In her lifetime. My grandmama thought it. My great I'm gonna bring you up in a second. Go ahead, Everybody man. thinks that so these things that you are, I'm supposing, believe are going to happen. Do you think they're gonna happen in your lifetime? By the signs and wonders, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. In my time, yes. Because the things that I'm seeing going on in this world, like me and one of my closest friends, like my closest male friends are my brothers. I don't call them my friends. So I text my brothers on a regular day, like, nigga, you see what the fuck is going on? Like, it, not saying it's gonna pop off tomorrow, like it could, but it's not my job to know the time. It's my time to be prepared for war. Like, and to the Christians, Jesus said he come not to use that name because I know we don't use that name, but since y'all like using that name, your Jesus said he's coming back with a sword. So you have to be ready for a fight. Like we, we're about to get into a war. So it could pop off any day. When that earthquake just popped off in New York and my building was shaking when I woke up out my sleep, the first thing I thought was let's get ready. 
like it could be Tom. It might be the Tom right now. You never know. And that's where it comes in keeping yourself strict in the laws and every day. I'm not a hundred percent gonna say, oh, I do every law. I have a problem with eating shrimp and crab. I gotta break, but I gotta break myself out of that stuff. Like, so yeah, every day is a fight, it's a battle. You still eating that shit? Bruh, listen, you take me to Seafood City and City Island, anybody in New York know. I mean, that's shrimps and crabs. Man, see, that's the shit <laughs> I'm talking about, <laughs> man. Hey, man be but like I said, bro. him, I'm yeah. working on it. Like, let I'm me tell you this. In. Let me hit you with this. Paul. What? That's the same as being gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, now it's over. Like, now I got you never <laughs> thought about it like that, right? <laughs> this is why Yo, <laughs> Simeon, I'm bugging. I'm telling the truth, right? That's nah, the same why, thing. Abomination. <laughs> the brothers around like this is one thing i do love about the hebrew israelites is but like you said it's biblical for you know us to be arguing and stuff but damn like some arguments gotta stop like amongst each other like we yeah. can't sit there and blame the damn white man every time that they walk past each other on the street like <laughs> it that shit get annoying like yeah Yo, that's oh, crazy I, to I, me I, yeah that's just kind of Yo, it's, it's the truth, B. It's the, yo, and I'm not being hyperbolic, B. That's the ill part. Cause eating abominations, they got burnt up. Isaiah 66 and 17. That's the ill part about it. Like it just that's why he that's why he 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 had to take it on the chin. Pause, but pun intended, based on my last joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Babe, you say you had a uh question. I'm gonna get Simeon and then we're gonna get smoking. Yeah. I'm gonna bring Jenny back up. See, I got oh. <laughs> You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Vapors, send me a smoke. Then we going back to the uh smoking marijuana. With his ghetto point of view, <laughs> we gonna we gonna mine that out. Hey, um, ahead, she can get ready. Get my spot yeah, in a moment. I, I gotta get ready. Head out. Get to work in the morning. Yeah, it's getting late. Oh, right, that niggas. Go ahead, vape. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just got a question for Aaron. Um, a salute to y'all, and um, y'all seem very intelligent and researched. Um. Mm -hmm. Aaron, what is one of the uh, questions you had for your parents that you said they couldn't answer? As far as the Bible? His grandma? Your grandma? Yeah. As far as, as, the, far as your grandmother, yeah. Damn, that's a lot. Like, it's a lot of stuff they couldn't answer. Like, oh, just um, one, just one, just one. The concept of heaven and hell. A lot of people in my family and a lot of Christians I know don't even know that there's three heavens in the Bible or that hell is a mind state. Like the, the, there's stuff that they, I see a lot of Christians take so literal. It's the, the, the parables and stuff that should be used as a metaphor is the stuff that they take serious. And the stuff that you should take serious, that's the stuff that they want to say as a metaphor. So it's so kind of confusing, like, when you read Revelation, so did you do your own research to find that? Uh, yeah, what do you have? Revelations. Whenever I get really down, like, and I start to pick up my Bible, I like to start at Genesis or I like to start at Revelation, and I read all the way through to the end of it. And one day I read through Revelations and I got to the end, and it was talking about the kingdom of heaven descending down and New Jerusalem coming to the earth. And then I was like, wait, I thought we was going up. Like what happened? And I started reading more and more. And that's when I learned about um, parables. This is before Hebrew Israelites. Like I was studying this stuff and I started learning about how to read parables. And I started reading parables in the Bible and it was contradicting a lot of stuff that Christians were saying. So of course you go back to your elders for the answers and you go back to the elders and the elders don't have the answers. Other them had the answers or it wasn't correct. So yeah, you I finally to that. the elders. I left the church. There was no point in me keep listening to y'all and y'all accepting the stuff that um God said that he doesn't accept. Or so what what is, what is the difference to you between knowledge and wisdom? Well, if you want to talk about knowledge, um we could go back to the tree of knowledge and good and evil. Knowledge could be used for good and evil wisdom you're kind of like 
wise to knowing what's already about to happen so if that's the case god would be wise the rest of us we obtain knowledge he already know what's gonna happen he's wise he knows okay if you do this x y and z you will end up with a b and c but us we crave knowledge and that's where the good and evil part comes in you could use knowledge for good and evil that's just how i take it hmm. okay send me anything you wanted to comment on uh, you could pass up on me Hap. i was just gonna make uh make a comment on what uh about the marijuana i had a couple of verses okay. pulled up yeah, we'll get there soon because i think you know what's ill shit like that actually resonates a little bit louder than a lot of the shit we've been talking about because it's tangible for a lot of people you know what i'm saying in a lot of different ways medicinally recreation does it hurt you can you overdose there's so many questions around it you know so i think it's, it's deeper than we get credit for that hint well we about to go there i just want to get smoking uh smoke was popping hey hey what's going on uh ham and good the brisky the brisky panel yo um, man i miss I, you i ain't seen you in a minute you all right yeah i've been in the chat i've been in the chat i've been here every day with you man i just been you know laying laying back indeed i i just wanted to point out to say that um beans has some great questions at the beginning of the show and it seemed like like you said he just wanted to have a conversation back and forth i was trying to get in but it was it was pumping so i couldn't get mm -hmm. in cool, but yeah. uh but I, what I wanted to say is being that I agree you were right. And my answer to you would have been yes, that you got to have that spiritual being. It's a spiritual side to this too. Um, to add to, to, to go with to go with what fantastic question was, um, that's why fantastic Jesus came and he gave himself on the cross because he knew that we were going to come to a point because we were scattered as people because of the sin on the earth that he had to come back and make it a perfection plan meaning you gotta you gotta know him also by the spirit it's things that we have to do like his israelites kuda i mean 100 for the brothers but that on a physical standpoint they're doing what they're supposed to do by the commandments this this, and that but there's other things you also have to buy by so you got to be baptized in his name at 238 you have to you have to do things to increase also your spiritual being physical but we forget that we are spiritual beings as well so you can't get in heaven alone by your deeds and your acts you have to know him spiritually you saying often. wait smoke you saying um, you gotta you gotta jump in water and you gotta jump you gotta be baptized like in water you saying yeah you gotta yeah just like jesus christ was baptized and more but then yes. but then you then see that the, you see but then how do you what about my man that that got the heaven on the cross jesus christ he was baptized too no no the nigga next to him the, he, the thief he, he, you, that that was the, the the one next to him what, what that was before what happens is huh? when god when god was baptized he fell huh? out of another cup which is a spiritual cup that's what? why I'm saying there are things that you have to do physically on this earth. And you also have to build a spiritual thing also. That was the purpose of him being baptized and bearing the cross for our sins. Because he knew that we're not going to be able to do it physically. And no one on this earth can do all the commandments physically, unless you got Jesus Christ within you. In order to get Jesus Christ within you, you have to be baptized. Yo, oh my God! So oh, um, wanna I just wanted, I just, I just wanted to say that to answer just... Beans' questions, because he Beans had three great questions, and it seemed like no one would answer him, and I was trying to get through them, to answer them on that. I just so, think it's funny you how y'all the kingdom of God just by your fleshly things. You well, smoke. Let's get up. Well, you, I think you have some pushback on the water baptism. Go ahead, Simeon. Uh, I was wondering, Ab, if you uh, Ab, if you could pull up Acts the nineteenth chapter. Yeah. Yeah. One second. So, uh, smoke. You said that we would have to be baptized in His name. Now, I would ask you: in order to receive the Holy Spirit, must we be baptized in water?
Is he there? We, what, what'd you say, Axe? What'd you say? Axe what now? Axe, the, Axe 19. Uh, and we could start at verse 2, but I'm, I'm just asking you, if, to receive the Holy Spirit, would we have to be dumped in water? You got to be immersed in water, yes. You got to be cleansed okay. of your... Of your so yeah. I would just... I, I would like to see what your exegesis is on Acts 19 and starting at verse 2. I'll go ahead and read it. It says, He said unto them, this is Paul speaking, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So these men have believed. And he said unto them, Unto, that, unto what were ye then baptized? Then were ye baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Now smoke, what was John's baptism? John's baptism, John's baptism was of the flesh. Right, but uh, was it being, was it with water? It was, of, it was, John's baptism was of the flesh. Was it with water? You, it was, you could say it was with water, but in order, in order. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say that in the Bible. Doesn't the Bible say that his oh, baptism yeah. was with water? Yeah. Yes, but. Yes. Go ahead, uh, Verse four. Verse four it says, "Then said Paul, John verily baptized, baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus." When what? they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, right? Right. When and that the the key point that we're honing in on, and I'm trying to hone in on, is when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So there was they, none of them were immersed in water. <laughs> no, 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 no. We talking about the spirit. We talking about the spirit. There's two smoke, no, smoke, no, smoke, no, smoke, no, smoke. Now here's your opportunity, smoke. They were baptized in the name of Christ Jesus, not being dunked in a tank. Right. But I'm, but I'm. You have to be immersed in Acts two thirty eight. It says Acts two thirty eight. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So they were baptized by the flesh because of their hearing his word. But that doesn't mean that God's spirit is within them. You have to be cleansed of your sins by being immersed under water in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins, then you have to tear. You have to live. You have to. You have to take His commandments and put it in your life every day until don't. God fills you with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, don't don't then don't. Then you have the spiritual yeah. baptism. Uh, so question, smoke. That's, in the verses you in the verses you read, um, damn, was the water in there? Hold on, did I miss it? <laughs> Wasn't no water, brother. <laughs> it was dry. It was real dry. Oh, there was no it was water dry. where you went. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Um, dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. So, I'm not here. Hey, I'm not. I'm not here to you know go back and forth. That's just what I wanted to say. All right. Okay. All right God well, bless you. Peace. All right, smoke. I love you. Where you For go? Sure. One love. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Hold on, smoke. They want to yeah. talk to you. Just piggy, piggybacking off what Brother Simeon said earlier in Acts, in Acts 11 and 6, and it says, And I remembered the word of the Lord and how he used to say, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So explain to me the disconnect, because I'm confused. Well, well, see, in the old, in, in the old time, Jesus was telling them they need to be baptized and be clean of their sins because of the practices that they had in the Old Testament, okay? So, they... they this is Acts. This is Acts. Is going, correct? They, uh, smoke, 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 smoke. This is Acts, smoke. This is Acts. Okay, this is yeah, Acts. Acts. After Jesus is gone, correct? Say it again. This is the book of Acts. This is after Jesus is gone, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so in the book of Acts, when they are instructing the people they said john baptized with water but you the new people we are prophesying to we are preaching to will be baptized with the holy spirit sir break that down for me 
when when you're baptized in the water and and your 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 flesh is cleansed, your beans, okay, <laughs> in the name in His name, then you have to tear. You have to you have to live by the word. You have to live by His, his, his commandments, his, his ordinances, until God sends you gives you the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's His Spirit within you. Sir, what does what does the word but do in the English language? When you see a comma and then B U T, what is that doing to the to the part of the sentence that came in front of it? Mm-hmm. When you when you create that conjunction, when you use but as a conjunction in a sentence, what are you saying about the part of the sentence in front of it? There's something to add to it. No, you're saying you don't agree with that part of the sentence. I like peanut butter and jelly, but I prefer a fish and chips. You're saying you don't agree with that. That's not accurate, though, brother. No, that is the that's not, no, 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 no. way you use the word "but." I do. It is not what you just explained, though. That is not what I just explained. What are you talking Absolutely about? Absolutely not. What did I not? <laughs> what did I, what did I say? Both. I said you. I said it's a conjunction. I said it shows you disagree you with the front part of the both. sentence, okay. and then I gave an example. Right, but no, the example was no, horrible. No, is my point that I like peanut butter and jelly, but I prefer fish and chips. Me, look. How is it not a? How is it? Okay, <laughs> Beans, tell me how that's a bad example. Go ahead. I'm gonna mute my mic. Hold on, hold on. I can, because again, you 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 chose a sentence structure that supports your point. You you, you chose a sentence structure that supports your point. But I can yeah, use yeah. It again that. But that how does that not support my point though? I'm confused. Because it supports your point of you saying that you disagree with everything that comes before the but. But that's literally okay. what but means. Huh? That's what but means that you disagree with. Okay, I'm gonna pull up Merriam Webster's and I'm gonna put it in the back chat and one of y'all read it. All right, y'all, Listen, bro, you got I, I see a lot of y'all ain't really go to school. That's cool. Like, you, you got to see a lot of y'all ain't really go to school. It's cool. <laughs> If you just relax first, right? Hold yeah. on. No, because you, first of all, being you cut me off a billion times earlier. Now you want me to relax. That's I'm hilarious. not saying to cut you, oh, cut right. me off. I'm just asking you to calm down because when we're talking to you, acting <laughs> like as if we're pressing you, the fact yeah. of the matter is, you said that what was used to say that you disagree with what came before it. No, that's inaccurate. And I gave the example of, I, yeah, I like peanut butter and jelly, but I prefer a fish and chips. So you disagree with the fact that you like peanut butter and jelly? Would you? Thank you. You just proved your own point in your sentence. No, it's 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 saying that that's what I would would not like for lunch at that moment. Like if I was having a you conversation. Didn't add that. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all get I mad need at to add that context team. when I'm talking to grown adults. Wow. Yes, nigga, we have to understand that you. I didn't know that I didn't go, graduate sixth grade English, bro. I'm sorry. Like, you, we have to understand. I that didn't you, know that I didn't graduate sixth grade you English, bro. I'm that very you sorry, bro. What came before hey, uh, the butt? You don't uh, disagree. Hold on, hold on. If anybody else is talking, you don't disagree with the fact that you like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. It's that simple, bro. What I mean, y'all have to be okay with just accepting this and being able to say, well, you know, maybe I misspoke. So we can but move on these, these unnecessary ass heels, bro. I didn't misspeak. What are you talking about? You're right, well, fam. Bro, you bro, you, well, I'm not you trying to be right. I'm trying to say, like, some people really didn't graduate sixth grade, and it's sad. Like, that's yeah, you, you, man. It is you. That you is did. You, you did. You did. But you don't know what I I hear you, but I bet you, you would love for your students to be in my class, though. I hear you. Like, they actually like graduate. I guarantee you, if you guys had children, all right, come on, y'all. Come on, come on. I promise you. It's okay, though. Yo, fellas, 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 fellas. Come on. Is your degree from fantastic? I'm trying to let him get it out. Um, comments is from? bigger degree, brother. Yeah, it's no, it's yours. just it's is not. It it's not. It's Hampton. not. It's not. Yeah, listen, honestly. listen. It's it, it's just something in contrast. It's not totally just negating the sentence before it. It's not you know? at all. And it just it, it's but it's it it's it's not totally agreeing with the sentence before it. No, um, no, no, no. But Man, on no, the no. other hand, on the contrary, notwithstanding, yet okay, no, no problem. You got it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. On the contrary, that means that means in addition to or in condition with. So how does like, my sentence of not brother, not fit brother, that? You gotta let somebody it does. talk. Fantastic. Let him have this shit. It does. I'm mean, not let him have this shit because this nigga wrong for one, and now he talking hey. about degrees and all this other shit. Good, man. That's all but I want. with the exception yeah, of yeah, smoke, you good, but smoke. other than but without laughing. Oh man, hold up, man. Let's oh, smoke. Let get me, up out of here. Smoke, man. I see you on Friday. For sure. Easy. Let me just get this quick little sentence, okay? Um, uh, all pigeons are but birds, but all birds are not pigeons. Yeah. See how that works? Yo, he's got a point of view. Come back. We want to talk about marijuana. 
Come on, Hamp, bro. You got to stop this kumbaya shit. The, the God works in mysterious ways. He gone and you inviting this stupid ass back. I like, want to talk crazy. about marijuana, nigga. Yeah, this, I think hey, I thought it was Hamp show. Hold up, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, that I like uh, kumbaya, man. Shit. I didn't know that the, right. uh, um, uh, the Mary Jane was a cure for the, um, uh, you know, the C-19 thing. I didn't know that at all, brother. I didn't see none of that paperwork or none that's of that that's why i want him to come back because e e a weed smoking motherfucker too but uh Han, how come you didn't black, challenge bro. him on uh that uh baptism thing because that was incorrect smoke just spoke. now he did challenge him. yeah yeah i mean simeon did i mean it was no. so clean i mean then his ghetto no. point of view uh but, but challenged what i'm trying to say is like um the whole point of the baptism is symbolic it's not it's not a law it, like what he said, it was like you can only be saved by uh, we agree, going to baptism. but vape, let me ask yeah. you a question What's what did up? you really want me to do with smoke in that instance? <laughs> you, you wanted me to run OG smoke into the ground? Pause, come on. I mean, man. we have people of come all on, different man. ages, man. Like, I know, but the thing him is, being like this that, age shouldn't be giving out well, misinformation. Well, here's, yeah. here's what I mean by this is. It was refuted. The chat overwhelmingly agreed that smoke was just windmilling, and so the point was proven. We don't gotta drill him, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Like, and OG smoke, he don't give a fuck what we saying. He one of old old niggas. He stop listening. He don't give a shit what we talking about. I love him though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still he read a verse that he read his own verse that disproved himself. Acts two, and he just kept going like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Yeah, he definitely about to go make a hog maw sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely facts. See, right <laughs> right so, so, it's really uh, and babe, you mad at me, Miss Jenny? Let just sat there and let him say this shit too. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got smoke for Jenny too because yeah, she been pretty quiet. I don't know. She what's did up what she's that. supposed to do. First Timothy two and twelve. Good job, Miss Jenny. <laughs> Jenny don't Good believe job. that shit. She don't believe Good that job. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, damn man. So, oh, the cannabis thing. All right, let me see. Um, E, you want to say something, or you want to talk about marijuana too? I don't want to talk about marijuana. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know, <laughs> man. You, you love marijuana, nigga. Nah, I don't love it, man. You like yeah. it a lot? Nah, that we ain't chimneys. We can't smoke. <laughs> oh my god get the fuck put him in the fucking bedroom get him out of here come on miss jenny what you think about all this mumbo jumbo man um i'm just glad that i had enough stamina to come back because this is the whole reason i came up here in the first place because anybody just called himself a christian and come up here and just say anything and talk about <laughs> baptismal regeneration and talk about all types of crazy stuff and just give christians a bad name so they had the Christians looking bad. Who was it? You remember? Don't don't say names. Say names. Don't say really? names. Say names. <laughs> to say. Don't say names. Say names, Jenny. Um. Well, but well, there's a certain somebody that pretty much everybody rolled their eyes when he came on with on their panel. Who was it? Uh, Did it start with ruthless and true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Wow, yo, ruthless don't care though. He. What you think about what ruthless was saying? Oh, you met him before. Yeah, he's talked to me before. What do you think? I mean, he came on my show on Black Men Unfiltered's channel, and he was like, Absolutely. oh, I'm your brother in Christ and all this stuff. And I thought, oh, cool. And we were talking, and then um, he was saying how he doesn't believe in free will and doesn't believe in eternal security. And I said, oh, okay. And so that's where we very much differ. Mm, I was there for that. It went bad for him. Yeah. For him, <laughs> yeah, that's that's usually his. That's what happens usually. Uh, ruthless. Uh, excuse me, Jenny. When you see ruthless are having a discourse with the brothers, do you see him as losing also, or what? Like, how do you see it? Um, with the brothers, you mean the Hebrew Israelites? Yeah. Um, I I feel like he. I mean, I don't disagree with, I mean, I, I disagree with both sides, but I feel mm -hmm. like he comes across as losing the argument because he rambles. And <laughs> okay. so I think that when people ramble, they they sound like they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Okay. So when you watch, you be like, oh, he losing. 
I think so, but I mean, it's like, <laughs> okay. I would still be like, oh, well, he's still right, but I don't even agree with him. Yeah, but the perception when you're just watching it, you're like, okay, yeah. he's definitely losing. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, it's yeah. something to be said for that, you know. What do you think about when the brothers get get passionate? Do you think the men are being emotional or you think it's just like this is how they have the conversation? Um, I mean, I'm this is something that I'm still working on about trying to balance that. Um, because I feel like once you get emotional, that also makes it look like you're losing the argument. Cause it's mm. like, if you're right, then why are you yelling? You know, just just state your point and don't get all flustered. But especially when you're talking about religion, you know, you're passionate about it. This is, these are your near and dear most valued beliefs. And so you want to, you have some vigor when you're talking about them. And so, um, I don't know. I mean, I was listening to when, um, what was it? TJ and and Deacon were were going back, back and forth about the Trinity and JP. And, um, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, if you, if you're, if you're right, you know, if, if at the end of the day you're right, then how you go about it doesn't really matter, I guess. Facts. And you know why? Because these same people who try to shame you for being passionate are the same people who yell at their kids. <laughs> they yell at children and beat children with objects and then come on here and tell you to not be emotional. Yeah. K E E L yourself. <laughs> Straight up. I ain't trying to hear this yeah. stupid shit. And, and, you know, Beans, you know, sis that be on the podcast, right? Yeah, she was all in my DMs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> e, go oh, get sis. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Beans, she, because you know, she's in um social work, right? So she deals with a lot of traumatic experiences. And yeah. she was saying it, um, that kids, people are beating kids because they're angry. Right. Because they angry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that's, that's a real, when she said, I'm like, damn. They know I beating kids calm. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they either right. scared you or made you mad. You know your kids scared, you know you get mad at them. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that's that's a good point, man. <laughs> I'm, trying to say, but I, I, I'm not mad, but I just I'm I used to be. But now it's like I kind of understand that it's just like not ad hominem, but it's just like a dismissive attack. But you can't pretend like you don't understand what somebody is saying. Right, because if I'm yelling angrily, and I say "bitch ass nigga," I whoop your ass. I bet you understood me. <laughs> I bet you swing on me. I bet you step back and be like, "What you want to do?" So don't pretend like you didn't understand what I said, <laughs> just because I might have been yelling. Right? Mister Fantastic, when Mister Fantastic became be getting mad at people, <laughs> he be telling them how small they are in so many different ways. That shit is fucking hilarious. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man. He's got a point of view. You, you there? Nah, he be having yes, that. sir. So the the Mac. Oh, let me let me catch. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Chocolate Bunny with the two dollars. Prodigal Son was proof of free will. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just me with the two dollars. Second, <laughs> that is crazy. Yo, get the yo. She almost had me. <laughs> Put him in the fucking bed. Come on. Yo, I was like, what the? <laughs> hey, Jess, I ain't messing with you, man. <laughs> Lee with the five dollars. What's popping? Lee said it means no more forgiveness or repentance for you. Song, song of Judah by Bias. Is that how you say that? But the five dollars says Kanye agrees, Kyrie agrees, even Putin agrees. That's crazy. Andre Dale with the two dollars says, Tell Beans he an infidel. That's the worst. Mm. Lauren Mack with the ten dollars says, Catching up on BMF and watching this stream is wild combo, but I'm here. I am <laughs> great job managing the combo. Hamp, hamp, thanks, Lauren. Damn, Omar. <laughs> Omar with the 20 ball says, I know y'all don't want to hear from your Muslim brother, but I would go by that Orientalist book. A more proof, a more proof way to find an original connection would be through language. Example, what is it? Example, which languages have Semitic roots? Oh, to find a correlation. That's interesting. 
Reese with the two dollars says, I remember my first introduction day and in introduction by Zabak <laughs> in New York. Yeah. <laughs> introduction <laughs> by Zabak in New York. Yeah, priest Zabak. Now hard one forty four thousand with the five dollars says a knowledgeable man knows what to say. A wise man knows when to say it. I mm. like that. I like that. That's fine. Somebody screenshot this for me. That's a fact. Let me get one too. Yeah, fact. Somebody screenshot this. I'll write it down. Send it to me. Darren with the five dollars says the law is spiritual. That's what Christians don't understand. It converts the soul. Shalom, brother. Shalom, my brother. Robert with the father says, John 3 and 5. Jesus told Nicodemus, Amen, Amen. I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. <coughs> a lot of rules. Miss Parker with the two dollars says, intellectually incorrect. John, man. Perfect. 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 I, I want to see you, man. Salute. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Appreciate you. I don't want that smoke. You want that smoke? I don't want that smoke. <laughs> Damn, man. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So his got a point of view. Go ahead. Who's that? No, no, I, I just got a question for everybody in the panel. So oh, okay. What, what do y'all uh, think of the rainbow? Like, oh, the, rainbow the, is, uh, the rainbow is mine. It's not theirs. It's crazy. <laughs> it's stolen. Yeah, it's stolen. This is simple as that. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. So if I want to wear a rainbow, whatever, it's mine already. It's not theirs. That's all. Y'all seen that commercial on TV where they talking about um, Jesus watches the people feet? Yeah, that shit crazy. You notice the part in the commercial they highlight the most. Don't, but you movie. don't, don't, don't highlight it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that shit crazy. Repeat the commercial. You'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah. I mean, but look, I got you, Aaron. Truth be told, you know, as a, as if as far as the rainbow go, I like Skittles. I just don't like the sour <laughs> ones. You know what I'm saying? Like that's too much sugar. So I prefer just like the original pack of Skittles myself. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His ghetto point of view. So, and <laughs> in Genesis one and twenty nine, the the argument. I got there. I the argument I would make is means <laughs> that's clipped, nigga. <laughs> um, yeah. Is it's used for got meat. It. So meat would mean consumption of eating, not of burning it and smoking it. And then I correlate that with the put putting they put their noses up and, and told God to kiss their ass by putting a branch to the nose in Ezekiel 8 and 17. Um, and that that correlation, and it may be colloquial, is like smoking. Can you hear me? I don't know if he can hear me. I just he, can hear you. he just muted. He's trying to figure out. He muted. There you go. You can hear me when I was talking? Yes, sir. I can hear oh, you. Oh, all right, all right, all right. No, you heard me just now? Yeah, you were saying that um that it says to be consumed as meat, and that then you would bring that to the Ezekiel verse where they use uh they put the put the branch of the nose the bees by their yeah. nose and you said that was kind of the most thumbing their noses up at the most high and your yeah. your, your relation to it okay i could definitely um uh respect that perspective um there's a couple other verses i'd love to get yeah. your perspective on um but when you guys talked about the 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 iron the the, the iran and iraq thing with Ur, i actually kind of wanted to get into that because that was a more interesting conversation to me because everybody just gonna laugh about the cannabis conversation because most people like to just smoke in quiet in front like they don't smoke in public. But um, <laughs> so that's what it is. But when you, oh. when you talked about in Ireland and I would love to talk about that, but maybe another time. But let's I guess we'll just stick on the cannabis stick. But um, well, I, well, the reason why I like the cannabis is because I think it'll it'll resonate with a lot people. of a lot it'll of people want to talk about. No, nah, I'm, I'm with it. I got some verses I'd love for you to. Uh, yeah. Come on. Um, Jeremiah verse uh, chapter six, verse 20. Get the likes up and salute. Hey, Jenny, what you think, man? We had 600 people in here. It's a win for the Bible, right? Um, yeah. Uh, you hesitated. God damn. 
she taking that she taking that scripture a little bit too literally you see how she holding the, the thing over her mouth <laughs> like i need to be quiet no no well it would be impolite to yawn on camera oh that's what you over there doing <laughs> yeah late so we got uh i'm here y'all some lazy podcasts you can see it so um yes sir so uh could you please break down to me what you what you what you translate the incense from Sheba? To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba and sweet cane from a far country? Yeah, your sweet, burnt offering. Sweet cane. What do you what do you translate that as? Sweet cane from far mm-hmm. country. Um, well, I guess my question is: Can a thing smell sweet, or does it have to only taste sweet? Pause. Damn. Damn. We things definitely don't smell. Uh, I, would, I would argue okay. your senses Catalyst. can allow you to um, enjoy things multiple ways. So you can have things that smell sweet and things that taste sweet, or things that do both. Okay. So okay. So came from a far country. Your burnt offerings are not ex- are not acceptable, nor your sacrifice sweet unto me. Well, so I guess my this infers to me incense as I know it today would be something that you would smell. I don't know if you've ingested. And I saw oh, sweet, issues with people. Like, uh, oh, God. it says and sweet cane. So those are two different things. Yes, sir. That's the that's the other conjunction where you putting them together. Yeah, and the sweet cane from far country. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices. Therefore, behold. Um. Okay. So, hmm. I guess. Okay. So with the incense being the incense, and the sweet cane. So the incense would be the, what they're smelling. The sweet cane would be something they potentially ingest in. Where does it say that? Uh, Ham, the, the sweet yeah. the sweet cane, when you go into the blue letter, it's referring to calamus. It's a plant. And then the plant has psychoactive. Like, Perfect. Right. So are they eating it, though, Simeon? No. no. They, they smoking it here? No. What are they doing with it? No, they definitely are smoking they, it. They, they, they spark it. They spark it for. There's an offering to the Lord. Yeah, they're burning it. It's like every so they sacrifice, so they're burning it. Okay, so both of these incense and sweet cane are being burnt. Burnt your burnt right. offerings, and this yeah. are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices. Right. So why is it saying not acceptable? Well, Most High was fed up with uh at that time with with, with the children of Israel. So yeah. So they right, so they, he, they, he they kept bringing him their complaints and stuff, but they hadn't bring him any offerings. Is is what I gathered, mm-hmm. correct? It's too it's too late, right? right. Um, so that sweet it, and his offerings, and they didn't. So they if them niggas came on, so if I'm putting in layman's terms, if them niggas came on time, he would have accepted it, but he was already fed up with them niggas. Right, and it's an offering at the end of the day. I mean, we're talking about marijuana, something that you would be consuming yeah. yourself. So according to not, my- not, not according to how they consumed it back then. Um, the article I wanted to get into from uh, the well, University well, of Israel. State. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna share. It. I'm gonna share, it. or I can you can share. It. Um, that way you can scroll through it how you want to. No, nah, um, I, I could I could share it with you, good brother. Absolutely, I'll put it in the back. Yeah. Well, no, you. I'm saying you could present. So hit the oh, button okay. and you could present it. Um, uh, which I think. So, Simi, you agree with uh, the in, breakdown in of, of Jeremiah six. Uh, the breakdown of what he's trying to insinuate that they're smoking it or something, yeah. No, yeah, we need, so. yeah, so see, I just did a little bit of research right now, and it's and then and it's saying that this is uh a plant called calamus, right? Also, known right. as Bossom. and and this is saying it was used in foods like, like as a spice, and that it uh it was banned in the, in the U.S. in 1968. Um, then it was commonly used for stomach problems, skin problems, earache, and to remove the smell of tobacco, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, and also <clears throat> what I pull from, you know, just in terms of, if you remember back to what um, uh, oh, Deacon man. was saying in terms of things that come from them other cultures that are um, idols and he- heathens, mm-hmm. Sheba is a um, Kushite. So immediately that put, that's a red flag. So when the mo- so when the most high is saying that saying these verses, you're saying that Sheba talking? No, no, no. Incense from Sheba. That's all. Okay. Just looking at the words. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. I I I'm just just thinking through it. 
And gotcha. then what, what Beans just brought up and what Simeon was saying as well. And what about Genesis 111? Where says, I created all. Wait, are you trying movies. to suggest that that scripture we read was the most high talking? Sir, there's several scriptures where the most high refers to cannabis. It's called Calabasin. It's called Calamus. It's called Canna. Um, <laughs> Cain. Um, there's, there's tons of scriptures where he's referring to that. There's even scriptures where it suggests that 250 shekels of Cain or canna or calamus is used in the holy oil to anoint the kings meaning that the holy the holy oil to anoint the kings is actually taking them into a transcendental experience yeah. um yeah so let me read let me share this um here i wish i would just be able to say yes or no and the most i said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit the herb yielding seed, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And the Most High saw that it was good in the evening and the morning were the third day. So, so we saying that herbs yielding seeds. What are we? What are we saying? This is a reference to eat. It's good. It's good. It's yeah. good. What 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 herbs are we saying that's a reference to? All herbs. Herbs, herbs that yield yeah. seeds, right? Yeah, right. herbs that yield seeds. Are you saying herb are, that yield seeds? Yeah, that's several yes. herbs. No, that are you, you, is cannabis right. a herb that yields seeds? Yeah. yeah. Cannabis is a plant. Okay, so oh wait, wait, wait. Cannabis is a plant, sir. Yes, I agree with that. And it's 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 buds, it's herb. roses, it's petals, whatever it's rose buds, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, it's blue yield seeds, correct? Yes, yes. yes. A lot of colloquial yeah. songs and terminology call it herb, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So are we going to play yes. because this translation uses herb? That that's this the one time we're not going to use it for herb because we don't want to feel like there was herb in the Bible because we don't want to because now we're no. adults that don't know stuff. No, no, no. it's there. But, but go ahead, Sammy. Have, I, I think I think we could clear this up. I think I think the disconnect is see when he brought out that verse it's like it's like if we we're trying to throw shame upon the herbs that are upon the earth that the most I saw them as good. And we read in, in, in uh, Syrac, the 38th chapter, where he says, uh, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise will not, not abhor them. them. Thank you. You were not right. But it also in wisdom 16 and 12, most I said, neither was it herbal mollifying plaster that healed them, but thy word, which healed them. So the emphasis is on the word. And also, are you suggesting that marijuana how is something the, that we should- How could the word? I'm the sorry, guys. Don't get stuck right the there. Word, yeah, the word, the word, the word ultimately is what heals you, right? The the the, the word, the word is what cleanses us. So it's through our word, through the word of God, in which we obtain wisdom. Is when we cleanse ourselves, and it's through the word of God, through our knowledge, and applying that wisdom is how we is how we heal ourselves ultimately. So then, why in Exodus were they given specific laws to deal with the lepers and sick people if it was just through the word that they needed to be cleansed? Why were they told to no. put those people away to test their skin? Why why were those specific no mandates and requirements needed for the people if it was just by the word they could be healed no well it says the it, it didn't say that it, they can only be healed by the word it said it says the credit is given to the word of god that excels above all things but it also but it's also it, and, and we already stated that the herbs and the medicines were created out of the earth to heal people and you and he that is wise will not abhor them so it's already right. stated the that word of god Commanded those herbs to be created, correct? Correct. Nobody, nobody's, so, nobody's so denying that. That, that would be the word of God getting the initial well, he's credit. Not, he's not denying nobody's, that part, though. Not, no one's, no one's denying that the that the herb is there to help you or heal you or can fix you. I, but think, I think that, there's a lot of people in the history of Israelite world that would deny those things. But go ahead. But he's not I, though. His ghetto point. Right, he's not though. Yeah, I'm not. I used to be. I, if you understand, I used to push. I used to smoke heavy. I mean, I was known to be that person. And I left it a long time ago. I just abandoned it once I came into the word, which healed me and removed me from those practices. But all I'm telling you is that ultimately, when, oh, we, look, go ahead, ultimately, go ahead. when we get into the scriptures, we see that, that uh, know ye not that you are the temple of God and him that defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. You're, you, the way you're pushing it is, a, is as if it's a healthy thing in which we should be consuming. Is it something that if, if, if you gave a, uh, would you, I, I'll give you this question. I'll just put it on you. Would you prescribe this to any society or a group of people that you were trying to lead into righteousness? And we'll just go from that angle. Would that Absolutely. be a because would, so it would be a prescription, right? So 
I, I, I would I would have to I would go against that and I would say that this marijuana that you're speaking of not only uh can lead to bronchitis, not only leads to phlegm, coughing, wheezing. There's no scientific uh, evidence uh, to that. I mean, you can say that, but I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll put a ton of and I'll put a ton no, of studies in the I'm, chat. Like I, I study this all you, the time. That's the and so have I. I mean, I'm telling you that I was an avid smoker. This is something that I did since so who's Sula I was Bennett? eleven years old. What was that? Who's Sula Bennett? I'm not sure who Sula Bennett is. But I'm, you study this all the time. No, no, no. I said I, I think you you, you misguided. Your source doesn't eliminate all other sources, brother. Yeah, you no, know, that's not. I what mean, she, she's well, a very she's a very well known well, source well, in, this, let's, in this area. Let me ask this question to Simeon. Yeah. What about alcohol? Alcohol consumption. Mm -hmm. We see we see we see it in scriptures. We we see it in the scripture as uh, not leading unto excessive drinking. Yeah. We know that it says when a man is has, has acute sickness, if he's on his deathbed, you give him strong drink to ease the pain. Yeah. We know we we, yeah. we see that Bad. wine make it well, yeah, wine make it the heart glad. Yeah. So there's a time and place for these things. Uh, I, I, you know when you read Ezra, it says that wine is a powerful thing because the same wine that can make a man happy and jolly and everybody having a good time. Is the same is the same men that if they drink too much of it they'll be brawling at the end of the of the yep. you know hundred percent it says yeah so, don't go don't go, don't go to the bar with another man's wife right we all understand right. it's acceptable I guess my question is alcohol <clears throat> alcohol can lead to liver damage and etc right but when you right. made that argument about marijuana then that would negate wine liquor usage as well but it doesn't so that I don't know if that argument will negate the weed argument. But just okay. so, what what you think about that comparison? What, well, I'm, I, well, when it comes to this, I go by I'm going by the scriptures, but with what I yeah. see in scripture, if I if I go towards the world, we can have that discussion. We can say, yo, yeah. I don't, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, me myself, I don't drink, uh, neither do I smoke, so I wouldn't give it as a prescription to a society or to a people to lead themselves to, unto righteousness. I would say, hey, you should not drink, you should not do these things, because but I see it in scripture that the Most High has a view on those things. And he created those things for the heart of men to be glad. He created the herbs to be eaten and to be and, and to be taken in as food. And and like for instance, marijuana, you can take it, you can break it down, put it in butter, use it, use it. But uh, it gets to a point where you can abuse it as well. So and like and if you, if you go as to smoking, like I said, we're talking about your airways. We're talking about damaging the lining of your lungs, mm -hmm. wheezing. Like I said, coughing uh, makes you more susceptible to acute bronchitis. This has been shown through years and years of research and Medical study, like i said yeah, yeah and I, I myself i myself suffered it for myself i mean i worked as a steam fitter in the most crazy conditions and nobody was suffering the way i was because i was a, a heavy smoker and all my all my peers near me they were having the time in their lives but i was working in terrible conditions and my marijuana only took that further on to the point where you know it, it was, it was sure. critical that i should get yeah. That I, I want to make sure this is highlighted because it sounds to me that the, the the place of differentiation is that you're just talk, you're talking about smoking, yeah, specifically, right? right? So specifically, you're not talking yeah. about using it as a herb or as a spice, exactly. or something. yeah, not at all. Right. Not you're at talking all. specifically about smoking, so yeah. so that's the one not, thing. But if I can act, not made to be smoked, it's made smoked. to be eaten. The, the oh majority. God. You lose over half of the bend, the the medicinal and whatever great effects when you smoke. Now that I do agree with the more, the more you burn it, the faster is the medicine. Is. And rubbing too, oil it will break down the oil too. The so like, yeah. Let me ask this question. Let me ask this question because I want to get it out the way. And I'm gonna ask it to help because I I trust that he'll just give me an answer. And these scriptures that they're reading, when it says the Lord said. That's not God talking, right? That's somebody speaking, saying that the Lord said. When did the Lord say these things that they're saying he said? What do you mean? To, to the author. So he said these things directly to these people at some point. Do we know when that happened? When they or are they just it. repeating it? Yeah, when, when they, they tell you they did. Yeah. yeah, when they tell you he the did. Said, and then you'll see parentheses and everything. Or red letters yeah. or whatever it tells mm -hmm. you specifically. Yeah, but to be fair, um, not, not the red letters. That's Jesus, right? Jesus, right? Not the Lord. Yeah, that's Jesus. Just to be right. I'm just talking about like the scriptures yeah. we was just reading when it was well, said. The Lord I said, it's thing. God said, perfect. do this thing. It was. It, but the original. That's uh, not talking in Genesis about the earth. Yeah, that's the original that's language was scrolls though. Yeah, that's, that's the Lord talking means. So like for instance, when when we start going over the law, right? The Lord, they'll say the Lord told Aaron and them niggas this, and then he'll tell them what he told them. 
right? That's not the same thing as the most high telling them this. Right, but yeah. told them how? Because from my understanding, nobody can actually hear the voice of God. If I'm not mistaken, it's told you that, man. That's not what it says. It right? doesn't matter. It's, it's my it's it's that's what I've been taught. So it is what know, it is, which is why I'm asking you, questions. You can hear God. You can hear God. I think you're mixing that up with you can't see God or you can't be in his presence. The burning bush. That's what you know what I'm saying. That think you're conflating two different things. It's never saying that where nobody can hear God. It's just saying that no man will be able to look upon him and pretty much, you know what I'm saying? That's where I think you're conflating. But you I thought sure? the book of Daniel I might, I might be, be I might be too. man. Too. I do got a question oh, on that. Oh, it oh, might have oh, been like a movie or something. Scenes, the thing about it is them, the niggas that he's talking to, the best niggas in the world at that time. They were selected to do that thing. So, you know, oh, dang, oh, regular, dang, niggas, yeah. regular niggas like, like me and you, shit. I do got a question. You call them regular. Man, watch <laughs> right. out, man. You're right. You're right. Oh. Regular, you right. Regular niggas like you, shit. Man, you must be out your mind. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> 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 it's only like 10,000 of us, son. What do you mean? In fact, and, and to, uh, to be fair, I think I think what Bees is saying is credible. Like, you know, what do you mean you're hearing the voice of God? But like Hap was saying, these men were righteous men, uh, seers, if you will. And it, you can see it throughout scripture that these men would actually get sick whenever they would have revelations. And the, and the way that it would that we would know that it was divine, uh, divinely inspired is if what was said actually came to pass, whether it came to pass to the people in that lifetime, or we can look through history and see, wow, mm -hmm. Daniel had a vision that he would see the Greeks rule. I mean, the Persians and the Medes take out the Babylonians. Then the Greeks where Alexander would come and then the Romans would come. And he's saying these things hundreds of years before these things take place. So this is what makes them the prophets. This is what yes, makes it worse true. See the thing that I the thing that I that I struggle with with that is how long do you believe mankind, human being, us, has been around? Uh, according to scripture, I would say roughly this says twelve parts of the earth. I say about twelve thousand to thirteen thousand years. So your belief in how long mankind has been is based in the scripture. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. I would say the, the earth itself is about 12 parts. I say human beings have been around since, I would say, the fifth day. So that would be 5,000 years. Maybe we've been around for 7,000 plus years. 7,000 years. Okay. Simi, are you familiar with Jeff Brown since since one one author was not enough? Yeah, Being, you keep cutting me off, but I can't cut you uh, off. I, 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 no, I mean, I don't have at it, it, nigga. Stop it's talking to me. two way street. This no, ghetto point of. It's, talking no, to me, I, my, <laughs> well, look, let's, let's, I, finish the, let's finish the weed conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I'm not sure who you mentioned. I'm not. I'm not sure of the men that you're you're speaking of. Um, I'm sure they have a lot to say about the usage of marijuana and how it can be used. Like I said, I don't negate it being used as long as it's being used according to scripture. So scripture comes first over everything for me. So when you bring up these topics, so when, when you bring up these, I, I go to the Bible first, and then right. I, so in Exodus that's my 30 word. and 23, Genesis 1:11. Y'all yeah, didn't want to deal with that. Fine, Jeremiah. Y'all yeah, don't want to deal with that. Exodus 30 and 23. Take the following fine spices, 500 shekels of liquid myrrh, half as much, that is 250 shekels of fragrant cinnamon, 250 shekels of fragrant calamus. So, so, oh, to, I see. to make the holy oil. Yo, it's, brother. It's literally pounds of it in the holy oil. Well, I see, e, 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 let me clear one. this. Hold on, y'all. Let me clear this up real quick. I see what's happening in his ghetto point of view. The assertion that nobody wants to deal with is incorrect. I think it's being dealt with very directly. Oh, and just think that it's being used. Stuff. Well, well, yeah, yeah. That that was a derail there in terms of that, but it didn't last too long. Now, well, but essentially the, the question was answered. So oh, remember, Simeon know. just said that you can use it in food and medicine, etc. The smoking part is in yes. right. And I had a, I had a I had a disagreement with that, and I shared an article from the BBC in the background. Yeah. This one here. Yeah, yeah, but even further, let's can we just address can we address this? Cannabis is learned during worship by the ancient Israelites. But so we, we know better than the ancient Israelites, I guess. It's, it's not smoke. it's not saying it's smoked or inhaled. Oh, sir, they right? were burning it in a in a sir, they were hot boxing. They were burning it inside of a in the holy of holies in the inner sanctum, and they were all inhaling it. Mm -hmm. right. that's, that. that's actually a good point, finally. Do well, you know well, no, actually, no, it's not because again, uh, if you're burning incense, they don't burn incense to get high off of the incense. It, it wasn't incense, sir. It was That's cannabis, like, brother. You can't complain about everybody interrupting you <laughs> and interrupting everybody else. Right, no problem. 
Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm like, okay, so so like so first off, again, can we stop conflating that calamus is cannabis? It's not the same thing. It's two different things. You know better than the, the professors Fine. at the University of Tel Aviv, bro. At Tel, you know better than the professors at the University of Tel Aviv now. Yeah. What you saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so wow, they're saying, it. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all should all work at the University of Tel Aviv then. So y'all should be the ones doing these excavations and this research. So y'all should bro, be the ones digging this stuff up since y'all know better than them. Okay. I'm uh, just saying, make, why, why would you? Oh, you're right. not qualified to do that? Oh, y'all just qualified to just say it's not true. Got you. Okay, okay so you 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 done with the petty shit? Okay, all right, so I can go now. So I like got, petty yeah. time. When I get on petty time, y'all want to c- complain about it. It makes no sense. Well, you keep talking regardless. You don't shut the hell up at all. I don't shut the hell up. This is yeah, you don't like some like no. brother. The guy, no, damn. Leave, let's let's leave the the the, the, the bullshit for a second. Well, I'm so, trying. I'm trying, and he keeps. So I'm gonna say this again. Yeah, name. Cannabis is is different Means. from calamus. Just because some shit sounds like, it or you just get the same with your emotions. Same thing. Prove it. That is different. Uh, it's, so hold on. So you're telling me in this in this article it says that calamus and cannabis are the same thing. Sir, that, no, this article is proving that they found cannabis. No, 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 brother, brother, we're talking about the Bible. No, so now you don't want to have the discussion. Now have we're not talking. Hold up, we can. I'm not saying we're going to totally discount that, but for the third time, that negates what you just said. Brother, so you are discounting it, brother, brother. We're talking about the Bible, and in every reference of where you use the Bible to somehow support your cannabis, whatever. You 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 substituted somehow substituted calamus for cannabis. Those are that not is the, the word, same sir. thing. Cannabis is the word we use in English, sir. This okay, never mind. So I'm going to ask you again. In this article that you you're saying is just the the piece de resistance. It does it say that calamus and cannabis are the same thing? No. Does so do what say the word calamus and cannabis are the same? No. Would you like me to find an article that does say that? I can. That wasn't this, the point of this article. But this article is saying ancient Israelites burned cannabis as part of religious rituals and archaeo- archaeological study has found. And they said nothing about them smoking it. They burned everything. Everything, motherfucker. Frankincense, myrrh, damn yeah. um, hell, say who knows? They everything got burned. It says so did not get burned. Not, That's like saying they were smoking crack. Like, come on, man. Just deal with the fact that cannabis was used and just let it, it go. Said, it said frankincense was found on one altar, which was unsurprising because of its prominence in holy text. And the it study, says with frankincense in the text, right? Yeah. The right. studies authors told Israel newspaper Herod. However, tetrahydrocannabinol THC, yeah. cannabidol, BDL, CBD, cannabidiol, and cannabidiol. cannabidiol. A CBN all compounds compounds found in cannabis were found in the second altar. The so study, this is a second altar with just cannabis on it. The study adds that findings at Tel Arad suggest that cannabis also played a role in worship at the temple in Jerusalem, twenty seven hundred years ago. Hmm. So here's here's the thing though, right? To to like that's why I said that was actually a good point for the first time, right? Because time of the Gentiles, um. There's no getting around it if you agree, if you believe it, right? If they're burning it, they're inhaling it. They don't have to be putting it to their nah, mouth. Beans, they can't be inhaling it. They holding their nose like this, Beans. What you talking about? They holding their mouth and their nose while they pray. Hey, asshole. Man. Okay, your point is made. I'm trying to agree well, with you for one well, second. Let's, let's keep let's keep minding it out. 2,700 years ago, who was there? Was that King Herod? No, that was before, 27 before King Herod. Okay. And I believe that was during Jeez. the time of King King, King Ahaz. Ahaz. Yeah. So what was I'm that? Looking, uh, and I'm like looking at 700 BC. It says in there. It says in there. It, says in there it, it's it's not uh, conclusive. It says the researchers it's concluded that conclusive. they Thank may you. have. They may, they may have. have. May Thank have. You. May have. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, cool. This uh, is trash. This is. So it's trash. ghetto. I got a question. Was... If Christ told you to put down weed, would you put it down? Nope. If Christ told me to put down cannabis, if Christ told me to put down cannabis, I mean, bro, I'm, I got a joint right here. If he told me to throw this to the ground, I'm gonna throw it to the ground, bro. I don't think Christ would ever do you that. Smoke it. Wait, 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 Aaron, did you pay for that? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Aaron, did you pay for that? Christ, if they told you to do that, well, my joint. Yeah, I, I just, 
I just must be I, out your mind throwing shit. It's it's difficult to, to see. I understand the article. The Smithsonian article we talking. So, so, you know, the, the, reason, the, the reason why I ask that, the the reason why I ask that question is because how I look at weed is you shouldn't be smoking weed if you can't keep yourself together. Like if it's messing up your daily routine as far as your money. So like I know somebody was saying something about alcohol and um yep. I'm not gonna argue against the scriptures because I don't know how the scriptures really feel about smoking marijuana. I know how they feel about burning. I got I got I got we're about that, to but um as far as how I look at my life as far as smoking weed if I can't afford it I'm not smoking if it's yeah. messing with my mental if it's messing with like um Simeon said like I'm wheezing and all of that then it's got to stop let me, like let me but Aaron here's the queer the pro I understand what you're saying so I'm not dismissing it whatsoever right then you have to question the caliber of people that's walking around today who has that understanding right who who is out see you got to consider this what's the first rule in AA let me sure um, have a talk yeah. about AA well, okay what's the first one a one b what's the first <laughs> one admit b is what you gotta admit admit you have you have a... oh, oh oh shit you said hey, hey i'm thinking about fight club Go ahead. oh no hey, hey. no no oh, yeah yeah so <laughs> that's the one problem i see i understand what you're saying aaron mm -hmm. i'm not saying it's not achievable but the fact that the first rule aa is admitting you have the problem lets right. us know that people I are know, I, I know i have a problem but like but you I was see what i'm saying though it, like <laughs> people like oh it ain't, it ain't fucking me up meanwhile they got they got needle marks uh, in their toes like nah, you know I what know. i mean like people nah, i know for sure i mean that we have to draw these and i'm not going to, sit here and say I'm to try to make yeah. Canada seem bad when it doesn't put needle marks in toes it doesn't no we're it, not it, it, it's got a point of view you just windmilling now we talking about what aaron is talking about Listen, you know, i'm not going in terms to say of like something, something manipulating your body the most i would tell me to quit cannabis he didn't ask me if the most i would tell me to quit meth but we're not we're not it makes me go raw people yeah we're not hold on hold on hold on we're not we're not arguing that i was listening to what aaron said about don't do things that you can't handle i was just speaking to the delusion of people and how we think we can handle a lot of shit till it's time to actually handle it um and then we we hit a wall that's all i was talking about um yes to pretend as if there are people who don't have a problem an addiction to weed you need that shit every day you know, thing is addiction, sir. that's been proven by the government all right I mean, so, I mean, so here's the thing you know what else was proven by the government that your motherfucking ass wasn't supposed to be able to read i don't give a shit about what the government what the said. government ever say that what are you talking about i don't about? give a fuck what the government said fam. Why i don't care i don't care you don't have no literacy laws dumbass it's called literacy laws it's called literacy laws look it up so let's that was written right. for I want to hear sir. what that was written for you. You yes. got thousand dollars that literacy laws are written for you. Hold on, Simeon. They, they they talking about nothing. Hold on, let them finish. You, you, got got on day, on you gotta stop that. I was trying to talk. This nigga keep cutting everybody off. I don't know nah. why you won't just check this goofy ass nigga, man. Nah, man. I'm not listen, I'm not implicating none of that goofy shit y'all doing. Leave me they out of that goofy shit. You no, you. you no, see if you could say you, you could say him. See, now that's saying I can attack. Cause he yeah, keeps cutting I, people off with these ass arguments that don't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, but yo, y'all keep getting into that shit. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just chill out. Well, he's saying some weird shit that's inaccurate. So you just <laughs> inaccurate. Think shit. This nigga's supporting the show or something. Yeah, like, it, why the fuck we well, can't no, I'm about? not. I'm not making that. I'm just saying. No, this. see, that's the problem. Now, now that I'm, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit deterred by that. When y'all come on the panel and, and try to say, "Hamp, do this," I don't need to do none of that shit that y'all talking about. It's not, it's not bothering me that much overall. So I'm like, "Hey, just chill." Ain't nobody doing nothing too, too egregious right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking, y'all talking shit. It's, it's de-escalating, it's re-escalating. It's fine. But y'all stop telling me what need to be done. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. But yeah, the dude, the, the dude definitely is, is okay. just. He's not supporting none of his points. And when you counter it, he does it something else. There's clear proof. Somebody's fucking clearing their nose or something. I don't know. Some uh, so there's clear proof of their their being addiction to marijuana. It was years and years and years of research 
that support it. Anything, most things that gives your body a dopamine and um, uh, what's any type of rush and increase in itself is intended to be addictive. Especially we're talking about modern marijuana that I think now is like five times the potency of original non-synthetic marijuana we have today. So again, brother, if this brother has that, you're going to have the conversation. Have the conversation in good faith, bro. Okay, have the conversation in good faith. I, Let's I not just cherry pick and then scholars, brother, and brother, 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 I'd like brother, to bring brother. up the Dreher study of the Jamaican women if we could. Like, I'm okay, trying to bring up science and articles and y'all can dismiss them. You're saying. So, one, again, you, you, you're having a hard time understanding the fact of the matter that there are always going to be counter studies that disproves another study. But you haven't presented one. You just keep talking. Well, what are you what are you saying? I don't have well, to study that to support your position. Is that not is that so hard to do? And Brother, what's your response going to be? Though? Oh, hold, 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 I, have this, I just posted the Schaefer study in the back where a bunch of women were studied for over 50 years of intense cannabis. You smoking more than 10 joints a day. Some of these women while pregnant and nothing was found to be wrong with them at the end of this study. I just posted well, it to the back. Wrong. Who that's said wrong? Who said wrong? Said, that's the Schaefer study. That's that's a lie. Lie. It doesn't disprove an addiction. Who, who, who said the exception makes the rule? But yeah, and, and it doesn't not an exception. I can show you studies that follow thousands of people for, for a very long period of time. The question is, the the is, real quick, so his ghetto point of view, the question is this. Can we can we Google and find things if we have confirmation bias? 1,000%. And so, I, I when, when, agree with that. but see, so you're, you're a proponent and therefore your articles support it, right? Simeon has some things to present right now. Mr. Fantastic just brought up a study anything. that they just keep saying. But no, listen close. Simeon has something to present right now. Mr. Fantastic said it's been disproven that weed hasn't been addictive. So there are biases he's being presented in all these articles. But you know, they, 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 they don't have to show any proof. They just have to say it. Is that what there's is? several? What I'm saying is there's several. Sure. There's several. Sure. There's, sure. several sure. there's several. Sure. There's several um, super chats right now, like Freezy. It's talking about the authors and all that. There's a lot of information being presented. If we ain't receiving it, what's the point of the conversation? I guess my question to Bean's initial point when he was getting on my case is, are you here to mine this out or are you here to push weed? Now, when we say mine it out, I mean, I just asked, does that mean we're actually going to present information to like argue both sides or we not? And we're, or we're just not, we're just going to just take opinions. Mine it out means we're digging to uncover things that we may not have known before we walk into this conversation so if you can only agree or go with shit that you already knew you're not here to mine it out but if they only present studies that i've already studied and they then don't present anything else what am i what am i doing but, but that's why i asked you respectfully that's why i said if we go right if i go right now and get an article an article that says weed is addictive is your response gonna be, oh man, maybe it is addictive, or are you just gonna push harder that it's not? Shit is but, fucking but like no we, type so of is conversation. It, is it bro. just to agree with your side, or do we get to like? But that's my point. That's not even something to argue that's, about. That's the thing. Like, so remember, we're talking about, about, about it from a biblical me, perspective. Oh, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Let me say this, please. Yes, sir. Please, because I want amp. I just want you to know that I'm paying attention. Go ahead. You were having a conversation from a biblical perspective. I made the statement, just the statement that we can be addictive and that's how we here because this nigga been pressing since then and that's what i'm saying it's fucking disingenuous it's stupid and i'm not gonna pretend or act like it ain't when it is but being it like is initially trying to have the conversation was nothing a conversation that was not a hill to die on i brought up biblical scholars and i brought up biblical verses and no one wanted to deal with it and bring up they biblical. actually did deal I with it that's the point. Scholars. i brought up jeff no. brown and sula bennett this man and Simeon no responded to every God, single bro. thing that you no. said bro. Yeah, yeah, actually, what was said was if he yeah. doesn't know those scholars it's okay he still no. knows something that's, that's exactly what thing. we said let's that's run the tape back but I'm remember, I said, Who's remember? Bennett? he said i don't know and y'all said well that doesn't make it seem like he doesn't know anything then i brought up jeff down and he said well i don't know that person either so I brought up biblical scholars. Y'all didn't deal with that. I brought up verses. No. Y'all said okay. Then, but the, but the, cool. but you it's are cool. you are subjectively saying that nobody's dealing with it. See that one. What, so when people say y'all didn't want to deal with, it, it's disrespectful. Like as though somebody ran from it or something. That's what that. That's what that's that. That's how it's interpreted, King. If you completely but, but they, what we, I'm saying without trying to but give them his ghetto point of view. We literally was going through the verse, right? We broke it down the cinnamon, the spice, the frankincense. I said, Oh, and not or except I think beans and Mr. Fantastic both corrected me. 
No, it says and. I'm like, oh shit, okay. Yes, let's, let's break it down some more. And then Simeon jumped in talking about the Bible. He brought up wisdom of Solomon, etc. How was it not dealt with? And even though I don't even like you, I agree with you when I thought you made the point about the about it being used as an incense. Well, if they burning it, they're still inhaling it, or there would be no other reason to burn it, right? So people have been acknowledging everything that you've been saying. Yeah, sure, the Nobody conversation running. moved from there to the drug actually being a problem. That's when I brought up the scientific articles about that being disproven. And the only thing that was said with that, bro, honestly, is that it could be. <laughs> that was yeah. the, yo, people can't the be addicted. Person. No, they can't yeah. be addicked because that was the study done on okay. You're, you're the person that said they weren't addicted. Like, come on, you're the I person that said you can't be addicted. Yeah, that's what Simeon was covering. Yeah, here's the ill shit, right? Get on that. That's Remember right. when Simeon was covering it. I gave the 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 I don't know if it was pushback or the I mean, that's why I brought up the alcohol because like I'm like okay let's consider this logic you would have to put alcohol in the same frame but alcohol is acceptable and then that's when Aaron's like listen as long as you can control how much weed you smoke and I'm like well AA one is you got to admit you got a problem in the first place right and we've uh, really uh, been going deep in this shit. <laughs> Pause. Uh, I wasn't saying how much. Yeah, that are you no, over? No, I'm, 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 I'm just going fast. I apologize. I love you. <laughs> the haircut ain't shit. So that's yeah, that. I'm that sure. was that, <laughs> like we literally been going into this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Have, 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 can we bring out? Can we? Can we bring out the Bible, please? Yeah, please, <laughs> please. Let's do right, the Quran, this, bro. This, 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 <laughs> so this conversation is centered around the Bible. I mean, when I when I came into this video, it says to debunk the Israelites. So it says prove the Israelites wrong, and this is why we got to give all praises to the Most High in the name of His Son, right? To to Yahweh Shai, because he went to Exodus thirty. The, you went to Exodus thirtieth chapter, correct? Mm. Exodus thirty and twenty three. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, so can, so Ham, can you please? By God, can you bring up Exodus 30 and 30 and uh and start at 34? Because this is the law, and this is something that I'm I'm constantly in. So and, and I knew something was off. I, I knew I read it, but I had to get it. And I'm glad that the most I revealed it at this time. So can you read from you Exodus 30, 34? We can record oh, we seeing it. Oh, Exodus uh I hope that pulls it up. Exodus the 30th chapter. He he, he pulled out the 23rd oh, wow. verse. Yeah, he pulled it up, he pulled it up. So you pulled out the 23rd verse. I'm jumping down to where it's specifically talking about the incense in the tabernacle. And we know that Yahweh mm. requires, he requires sacrifice for a sweet smell that just burns all day because that's what he likes. So we're going to go to verse mm -hmm. 34 and down. You want me, you want me so, to read it? I'll, I'll, uh, please, Han, please. Yep. 34 to 38. Yep. And I know it's a lot, but it's just to get the I'll whole thing it. in it. Oh, whatever. All right. You want to read it? You can have it, actually have him exegesis if he could just right. exegete it for us. Yes, sir. Uh, so the book of Exodus, 30th chapter, 33rd verse, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, 30, you can, 30, uh, 30, you 34 can, on down. Yeah, 34 on down. 34 verse. And the and the Lord said to Moses, take on to these sweet spices. Um forgive state. me, I'm not Stacy? Stax stack tea? It's probably just state. State? How could it be state? Okay. State. <laughs> state. state. Yep. Yeah. Onisha and oh man and Galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense, each shall be, each shall there be like a each of each shall there be a like weight, and thou <laughs> shall make it a perfume, a confection after the art of I know uh, the art of the apothecary tempered together pure and whole, and thou shalt beat some of it very small, and I'm sorry, this is super small. I can't, I can barely read this. Can you make it a little bigger, brother, and put it. My eyes are blind, bro. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm, oh, man, I'm super blind. All right, so we'll be at 30. 36. All right. All right. 36. And thou shalt beat some of it very small and put and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation where I will meet with thee. It shall be unto you most holy. Now, hold on real quick. I just want to make sure that we have here, thou shalt beat it very small and put it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation so we know where this is taking place. Read on. Beat it. 37. I didn't really hear what you said, but okay. 37 you said? And as for the perfume which thou shalt make, ye shall not make to yourselves according to the consumption thereof. It shall be onto, the, onto thee holy for the Lord. Okay. 
Verse 38. Who shall ever shall make like onto that to smell there too shall even be cut off from his people. Right. So, I agree with so, that. I, okay. So so verse 38 says that if you take these spices and you beat it down and you put it into the, in the tabernacle. Right. If you make the holy anointing oil for anybody but the king, you you should be cut off. I wholeheartedly no, no, agree with that. No, 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 no. You ain't running from this. No, no. I'm going to hold you to the goalpost. So you said, it, it literally you said, broke down a recipe and it said whoever does this perfume other than these people should be cut off. It didn't say no, it says, is by no, itself. No, no, no. It said, it said. In the tavern, in, this is this is in the tabernacle. This is being made as an incense. If you if you right, go into another, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did, hold on, did hold it on, say hold this, in, did it say the calamus by itself, sir, or did it no, say no. this combination of things? If you make this perfume for anybody but this, no, no. I'm it reading says, the verses you asked me to read. Verse thirty-eight says, Whos, "Whosoever shall make like unto yeah. that to smell like there to meaning sir, even like no, 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 like no wait wait what? like onto this perfume." Wait, 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 listen. Here this we is an, go. Oh, this is an, they get running in track starring. No, this is an this is an incense prepared for the Lord in How the, is in the it con- prepared? It, wait, this is an incense prepared for the tabernacle for the and, for, for, uh, wait, for the tabernacle. Be, be deacon, this brother ain't ready. Let him, smell, let him talk. Let him talk. It says it says whosoever shall make like unto that to smell thereto. This is incense, right? Yeah. Is this incense? The, sir, the incense is one ingredient in the perfume. Do you acknowledge that? Yes or no? The incense. The, the incense is it? No, no. The, this the things with it were broken no, down to the create. Incense is not one of the ingredients for the no, perfume. The incense. Wow. We read that. We read the ingredients for the incense. Yes. Are you sir. not reading? What were the ingredients for the incense? Let's go back up. I read them to you. Did I not? Yeah, Take you read you, you read spices, sweet spices, stack, annika, galbanum, pure frankincense, which you made okay. you made an assumption. You said earlier that was burned, and they, they, they must be inhaling it as well. What I'm no, telling I you is that I didn't, I didn't know, wait, wait, sir, 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 sir. What, we talked about the sweet canna. It said and sweet wait, canna, sir. Wait, wait, cane. wait, wait. Yes, cane or wait. canna. I apologize. We we sweet cane, sweet the calamus. No problem. There you go. Right, right. But these things were created as a perfume or a smell to be burnt unto the Lord. Where if you if, if you this is this is this is design bro can can we get another show me the verse what you're saying what is making the assertion you're saying sir don't add or take away let's get it let's get it hold on hold on hold on Simi. hold on i'm confused when you saying that it's supposed to be made unto the lord are you saying that you're not supposed to partake in it no it's saying that this smell it says to if you make this thing to smell yourself to make it, if you burn this and you sit there and you smell Man, it yourself, you notice he went you're, out you're of the holy anointing people. oil and went into an incense section, right? That had nothing to do with the holy anointing oil. I was specifically bringing up the holy anointing oil having cannabis in. He jumped away from that. Yeah, and no, no, I didn't jump. I didn't. No, no, you. This is this so is false. that no, section no, is entitled to incense. No, that has nothing no. to do with the holy anointing oil. Please, no, let's no, just this, call the thing no. a thing. Go Dr. to the top Madden, of that paragraph and be honest that that's a whole separate conversation. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna the hold holy you. anointing oil conversation I'm holding, that verse no, 31. No, you no, you are not getting away. I'm holding you to the post which you created. You the pulled holy up the study. anointing oil verses no, and that verse no, sir, 31. Sir, you sir, went past sir, that to talk about something sir, else. Sir, you pulled up a BBC study that said that the marijuana was burned upon uh, upon in the congregation of the tabernacle. You pulled it up you and said, said you they found the Bible, but now you want to no. talk about my BBC study because you're not dealing with the Bible the way you want to, huh? No, 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 oh, no, man. no, because the oh, study man. the Oh man. man. Can have can you please mute this man for just one second, please? Mute yeah, because man, he, you gotta let him he talk. Asked, talk. Now you want me muted. No. You see that? Hold on, bro. I want to hear him. I'm gonna mute my mic because you can't deal, brother. It's cool. No, no, no. I hear both of y'all talk, man. Y'all keep keep cutting. Yeah, hold on. Okay, send me, send me. I got it in NLT. Let me read it in the NLT. Right. This is Exodus. Hey, can I just hold on yeah. real quick, real quick before you read it? I just want to make sure he that, reads that though, can we acknowledge be, that that is not yes, talking so, about the whole so real quick you? when you read it? When you read it, we're talking about a hold separate on, incident, hold on, hold on, hold on. That. Legit, it's not, it's not, it's not, nobody ain't making no proof, You're just windmilling. So let's let's do this. When you read it though, the context doesn't flip it, it doesn't change from verse from verse 23. 
well, it goes it goes right a into it. Paragraph, and it, the, the title it, of no, that it goes it goes right into it. So look, so, no, it doesn't. The, the title, yeah, it's, so right it's here, a paragraph. What what Bible right, you right here, right? It starts and then it just continues here. Ah, uh, verse thirty one cuts and then it goes into a chat a paragraph called the incense to start verse thirty four. I'm now, using Bible on. gateway. Have, what, have, what, you what, have to. Have. We've got to hold them to the goalpost. He, he's, he's trying to shift the goalpost. I'm not you, shifting we, the goalpost. We, I'm yes, on Bible yes, Gateway. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let me explain, let me explain how you are. The subject of the holy anointing oil was what I read to you. You went no, last. All right, no, ghetto. No, no, no. All right, ghetto. Oh, now, now you, on, now, on, now, on. now, now, now you gotta, let, now you gotta let, now you gotta let him finish. Now hold on. We're now you ab- now, 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 now you absolutely cannot interrupt him now. All right, I go ahead, make him. the point. Real quick, I, I want to hold him to the goalpost. I've already stated, we've already stated numerous times that the marijuana was to be used for for healing. It can be used as other things. It can be used as ointments. It can be used as food. It can be used for the healing of people. No one is disputing that. When he brought out the BBC study, which is why I brought this scripture out, the BBC study specifically was stating that anything that's, that what was found on the tabernacle that was burnt was res, residue of THC, which he is pushing out as these guys were probably hot, but he said verbatim that they were hot boxing in there and sitting in there and lighting it up. This is what you said. This is not and what the study says. Found with cannabis and dung yes. on the right. Yes, cannabis and dung was used. But but when we read in the law, anything that you burn unto the Lord, whether it be the, the, the smelling of bullocks, whether it be the smelling of perfume or frankincense being burned, you cannot sit there and smell it yourself. That is to be burned for the Lord. And sir, the Lord you are Lord. a person that used cannabis. Can you light cannabis and then not and not inhale it? Sir. The, the, the Sir, you use common sense. You're a person that has no, used cannabis. The law. You like the cannabis law. and not inhale it in a room around you. And come on. Whosoever, whosoever shall yeah, make like unto you'll, that. You'll be able to respond. Go ahead, finish your statement. To, whosoever shall make like unto that to smell, smell there too shall be cut off from his people. Meaning, the moment they burn, whatever they burn for incense unto the Lord, they're, they're out the room. They're completely gone. They're not, they're, they're not, not talking there. about the... Go ahead, my finish, man said, and then my I'll man bring said, back up. My man said that they sat there and they were hot boxing and, 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 and what, what the, the what he's trying to push out is that the Israelites were in the tabernacle getting high off the high high like a kite and just burning it and then walking out. We don't see that in scripture and, and, and in the law we know that the most high is very particular with how he wants his offerings. All this is talking about offerings, Ham. These are offerings made unto the Lord. This is not for the consumption of just the Israelites. They have no place in this offering. This for them to bring. For them to put it together and, and either give it and give it to the priest or the priest handle it and they do their thing and they walk right out. That's all I gotta say. I'm not I'll leave it at that. Gotcha. That's okay. not what it says though. Read it. That's verse 22 under the holy anointing oil. I'm on biblegateway.com slash passages. It says, Can you please scroll up so we can but why isn't yours broken down into the different passages? He's not looking at the same one. That's I see what you're saying. I see what he's saying, him. Huh? It is broken down like that specifically. The holy anointing oil is not what he is talking about. He's talking about yeah. a whole separate incense. Yes, it's two different things. Yes. So yes. More, here, and it here. says, moreover, the Lord? Lord spoke to Moses saying, also take for yourself, for yourself, quality spices. So how is this something that was for the most high if he's telling him to take this for himself? Okay, hold on. I'm getting right now. Yeah, Take for yourself right quality about, spices, 500 shekels of liquid myrrh, half as much as sweet smelling cinnamon, 250 shekels of sweet smelling cane. These are the things he was told to take for himself. No. And then he goes to something completely different and tries to confuse the audience, saying it's the same thing. I mean, what's mean? That's insane but, but, that he even but, allowed but, people to do that and call it scholarship. Hold on, Hold on. Keep, reading. keep reading it down. Keep reading down. Keep yeah. reading down. And you shall oil. take from these a holy anointing oil and right, ointment right, compounded according to the art of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. With it, you shall right. anoint the tabernacle of meeting and the ark of testimony, the table right. and all its utensils, the lampstead and its utensils, and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offerings and all its utensils, and the laver and its base. You shall consecrate them, and they may... And that they may be most holy, whatever touches them must be holy. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them. How did they get consecrated, sir? That they may minister to me as priests. If whoever had to touch these things was holy, and Aaron and the, his sons had to be consecrated so that they could 
be in the temple, then they had to be touched with this oil as well, sir. Yeah, touch with this oil. This All is right, the I'm making. Go. Touch with this oil. <laughs> Keep reading it. Keep reading it. Sir, if you He's touch going. somebody with cannabis oil, it's going to Wait. osmosis into their skin. They're going to receive an experience. You saying you work with this these chemicals. You don't know this, sir? For the that for the fifteen thousand right. time, no one has said that you cannot use an oil. Right. No one but, has said sir, that you cannot please consume. Please acknowledge it. that you are not talking about the same thing. Right. You were talking about a thing called the incense. This up here was talking this about man, holy anointing oil. It's not the you, same, brother. You it don't said, have the same you, ingredients you, you, in the you, recipe. You, you, bro, you're it's sitting two here. Two totally different recipes in no verse twenty two and verse thirty four. Can I explain? Can I explain and the he's, position? And he's given two totally different sets of instructions. But, what to do? But, what you, but 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 hold on. So if the burning happens, and you're saying that it's a totally different paragraph, it literally refutes your argument because you're saying the oil has it's the cannabis. But, it, but you're but, saying no, 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 no. no. Let me just let me just. Because you said it was totally wow, different. It. it starts burning shit that doesn't include the cannabis that you champion. It says right. that it was made into an oil, oil. that was rubbed oil. upon the skin. And Wait, then you are about to say, burn. you are about to say, you get an experience from it. But you said, they said, make it an oil and they, and they, and they what? Consecrate themselves. That would be the rubbing of it, something like that. And then you said the context changes when it started talking about burning shit. And, you right, and, I up, and I brought up burning, and I brought up burning. You said there were hot box. At the top of the chapter, it said Aaron shall burn sweet incense every morning. What sweet incense is he burning every morning? Hint, you keep y'all are not dealing with the fact that this this Exodus thirty is talking about a bunch of different stuff. Y'all keep trying to mix it up. Offering none of it. You can burn it. Hold on. Wait, 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 one second, because I want to show you something from a person on the outside. Right, you were right. Right, that there were two different things between the oil and the incense, but the problem is, is that none of this, seemingly based on the research I'm doing while I'm listening and reading, is is including weed. Right. So, so, so one second. Because Whenever none of those things are marijuana. Yo, let E talk. Is what I'm specifically yeah, saying. None of those things, either in the anointing oil section or the incense section, section is marijuana. That's not true, though. Okay, so which one is? Because we tried to make the I argument know. about the calamus stuff, but I'm it looking is. directly at this. It says there is no connection between right. calamus and marijuana. Jeff Brown in his book, Cannabis in the Bible, and mm -hmm. I quote, scriptures make it abundantly clear that the cloud and the smoke are relating to the burning of incense. Exodus mm -hmm. 40, 26 describes Moses burning an incense, a cloud covering the tent and the glory of the Lord filling the tabernacle. <laughs> Leviticus 16, 2 through 13 describes how God appeared in a cloud and it refers to it as a cloud of incense. It was in the clouds of smoke that the Most High was revealed to the ancient Israelites. Jeff mm -hmm. Brown, cannabis in the Bible. Well, you keep yeah. saying that, but you're not <laughs> showing <laughs> cannabis. He just, he just, he just, he gave you two verses. He keep going back to the research. Uh, like you uh, keep reading uh, what this is what this is. This is let me tell you something. This is my problem. This is, with, important, Jeff Brown. This is my problem. Hold on, his ghetto. Listen, this is wow. my problem with one of my problems with religious people is y'all interpret shit the way you want it to be interpreted. What show me literally where it says nigga weed is all right. If you Wait, can't show me that, then don't right? expect for me to just accept your interpretation. First of all, do you even know where the word weed came from? That that was. Bro, I'm looking at every, every single thing that you say. So don't worry right. about what I know. I, I got you said question. calamus. I just looked it up. It says here. No, no where did you look it up? I have no calamus. idea where you looked it up, sir. I don't know what sources you use. Who cares? It does matter because if you were handing in a book report to your school, you can't just say, oh, I Wikipedia stuff. They'd be like, no, we want to see a bibliography Absolutely. with proper I'm not gonna, that you can I'm not gonna, What do you mean? What I'm saying is this. I don't want to. Uh, uh, I don't want to. What they call that shit source bang i don't want to source bang with you right if you're gonna say that one source says it and another source says it doesn't then we can just leave it at that you understand that ends the conversation because you're going off an interpretation I'm and i'm not going to accept your interpretation i got to see what i'm saying this is crazy i don't want your interpretation i want you to show, like the bible i know it's a i know it's a scripture in the bible that says don't eat pork right it says it specifically don't do it <laughs> And there's no interpretation needed right but then hemp was the one who showed me it's another scripture that says if any man is saying he can't eat this or can't eat that some shit some wrong with the nigga, some goofy ass shit is said that but my point is that it says it specifically mm -hmm. 
So don't, if you want us to accept your interpretation, you have to understand that we won't. So, but these are not my interpretations. These are not my studies. It's cool though, man. It's cool. Half, I think, it, I think it's important to word. know. It's, a, it's important to note, like I said- Make from me the a brownie. I would, I I would I gladly from... make you a whole batch, brother. Pull up. It's 420 <laughs> weekend. You invited to my house all right. week. All right, let's do this, man. Right. Let E say something, man. E, you want to say something still? You said fuck it. Man, geez. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll just read it in the NLT. Okay, it says it talks it about an oil. It talks about an oil with the calamus oh, that nice, he's talking baby. about. <laughs> that beans. That beans clarified that that calamus is not talking about cannabis, even though it sounds similar. But when you get to verse thirty-seven, and it does talking about burning anything this is verse 37 is in the nlt never use this formula to make incense for yourselves it is reserved for the lord this is verse 38 and it says one second uh anyone who makes incense like this for personal use will be cut off from his people so that so what do you think about that brother we just we just went over that verse you wasn't listening no this is in a different version so you can understand it better don't use any of the things you burn for personal use is which is your is you're purporting using this for personal use right no i didn't say they use it for per i said they were using it and together at the temple like i never once said they were in their houses i said they were hot boxing it at the temple that, yeah, that's, that's like in, in conjunction as to, together that's still no, they never said they were personally at their house and smoking no the that's point that's the point use. you don't have to be that's personal use. personally using it half the point that he made which was is a moot point he's talking about the oil which none of us disagreed with that they that you could be using it, you could use marijuana even if it's not marijuana let's say let's 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 grant his argument let's say that they did use marijuana for an ointment it's he's still brought up though, wait he still brought up you still brought up the fact that they were hot boxing and they found thc on the tabernacle that's the reason i didn't bring that up that's a bbc article talking and, about a study that and, was done and, at the and, university and, and, of and the bbc is and, and and the bbc isn't that credible either so the I don't smithsonian know, I don't know magazine like also i also shared an article from the smithsonian you're going to discredit them that's as well, not the I'm point sure. that's not that point is moot that point is moot as well because you're 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 you're, you're uh, yeah. pushing it out that there, that there's burning going on at the temple and they're hot boxing and they're inhaling it right in, when we when we see anybody burning Sir, anything when in you, the scriptures, when you light a when a smoking object lights in a closed room around you, how do you not breathe it in? Just please explain that to me. That wasn't gonna lie. This is he a, already argued that they. This is a, this is an extreme cut. So the GNT, I the GNT and the KJV, um, but this is so whoever makes any like it talking about anointment. Or using any of it on anyone who is not a priest will no longer be considered my people. I agree. I said that's that. about I said oil. It was for the, it was for the Aaron. That's and, a, Aaron I know. And, that's I, said, it, but, I literally just said Aaron. And no, you're right. You're right. Right. But then it's literally so specific for who is for. So when we're it's acting just, like, oh my bad, I wasn't showing the screen. It's 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 all so specific. The incense, right? and mm -hmm. the oil it's for these specific people for these specific reasons and obviously the most high this is not widely being used it's not something they were indulging in these things had specific purposes <clears throat> so so are you, are, are you a priest are you a levite am i a levite i don't know did you yeah. do my genealogy i don't know I'm, i don't know anything about you i'm just asking you if you exactly. know if you're a levite but you'll tell me i'm not no, I wouldn't tell you anything. I would say if if you know you're a Levite, then I guess then maybe you should be taking it in the practice. If you're not a Levite, then you should just throw all that marijuana and research that you've done and just toss it out <coughs> the window. Because you, if you really believe in God, you'd be taking a 50-50 chance on that. I mean, and that that's your that's on you. That doesn't make any sense at all. It makes perfect because sense the, because the deeper part of this conversation, which I haven't even got to get to, is in the new quote unquote new covenant. They say that you know these Christ then opened up the use of this to everybody which is one of the things that the pharisees hated what he opened up the use what? of cannabisum to everybody 
What the hell are you talking about? Okay, hold on. That, that, um, okay, no problem. We got a Google search yeah, scripture. We've been doing it all night long. We gonna read yeah, everything you say. Please don't tell me he's bringing up. Bringing out of Happy. It. Happy if he brings out Revelation 22, I'm out of here, bro. Hold on. What? <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. He's not going to do that. He not. No, no, no. I know he's not going there. Was he reading from? Huh? That was, Aaron? that was Exodus, right? Just now, yeah. Exodus 30, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I seen him put up a list. It was a list of different stuff, right? And it, if I'm not mistaken, that was all to make the incense, right? Mm -hmm. One of the lists, yes, sir. Am I supposed to go in the kitchen right now, go grab some cinnamon and some other stuff and put that in my weed, like, and smoke it? Because <laughs> that's where that. I got confused, because it, it sounds like you're saying they were smoking cannabis, but then when we look at the list, they was putting other stuff inside of that. So were they smoking? Oh, so specifically instructions for how they were to bless the temple and to bless those who would pre-prophesy out of the temple or who so would they, to the Lord. That but where they smoking cinnamon them. and look, I got olive oil up here. I got smelling cane. I got cassia. I got all of this stuff. And who is that for? Sir? All of that. And just told me that was for a very specific group of people. It's it's very interesting. It's like y'all can regurgitate each other's arguments for different I, I, perspectives. Wait, well, hold on, brother. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, Aaron. Aaron, hold on, please. Don't let's look. We want the scripture. Where Jesus said, "My nigga, passed the blunt." Go ahead. Stop it, man. Come on. Now. <laughs> Who even? The, first of all, it's written in Shakespearean, sir. What my nigga passed the blunt scriptures is it going to be here? Hey, okay, you know I'm being facetious, bro. Come I on. don't know. I don't know you like that. Yeah, but but so give me the script. You said cannabis. You know, you know, uh, but you know what, you, bro? Yo, Yo but you script. know what though? Aaron's point is a great point, though. I, like, That's like just if you think about it, though, it is a great point. Like this yeah. cinnamon, olive oil, and all that in the in in the in the ointment. I will never yeah, smoke all that. I'm gonna be honest. I would never smoke no shit. Like hey yo, ghetto. But who so said they you, smoked it? It was to yo, use to bless things. Ghetto, you right, smoke right. a lot. Wait, hold up, ghetto. You smoke a lot as it is. So on 420 weekend, you smoke even more. What are you talking about? How do you know how much? You're you excited doing, for 420. I am excited for 420 <laughs> because it's the. It's the <laughs> It's it's number one. It's the day we celebrate. Can I don't know why we we supposed to celebrate it in May, but it is the day we celebrate cannabis. Yeah, and then two, it's also the Bitcoin having. And it's funny to me that they would put the Bitcoin having the day everybody going to be high. But I'll leave that alone because I think our government be trying to do dirty stuff. But it's cool. Mm. This nigga E is Hemp's brother, like so, for real, for real. That sound bro. like conspiracy theories. They got the same like, father, mother, oh, grandfather, God. grandmama, the same <laughs> pastor. The they they had the same teachers growing up. Oh, he just a lighter skinned version. That's it. As soon as he got to the camera, I said, "This nigga hemp on two channels, <laughs> <laughs> two places." Right at the same time, knew it, bro. I'm, I'm, better, I'm finna be a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, ghetto, ghetto. <laughs> what up? Yeah. Ghetto, one more question, right? Can we find things on marijuana? Question, brother, I'm not, I'm not like these guys. Huh? <laughs> ghetto, ghetto been throwing mad shots at everybody. Hey, ghetto, we yeah, can yeah, find yeah, articles. Yeah, you we know, can find man. articles showing that marijuana is uh has detrimental effects online right we could find articles that are show negative effects from uh habitual smoking correct i would we can but then you're not trying to have right. a real conversation it is correct right, yes brother. sir go ahead go ahead and actually load a loaded question please yes you're correct all right then all right. i mean you're purporting this marijuana use but we know there's negative negative but there's not that's not true sir that that's when we got it we're no longer talking about the bible now we're talking about the agenda and propaganda we're talking about harry anslinger we're talking about the dea we're talking about the invention of the paper industry and how they literally destroyed cannabis to bring up the paper industry and bring up the textile industry we got to talk about harry anslinger and how he attacked the mexicans and the jazz singers and talk and we got to talk about reefer madness we got it we got to really bring in all that propaganda and absolutely these churches, these churches including the hebrew israelites are running with propaganda that the government created decades ago right so so so, so, so wait, wait wait so this is important right watch this e watch this e so this is important because if you want us to include all that then guess what else we have to include the marijuana ain't the same no more now they pushing it 
Now they telling you to smoke it. Now they telling you to do it recreationally. I mean, it's or do you think it's telling you to buy certain cannabis? Like that's not different. Like where you think cannabis come from? You think your people's go on a boat to go to Jamaica and bring a bunch of cannabis? Your people go to England to bring a bunch what's of cannabis? You know how cannabis. Let's see how they bring it in cannabis before they told us it was legal for hundreds of decades. Like this is not new. Y'all seen. Yeah, right. seen the, the the television show with Frank. Like, you know, like, right. is it yeah. the same? Yes or no? This is not a new thing. So is it the same? Yes or no? Of course, it has changed over the years. Some people argue it was way stronger back then, and it's gotten much weaker now. Absolutely. So, <laughs> absolutely. I this know. is what I keep trying to tell these goofies. You think because you could smoke a three five and one blunt that is because you're just strong? No, nah, it's the way we used to be. Used to be. That's butt. why you weed smoke weed a three five and one blunt. It wasn't meant to do what it was supposed to do. It's meant for you to just keep purchasing it. That's what it's well meant said. to do. Well said. Well said. Well said. <laughs> no, the weed now they selling is more like crack. They took CBD out. They took CBG out. They took CBN out. They literally tell you it's like 0.001 percent CBD. All the healing stuff that was in cannabis, they removed it, which was in cannabis and way higher content, and they intentionally have grafted it out. So you only are smoking the stuff that gives get you psychosis because you're nobody smoking CBD, nobody smoking CBA, nobody's doing all that stuff that they should be doing right. when they when they use these things to use them more responsibly as as the most high intended them to be used. Well, that's Which because is CBD right. is more effective in oils like no, it's like not. rubbing and stuff like that. Who said that? That's so what? What are you talking about? It helps for seizures and all that type of stuff. Isn't right. It? So when they give, hold on, hold on. So you telling me that little girls, when they give them a whole tube of dark tar CBD concentrate, and it's thousands of milligrams, way more than a, anybody over here smoking, because they have seizures and they trying to stop the girl from shaking so much that she's gonna destroy her brain. Like, what? What do you? Is that harming her in some way? What? What? What negative effects is that having on that child? Yeah, I have epilepsy, so that's something that we could talk about because I smoke CBD and THC. So, as you should, brother. You're supposed to do that for the for the for the gang for the entourage effect. Absolutely. But, but I don't believe that that CBD is doing like the healing factors. I don't believe that at all, to be honest. Like, that's your, I mean, that's I'm your interested. I'm experience, interested. Brother. You entitled I'm, to it. It's, I'm it's interested to so many little kids, man. I think this I think this conversation could go a little deeper, right? With his ghetto. I would like to know, just on the topic of, of, of the scriptures of the Bible, do you believe from your point of view or from your worldview, because we can have the conversation, do you believe smoking marijuana? Like I said, I'm I'm okay with it being in uh eaten or used as an oil or whatever you can, or using the uh, the the healing properties through like C B D and excluding the THC. Um would you uh well, would you say that THC, then you don't get entourage effects well that well that's what i'm trying to say I, 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 away from those psychoactive effects right but why um, would you exclude thc then you don't get entourage effects i'm saying i'm saying i personally i wouldn't prescribe it to, okay. to society but I, what i'm asking you is that do you believe the smoking of marijuana along with its all all of its effects for a society would you prescribe it to an, a, an entire society like my society versus your society would you say your society would, would be more prone to leaning towards God rather than a completely sober one. Would a high society, is that what you're saying? Yeah, like a, like, like a, a society where it is completely legal, everybody smoking. I mean, it's a regular thing, a society that it's, it's like this smoking weed is like, is like brushing your teeth. Mm. Well, would you put with that society, would you put that society to, su to successfully uh, uh, reach uh, enlightenment, if you will, with the creator or with God, according to the Bible, would you prescribe it to your society over my society who would be completely sober and can go towards that goal? Thousand percent. So Thousand as percent. so as a prescriptor, so when we see when we see are, are there any identifying markers that we can that we can uh do we see does everybody get affected by marijuana the same? No, sir. Okay. So there's some people that have panic attacks, some people that freak out, some people that get lazier. We, can you see the effects of someone who never smoked, who then started smoking? You know, the baggy eyes, doesn't want to go to work as much sometimes. Maybe, maybe I don't know drops what out of smoking, school. So I can't really say, make that well, assertion. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't. They might be smoking bad stuff. Well, the, whatever they're smoking, the point is, generally speaking, can you look at, can you look at a wise? Like, no, nah, but that's <laughs> important though, because I mean, y'all brought up synthetic cannabis and synthetic cannabis or no, K two. I'm not. I ain't talking about. K, no, I'm not talking about. I'm not, I'm talking about. I'm talking <laughs> about purely <laughs> marijuana. 
I'm saying a man, uh, uh, this entire si- this society. To be, so we could be have a fair conversation. Synthetic cannabis is K2 and spice. That's the yeah, stuff, yeah, I'm not talking about, the stuff we're they're not making talk- in the lab. That's not THC, guys. No, we're not talking about, yeah, we're not talking right. about K2. Nah, people we're did not- bring up synthetic cannabis like it was right. the same, and I'm just trying to create clarity. All right, All right no. so we're not. We're talking about marijuana the way you know it, the way you know it to be. We got my society, which is completely sober, and your society, which smokes marijuana. Which society would you gear towards uh, t- towards successfully reaching towards enlightenment with the most high? 100% Which my you... society. 100%. Your, so- your society 100%. went over. Okay, 100%. so 100%. so a sober so a sober a sober mind a sober a sober person with all their functionalities with without the delay in time we can see just some smoking marijuana delay people become time. shittier driver yeah shittier drivers at time reactionary times all these kind of things that you, you can just see said it doesn't affect one. everybody to start your conversation and now you want to but no. when it fits your conversation say it affects no, no, everybody's no, no, driving no. time and no. response and reaction i didn't I, this is that is literally no. what you just did i'm not no i'm not general i'm not ge- i'm, I'm you making are it generalizing. Uh, no i'm not i'm not saying everybody gets that's affected what you just and reaction time. no i'm saying that we have seen the effects of marijuana on people who drive and we see we have seen their delayed reaction we've seen people uh, uh who, who become lazier we've seen people who uh who are not as productive as they once you used to. We see people lose weight. We see people gain weight. All these kind of factors that that tie into smoking that marijuana. To people eat McDonald's. Like I mean, there's different factors. Would you prescribe McDonald's for? The, would you prescribe McDonald's? McDonald's has never been proven to have healing properties. Cannabis has, and it was actually prescribed by all of our doctors up until the 40s and 50s before Harry Anslinger and the DEA and all of these people wanted to control the textile and paper industry. That was a normal thing that everybody prescribed right in their doctor's office. Is that so true believe- or false? Simeon, as a person who used to be in the industry, is that true or false? Yeah, yeah. We can go into reefer madness and we can go into we could go into the propaganda as well. We know I can I, I can I can I can go on your side of the argument as well, but I find it ludicrous to think to 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 believe that you can look at entire society smoking marijuana and look at one that's completely sober, and you're telling me that through psychoactive properties and reach and reaching reaching what you call what uh entourage? What you, what you, I mean, what you call it's it? Entourage effect, yes, sir. The, uh, the reaching the entourage effect. You're saying that's getting closer to the most high. Mean, than reaching the entourage. It just happens when you when you use CBD and THC together. It's, Re- it's not. It's okay, nothing re- fancy. You can just re- get it off re- of one puff. Okay, reaching that euphoric stage, right? Oh, would you say that you euphoria off of a couple okay. puffs? Everybody would you has say that getting high? Man. Would you say okay? You know what? You're, 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 you're playing. You're playing semantics. Okay. You're the one playing high. semantics. You started no. your conversation saying everyone if is not high, the same, and then because I'm gonna speak to you. Say, no. oh, we see people. No, no, I'm gonna speak. To, I'm gonna speak to you like we're gonna. I'm gonna speak to you directly like if we're in the streets, getting high like the way we're about, we about to go burn. When we go and get high, are you saying that that's closer to the most high or somebody who's sober who wakes up? Literally, is the word high is literally in it. <laughs> and, and this is why you can't have conversations with these niggas. These niggas is ludicrous, bro. This shit is crazy. Ludicrous. Hey yo, hey yo, Simeon. Are you familiar with the Ethiopian? Ghetto, 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 ghetto. Hold up. Let's look, use a real live example, right? And I'm, I'm gonna use a real live example. Are you familiar no, with no, the no, Ethiopian no, no. Catholic me... Church and what in the the lawsuit that happened and what the Supreme Court ruled in their favor? Listen, bro. I don't been. I don't been. And I don't know how many. It's a yes or no question. No, I don't know. I don't need All to. Right, know. So I've you. Been so in, so in, you do understand that a federal Supreme Court I, ruled that cannabis is a is the sacred sacrament of the Hebrews since time immemorial. This is a federal court case from the Florida Supreme Court against the Ethiopian Coptic Church. I'm asking you. Right. Would you? Well, I'm asking you. Really doing no studying. Y'all just go with propaganda, man. No, I'm asking you. When you've been in a cipher with five to ten people, just take it out and take it out the box. You're saying that when dudes are hanging out on the corner, we smoking weed and we got we rolling up. I don't, and we got I don't, a, I don't smoke with ten people who can't afford their own joint. That's disgusting. No, you bring your own That's joint, nasty. whatever. No, bring your own, bring your whatever, bro. You know what I'm trying to say. No, when I you're don't, in a cipher. Actually. Okay, so you've never you've never smoked in a group setting. I've I've done ciphers, yes. You've you've never you uh, so you've had ciphers. So you you see what I'm saying? But you've everybody had brings their own. I don't are you know saying are you are you saying are you saying those men? That we that we see day in and day out smoking weed on the corner for years on end, 10, Ooh, 15, 20 weed years. on the corner for I'm years giving on you, end, bro. I'm giving you and I'm giving you an example. You give me deal a with the analogy that doesn't no, exist. Give, so so dudes smoking weed huddled up somewhere in the corner, it doesn't exist. All day, you said. Who does this yeah. all day on every corner? People do this. Everywhere. What are you talking about? I don't know. Where were you raised? Oh, it's definitely been done before. You're talking about now yeah. people are doing this? All across America, man. Bro, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out where That's you were raised. Bro, you guys don't even travel across America. Let's stop, man. This, this listen, conversation don't make no sense. Listen, listen, listen. listen. How you going to say nobody don't travel? <laughs> so you saying you've been all across America today, and you know on every street corner, people is hanging out smoking cannabis. 
That's not what he's that's trying not, to say. That's though. not what I'm saying, that's bro. Not what this is saying. what I'm trying to say. You're making a straw man. You're trying to build up a straw man. I'm telling you that you're telling me that a group or a cipher of six dudes smoking weed, huddled on the corner for two, three hours, let's say, hanging out, playing music on their phones, is more productive than let's say four or five guys get trying to get things done and 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 focus on their efforts. You're saying that you would prescribe this to an entire society. Is it the Sabbath? Yo, that's right. wow. So they can't get together on the Sabbath and, 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 and smoke and, and talk about the Bible? On the wow, Sabbath? Wow. Why, they, why, why can't they do that? Why can't they do that? Make a fire? You can't make a fire on the Sabbath? Can't, you shouldn't be kindling a fire. Yeah. You can't do that. No, yeah, not you don't, Sabbath, you no. yeah, you don't kindle a fire on the Sabbath. Yeah. So that's, you don't cook that's another move point. Yeah. It's a move now, point, too. Yo, when I finish this bag of weed, yeah, I'm going to have to <laughs> talk to God. Well, y'all, yeah, no, I ain't going to lie. This conversation. Come on. Listen, we, we could talk about we, we could talk about prescriptors for society and what is. What is and what ought to be. What is is that people smoke weed. We know that people use Listen, it and they use it you decide to quit and pass me all your bud, brother. Quit now, brother. Send it all my way. <laughs> quit now. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him. Listen, I, I, listen. He's entitled to his own opinion. He says that he will prescribe an entire society to do so to reach the most high. Because high is in the prescribe name it to an entire society, but I'm not. Just explain that to me. No, no, I no. didn't. I didn't. I didn't. That's not my argument. My argument is, I said, I said, I have my own society. What does the Bible say about doctors? What does the Bible say about God? God giving us doctors? Yeah. But, that's, so, that's not so what I'm asking. The doctors who the most Engage, high schoolers were allowed to prescribe cannabis up until the DEA said it was bad. That's not what I asked you. No, no but I'm you asking you now. So the doctors who the most high gave us were allowed to prescribe cannabis up until the DEA said it was a bad thing. So right. had the doctors been allowed to continue to freely prescribe, it would just be a regular thing that everyone could go to the doctor and get. And that would have been this entire time. True or false? Right. True. All well, right. So what are we talking? Now hold on, hold on. No, no, no. What we're talking about is the hypothetical that you already engaged in. You said, yeah, the hypothetical which I posed to you: my society versus your society. What you would prescribe? And I told you our society would be better. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you that my society will blow yours out of the water. And I mean, my society. No, it's not a perspective. It's I can sir, I can ver It's not Bill, a perspective. Sir, how many geniuses smoke cannabis? Bill Gates, Elon Musk, all these people that use all the devices that you're on are, right now. Are you, are you, are you, are are you saying so, that are you so now you're attributing marijuana to YouTube while those people built the things you sit here and operate? <laughs> okay, so not so now you're equating their marijuana uses matter. to their huh? IQ. So huh? now you're saying they're mar yeah. you're saying they're you're saying they gained IQ points no, due to their marijuana. Didn't say that, and you didn't hear me say that. What I, you said they were unproductive. You said those people are unproductive. So I brought up top level scientists. Yeah, you brought no, up he, you know, he said society. the effects. No, he said everybody has different effects. That's what he said. Yeah, and you bringing up exceptions doesn't make the rule. I said prescribe it to an entire society. Effects and then went on to say, well, everybody didn't get behind their car and they have slow reactions. Okay, okay. According to 8 billion, uh, we got 8 billion. He's picking and, he's picking have, and choosing when no, it's a have, true have, statement no, and I, when it's specified. Well, no, you're picking and choosing. Can I ask them real quick? Let me ask. Now there was one article I I, uh, I heard Madness. something. It said that the Hebrews been doing something for a bunch of years, and then it mentioned the Ethiopians. Did you get? There was an article. No, I ain't seen an article about no Ethiopians. It said, Which remember, it said they've been. It said that the Hebrews been indulging in something for a bunch of years. Which article was that, sir? Maybe I could pull it. The up one you just just the BBC just one? BBC? The BBC Not, one? No, no, it, you just said it. Like, just, yeah, what did it say? Oh, the Smithsonian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just read it, like just last, last. Uh, oh, let me, let me yeah, somebody about yeah. they being indulging in something. The Hebrew. It says the Hebrew. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on, bro. I'll read it verbatim right. to you, good sir, just so I can make sure I'm, I realize what you referenced. Uh, Smithsonian Mag. Archaeologists identify traces of burnt cannabis in ancient Jewish shrine. New research suggests the mind-altering substance may have been widely used in ritual practices of the Kingdom of Judah, um, roughly 35 miles south of Jerusalem, in an archaeological site in the Negev Desert known as Tel Arad. Archaeologists excavating an ancient Jewish shrine have found traces of burnt cannabis and frankincense on a pair of limestone no, altars. I'm sorry. What, no, where, not where? that way. It, it was just said. It said something about the Hebrews indulged in it for sometime it was the last thing you read <clears throat> um 
I wasn't looking. Oh, oh hold on. Uh, this thing about the, where it ends with the Silk Road, maybe, besides the potential incorporation of altered states of consciousness to worship the findings also have implications for the understanding the role of trades, of trade routes at that time. Airy mm -hmm. tells Science News that the cannabis was likely grown somewhere in southeastern Russia or China, and Robert Spengler, an archaeologist at the Max Planck Institute, who was not involved in the study, suggests information about cannabis use spread west from along from Asia along the Silk Road. I don't I don't know. Okay, no, it was okay. It was Sean. I just thought it said um something about Hebrews and then it mentioned Ethiopians, which would be obviously incorrect. Um, it says the shrine is also con contemporaneous, which means around the same time as the first Jewish temple in Jerusalem, suggesting similar ritual practices may have taken mm -hmm. place in the biblical house of worship. Per Ian Ben Zion for the Associated Press, the shrine at Tel Arad also bears a close physical resemblance to the first temple. No, it was something. Uh, maybe I, I, I was, I was, I was just walking back in the room. So Damn, Simeon I was. Gave, Simeon hmm. gave the example about the two societies, right? So ghetto and uh, a society yes, that leans on marijuana use would be Jamaica, right? But they had. I don't 15, know if Jamaica leans on marijuana use or some expert. But, 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 uh, listen, listen. So they have fifteen hundred murders. So what, what do you say to that? Are they not smoking correctly? They're getting too high. Actually, there's most people, <laughs> most people that practice Rastafarianism will tell you it's insulting to think that all of them smoke cannabis. A lot of people, like the modern day Rastafarians, like, yo, no, 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 we don't smoke weed, we don't smoke weed, we don't smoke weed. So it's actually, it's, that's actually like a, a misconception. When is anything all? What? When is anything just said all? Anything I'm just going, by, he just said the, the island of Jamaica. He said, so everybody in Jamaica must be smoking. That's I did not say everybody in Jamaica. That's what he said. Yo, ham. Yo, you got any? I know, I know you tired, but I'm tired. <laughs> you got, I mean, you got, you got it's cool. Just you know, I get it. I love y'all, bro. I forgot we were talking about Hebrew you know, ritual lights and building. With the well, I think the conversation built itself out. I do wish that we conducted this piece of the conversation a little better. So I'll take the onus on that. I've been kind of chilling i've been having fun like y'all been arguing but it hasn't been it hasn't been like you know what i mean like it has y'all haven't gone overboard y'all just been kind of like, talking yeah, over like yeah, 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 nobody yeah, saying yeah, nothing crazy y'all yeah. just, yeah. just, just talking yeah. yeah. so i'm well. saying that's why when beans is like hey you need to, i'm like Nigga, i'm chilling <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying so how do y'all feel about the camp? It's too late for beans. Wow, you know beans. You know beans. Forty-eight years old, man. So how do y'all feel about beans? The, take your medicine. The camps and um certain well, Hebrews really know Christian smoke. smoke. I have multiple wives. Um, all right, let's do this quick. Um, we had the Christian, but they came up when Deacon was up. Um, uh, so what? Multiple wives. What do we think about multiple wives? Let's do this quick. Is that what you're saying, Aaron? That was your question? Um, I think it's... I think it's no. Well, it's well in terms of multiple rides, real quick, see, I feel like that's something that we don't want to really speed through, but I guess we can answer it quickly, and then it'll jog the, the question for the next one. Lauren also asked the question about what the what about the women that aren't supposed to be wives or don't have a man, etc. I think multiple wives could fix that problem. Um, mm -hmm. And then um, I think that per the bible it's it's um it's it's lawful but it's not for every man and it's not just for sex so as long as you're willing to maintain one more, more than one woman fully to where her duty and raiment does not diminish because you got a second wife then you eligible you gotta right? love them equally right like yeah well no 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 not love see love love ain't even <laughs> they gotta be treated yeah, equally treated, so, yeah. like if she got a car, she can't have she a bike. Have a yeah, 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 so yeah, that's yeah, all it is. But it's not for it's not for all men, though. You got to be equipped. You got to have the resources. You have to have the provision and be able to protect all of which belongs to you. You know, um, and and you have a responsibility to both of them or, or all three. So you got to be ready for it. So I don't recommend it for everybody. It is for the right men, you know, point blank. Why? Why do you think there's such a uh, conflict when that issue comes up between some of the camps? Me personally? No, I was, I was actually asking him, but anybody, please in the in the in the, in the, the chat, chime in. 
Yeah, uh, I haven't I haven't seen the conflict too much. His ghetto, maybe I maybe I haven't. I know IUIC hate that. What do yeah, you say? That. IUIC hates that, and I they always tell the sisters leave brothers who talk about that. And and mm, you know they err on the side of um caution. You know I think that's primarily what it is because I, I the br- people generally are abusive. Mm. People are generally gluttonous, especially in our country, right? niggas don't have to control their penises and so two or three or four wives give people an excuse to abuse the the law i think that that may be an ideology there you know so i but I, again for you hear me ghetto you gotta be the right man for that job period 100 percent. you know so rest of you on the panel what's what's y'all what's y'all <clears throat> What was your question? I agree. You got to be equipped. You definitely got to have the resources and the, the mindset, the mental capacity, and the ability to protect and provide. Because you have to, you have to create a system. I don't think it's just that. I don't think it's just the wives' conversation. I think it's more because, like I said, being here in New York, and if you go down to Harlem, you see it, it could be multiple camps on a different day, but um. I, I really believe the problem why I haven't like joined any group or camp or church or for any reason is because I feel like everybody is trying to fight on who's going to be God's first pick. Say mm. hey, my group is is the ones that's leading the charge. Like when I listen to IUIC, they're the only um, group close near me, like in my city. Um, what city you in, good brother? They really try to like take over like it's kind of like if you dare mess with them like you going to hell like it shouldn't it shouldn't be like that i feel like that's not how you going to world build let's not let's not name drop the, the groups too much yeah, um, sorry sorry my fault nice yeah, old, i just think the different camps and the like even like the churches i found different churches online or even the brothers that do their own work by themselves i feel like it's all this I'm punching my ticket and if you ain't next to me then you lost like and I, I kind of get where they getting because like we do need to follow certain groups and stuff but to me it's kind of like gang banging when I see one corner wearing blue and purple and this group wearing this and then y'all yelling and going back and forth y'all just not throwing hands and shooting like the physical. game now nah, they got in the physical altercations in Harlem a couple times I've, I've seen videos and stuff yeah. of, of like that but to me it's just it's not going to help and I think that's why it is 144,000 I think the numbers are so slim because let me let me, let me tell you something though change your mindset right so that we got to first off we just got to start stop looking at things in such a negative light the colors is uniformity right that that's what that's for let's not let's like use the terminology because because it's actually positive overall you got dumb shit and dumb people you got niggas spicks and wetbacks doing dumb shit no matter what uh-huh. people don't automatically change overnight because you join a group you know what i'm saying so you know but the uniformity matters identification nah, it's, fine. it's when you telling me calling people names to insult their colors like that's when it becomes because i come from i come from a street gang background so i i know when it comes to that colorism and stuff when it comes to the street stuff I, yeah. all i'm seeing is ex-gang members with the same kind of anger inside for their brothers when you can't well, i just feel like that's not I, right. I i hear you i hear you and <clears throat> you'll get the right you'll find the right you know and then here's I, another I, thing yeah. <laughs> word but here's another thing I've seen brothers do too. Not saying you, Aaron, but maybe mm. when you don't have, because Ecclesiastes 4, you jump to verse 9, right? You need brothers around you for accountability. Because if you talk to me every day, right, that that you eating them the crustaceans and shit, yeah, just imagine. I'm like, every day I'm like, my nigga, you know you. You might as well go be gay too, since you're gonna eat crabs. Imagine I'm saying that shit every single day, like it's gonna be, you know what I mean? So you need the fellowship to keep yourself accountable too. This shit ain't easy, you know? And that's why I don't look down on people who have homosexual 
vices. I see that shit the same way I see eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Mm. To shun people don't make no sense. If you shun them, what happens? They continue down that same path. Jeez. But if you say, brother, I love you. Sis, I love you, but you fucking up. But ho- come holler at me. That That's how you, you get people to, you know what I mean, deal with the vices they got to deal with. You know? Mm. So just consider that, though. You need brothers around you for that accountability. You know? Feel don't like get deterred. I- I just feel like my brother is more um scattered. I feel like like certain like like I said, it's just certain <laughs> even like talking to them and like trying to get wisdom from them, I could I could feel a kind of like cockiness in them. Like it's kind of like now I'm uh, I'm above. And and honestly, to me speaking, kind of just remind me of the church. Like it kind of just reminds me of the stuff that I went through, especially like I said, growing up in the church. Like I watch one side of the family try to shun the other side of the family. Like we're what? all family. We all let go. Me here. You, let me ask this question. Simi, where where you at? What part of country you in? Right now I'm in Orlando. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, I mean you you're right, but don't it, you you're right. I mean, I I you right. Yeah. ain't gonna always help. You feel me? And reading your scripture, like you said, you gotta be around your brothers but and your sisters. But Aaron, you know what's ill though? When you get around a group that got your back and you and you align that happens you're right one time e, 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 that one time, one camp is the closest to me and that camp even when speaking yeah. to some of the brothers they Listen, find some of the most of them one time nigga, one time one time e had gotten beat up right nah, <laughs> <laughs> he, he called me i gotta speak in a little bit of slang he got the hammer. I get there. The 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 the, the hollows is in backwards. I said, "You the fuck you gonna shoot yourself, nigga?" You <laughs> needed eight stitches. <laughs> but nah, nigga, the fire, nigga, the firing pin was backwards. Oh my god! All right, nigga. So I get out there, and I I get out there, me and one of our cousins, and then we can't, you know, then everybody else came, nigga. That nigga could have peed on himself. He was so happy. That's the same <laughs> shit that happened. Like when you with your team, you know, it just you get a, a sense of provide. I mean, that's just natural, you know. Like when people you know got you back, got your back, that it's so hard to find. So don't get deterred by regular shit at any time. I play football in college, nigga. It's a hundred football players. We walk in the cafeteria, we get whatever we want, everything stopped. We got you know what I mean? Like it just is, you feel me? Like it just is. So don't get deterred by regular shit, you know. I remember the first time I actually spoke to you was on a comment and I was I, I think I had comment about how they was acting on the show and you was like it might not, this show might not be for you this channel might not be for you and I told you I said <laughs> nigga I ain't talking about you I'm talking about the people that you got on your panel oh, I remember yeah, yeah. I'm with you <laughs> like that chain around your neck i was like wait a minute what type of time brother on and after hearing mm-hmm. you speak after a while i realized okay he's an israelite like me and that's why i'm still here yeah and we talk about a lot of stuff man you know everything yeah. um and we definitely gonna start working these in pause more more often because i see is a whole lot of engagement it's still 400 people here and we ain't been talking about shit no that um I think that's a new territory that, that yeah, religion sector yeah that's a it's a whole new nuance yeah yeah and that's the differentiation vapors you know like the space is tight you know we got a lot of brothers that stream kind of commune you know but on this channel specifically we got a lot of the brothers that know the truth too you know you got brothers like his ghetto point of view that just know a lot of shit and we connected on a totally different platform on type of time you know so we just been just gathering everybody you know yeah, so yeah and this shit dope ray midnight was popping damn man let's do final thoughts we get <laughs> like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most let me read these real quick Ray reese with the two dollars his ghetto point of view why you got a lesbian behind you who's that oh because they runners and track stars up here brother <laughs> she lesbian 
Oh, I ain't know that. I just, I yeah, just, I ain't know that either. I ain't know that either. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, know that. That's crazy. Be reaching, bro. Had <laughs> days with a five dollar shot. I heard recently <laughs> Jesus ate fried food one time. Explain me. They was fried food back then. then you never. Yeah. Was well, he ate frying stuff to give it for the uh for the what you yeah. call it for the, the yeah. offerings? Yeah, the, the, the offering, high yeah. priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the, the yeah, stuff but they wasn't the using grease and stuff yeah. like peanut oil. And <laughs> you never know, man. <laughs> Hey, niggas know how to niggas been frying for a minute, man. Oh my, yeah. yo, speaking of that, see, yo, see, that was crazy. Why I just thought of Simeon because I just had these um fried tacos. See, that ain't right. I gotta stop this shit, man. <laughs> Damn, hey, man. yo, Omar Smith with the five dollars. All intoxicating things are haram. How we caught up wasting time on this simple matter? Glory to be to the Most High. John the Baptist would have found us everything God made is good, but how we use what he made is judged as good or bad. Omar Smith with the five dollars says revelation is received by messengers and they convey the message to the people. There's a difference between prophets and messengers. Please read. Right. 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 Muhammad was a uh, messenger. Raz- Razul, yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank yep. you, Omar. Thanks. Yep. He called Razul the whole time. Yep. Oh, um, Kalam was popping. <laughs> the twenty ball says, "What does the word say about fraternities and sororities, like oh. Greek rituals?" This Ooh. is so Kalam. I'm gonna actually save this because I'm putting together a panel with all of the fraternities, and sororities, and we're gonna kind of touch on this a little bit. Ooh. Um, that's gonna be fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about the hazing that goes in too with the oh man, it's, it's... Mm-hmm. yeah man, I I pledge uh, when I was in college, I lost yeah. forty pounds, man. Dang. John the ba- yeah, John the Batons with the five dollars said, point of view. Are you quoting scripture out of context? Oh, you, you are, are, you are. Mm-hmm. John the Baptist, you know I love you, brother. You are elder, and I would love for you to, you know, give me some words when you have that. You have a moment. Salute to you. Thanks for supporting. <laughs> no captivity with Freezy with the files. Salute, Freezy. <clears throat> Proper context: the burning smells on the altar. The altar the text is referring to was an out was was on the outside of the temple. They weren't hot boxing. Quote That's unquote. not what it said at all. It said it was inside the temple. So he's this. Is, I mean, this is crazy. Everybody can just say what they want, but it's fine. We moved on. <laughs> <laughs> John said, that was an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, that's why I dropped. Oh, shit. you good. Well, you salute <laughs> you like, come back. So I was like, all right, I'll come back. But I thought he dropped me. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look. Drop his ass, Hamp. No, <laughs> yeah, John with the 2000. Hamp, you owe me 60, 20 for ghetto, and, and 40 for. Oh, you put 40 on Kai and Shoes. <laughs> Who was that for? Hey, bro. Who is that? Who K? Who is that? Who he put? It was probably another show. I gotta. Man. Lauren Mack with the two dollars. Shout out to four twenty this weekend, Lauren. Please. Hey, Billy Go Gruff was popping with the two dollars. Hamp first Peter one and thirteen, please. Yeah, we out of here in that right now, big boy. No <laughs> captivity. Freezy with the five dollars. Genesis one and twenty nine gives strict instructions on how to consume every herb yielding seed. It shall be for meat, quote unquote, meaning it's meant to be digested, not smoked. Ghetto, good shit today, my brother. Any final thoughts? Um, no, I appreciate. I appreciate it. Um, I know it was uh, a bit contentious at some times, and I appreciate you, brothers. Uh, you know, uh, letting me uh, get all that out. Um, anybody who felt offended, please forgive me. It was from a good space. You know, I got nothing but love for the bros up here. Y'all all super intelligent. Y'all very well spoken. Nobody was using y'all yeah, I mean, I'm saying nobody was, I mean, nobody had no gold teeth showing. It was, it was nothing like shit. Up here. shit. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like that. excellent yeah. up here. Everybody like just dropping their yeah. gems yeah. and I, I really enjoyed it. So, so, you know, forgive me for those who felt I was being offensive and I appreciate it. Yeah, no, we good. Simeon, man, any final thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah, man. I just want to show love to all of you guys that was out here tonight. I appreciate you, Pat, you know, for giving me the time to even come up here. Definitely. It's my first time ever, ever being on the panel. And, you know, I know when it comes to this stuff, it can be a little contentious. It's just blood sport, you know, debating. So that's that's all I'm really into. Yeah. I just want to attack the argument and not necessarily the person or whatever. But um, 
when it comes to Aaron, I'm gonna pray for you, brother. And I don't, I don't believe in a in a change immediately, in a sense where I believe that coming into the truth is like a theosis. So it's something that you progressively get better and strive to perfection each and every day. Like with me, I, I, it was with the it was with the weed, then I went to the vape, and then I went uh, went to the edibles, then I went to the oil until I completely left. You know, when I was smoking L's, blunts. And then went to the papers and all that, but uh, you know it was a it was a progression. It took me maybe six to eight months, honestly speaking. You know, I've been in the truth for the last, I say, like eight years now. So about seven, about seven years, seven and a half years. So, you now I pray for you to come off that eventually. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. With the Most High, may you know bless you and all that. Only because I promise you, it would only bring you closer to the Most High. And uh, and with that, I'm all out, bro. I'm gonna pray. I love you, ghetto. I love you, Vapors. I love you, Hank. I appreciate it, man. Love you, bro. Yes, hey, shoot me, a, shoot me an email, bro. Uh, this might be risky at Gmail. It's pretty simple. All right, no problem. Shoot me an email, okay. man. Let's connect. I mean, you'll be safe, Thanks. bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Um, nah, city champion. I don't smoke, bro. I smoked one time. It took me 10 minutes to put my socks on. I said, no. <laughs> nope. Not me. <laughs> Aaron, any final thoughts? um yeah um just shout out to everybody on the panel Hamp, thank you for inviting me um right. thank you for um showing love to me answering my chats back thank you um mm -hmm. to everybody on the panel the guys that left the panel miss jenny i hope um honestly i hope i see y'all on the other side like and we ruling together um for those who don't believe he gonna make y'all believe don't worry and that's all i gotta say <laughs> no doubt vapors any final thoughts perfect yeah absolutely uh just want to say i appreciate you for having me up uh respect to all the gentlemen up that came up and uh shared their their perspective and their beliefs you know it's all it's all good i think um the message is like um i think we tired of fighting like there's a there's a lot to unveil in these discussions, but I think I think we tired of fighting and we, we want answers. Um and I think the congregation of these gentlemen with their knowledge is uh is very uh important to this space. I just wanna read one thing too, real quick. Go ahead. Can I do that? Uh, it says the Holy Spirit gives us some um, some the spiritual gift of wisdom to not only impart the truth and understand it to believers, but to invoke a response of holiness and worship lived out in the world amongst God's people. Wisdom does not end with knowledge, but it expressed and transformed hearts and lives. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yeah, man. Shit like that. I like um I like this shit, man. We've been doing good all week. Um, we did the show on Monday about Dexter Reed and all that. Um, you know, with the ninety six shots and yeah, yeah, I tie, yeah <laughs> you know, tying in Amadou and Sean. And we talked about that for five hours straight. You know, almost seven hundred people in the chat. It lets you know, like, you know, dick and pussy conversation is cool, you know. But it let us know. People want it people want more, like you said people want to learn you know um and the argument is fun until it ain't like like vapor said um to on um, friday you know i always review the shows i did the week and i think i'm gonna title it men gotta take our power back you know one thousand it's a lot of shit going on you know and i'm just thinking like damn you know so I'm still I'm still breaking it down in my head, but I think that's what we're going to go with it. So, you know, I go live at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. So if y'all ain't doing nothing, I monologue for a little bit and then um, drop the link, man. See what y'all think. You know, it's almost like enough is enough type shit. You know what I mean? I'm with though, right? Hint? What? For men to take our power back, for even the Israelites to take our power back. That all comes to war mm -hmm. and it, i think you're right when you say it and we just got to understand there's a lot of places to fight a war mm -hmm. a lot of different ways different you know? ways to fight a war yeah so you'd be surprised like you know 
we go to one that, Jesus, um, that Christ say let him in like basically he got it like um now you we we gonna be active but we always think physical you know yeah. but the drones do all the striking <laughs> you know so and we're gonna just dig dig into it you know a little bit on, on friday so if y'all around man y'all can help me out with that once i get my little two cents you know what i mean so i Absolutely. appreciate it you know ghetto i got your math i don't know shoot me an email this might be risky at gmail got you i'll shoot you one right now yeah bro. i got your bless shit. Up, fellas. bless up yo vapors be safe shoot me an email bro when you get a chance i just like to get everybody in the you know what i'm saying I'm trying to get this Discord shit popping too. Um, I'm terrible at it though. I ain't gonna hold you. Damn, man. I got Everybody in the chat still 300 people here. We ain't talking about nothing. Just showing wild love. You know what I'm saying? Love it, love it. Yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna just acknowledge everybody in super chats and get out of here. Y'all be safe. Y'all gotta stay around for this shit. <laughs> Easy. Brown, Mr. Brown, appreciate you. KG, I hope you got some sleep, bro. Missy T, salute. Judah, Canary, as age, Sunkiss, Freezy, man. Thank you for coming through, bro. Chicago Rilla, OG, appreciate you. Reese, always good information. We're gonna get these questions answered for, for sure, you know. It's just that the panel is kind of a little bit more engaging than some of the super chat questions. Um, as Ave, indeed, superior Jew, shout out to Lauren. <laughs> Lord, down, man. Nas, appreciate you lord jefferson salute august um damn i don't know if he's still here um ezekiel um 4547 um the the sabbath aligns with the new moon i could send you those scriptures directly um just text me um i don't know if you're still here aaron salute reese appreciate you mars appreciate you jeremiah salute i know d can answer like one part of this he didn't get to all of it we could definitely break it down man dz thank you joseph shalom dusty salute real team brick thank you for coming to member man the og omar man appreciate you as always man your commentary is always it always adds something a level of color everything jess you almost got me with that scripture <laughs> that fake one see rich salute trees truth seeking free thinker thank you chocolate bunny as always man mr me too salute my brother robert thank you mr me too you know back again salute shalom lee salute my g song of judah appreciate you andre man been rocking out since day one man thank you so much nahar always man i this one this is the one i need to uh memorize darren shalom miss parker as always og john the baptist salute who else we got kaylon there was a question yep i'm gonna try to make this a whole show man we're gonna cover that maybe in a different angle but we might hit on this part for sure uh oh, i got lauren billy goat indeed oh this last one at least read it all right i'll read it for you real quick what is that one it is first was it is it first peter do you want it or second peter my bad i forgot <clears throat> the first peter one and 13. oh yeah it's uh first peter um chapter 1 verse 13 says wherefore gird up thy loins of your mind be sober and hope to the end of the for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of jesus christ yeah man i like that is that the right one right yeah man lauren locked in man yeah good night man be safe do the right thing salute the big bad bull blue jay glow city champion josh we gotta get the um the um the discord popping fred fred been locked in with me for a minute too mr b lino yeah man i can't wait lord dawn salute man appreciate you and tom be safe man i apologize i try to show love everybody i see y'all um <clears throat> uh, it's just easy to go through the super chats 
Yeah, man, for sure, man. Definitely lock in with Freezy. All right, man, I see y'all Friday, man. I think I know exactly what we're going to cover. All right, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Be safe. Do the right thing, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend. And we out.